Yeah. All right. You're right. I have no slides. All right. <clears throat> I was going to put something in here so we don't get bored, but now, eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If I did that, yeah, that works. Why not? All right, so one second. Let me uh, let me put this out here. What voiceovers? What are you talking about, Top Dog? Yeah, you yeah, have to explain. One day I'll figure out how to throw music into the stream yard, but. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like making fun of people when they, um, when they do crazy shit. Uh, believe it or not, like a lot of people that um, I'll impersonate, I actually like them. Like Fatty, Fatty, cool. I like Fatty. He's the only dude. That I, I call Fatty the realest nigga on YouTube. He's the only one that kept it real about things. Like I, I heard him arguing with somebody last year when they kept talking. So they had like a crazy ass position, right? <clears throat> and Fatty saw right through it. Fatty, he was talking to a give up nigga. But the give up nigga kept acting like he got it like that. Like he can just control a bitch with his dick. And Fatty wasn't having it. He's like, he said, the bitches got the ball. And, and and it's gonna be like that, and it's gonna always be like that, because we, you know, you ain't got no choice but to you kind of like give her away. It, and the reason he said that is simply because the the nigga was trying to he was trying to pretend as if he, he was this boss level nigga. Like like dudes keep doing that, but they keep. But the the problem with that position is you can't be the nigga that's that's like I can't say no to pussy, but. They not winning. That's crazy. That that's the problem. Yeah. So yeah, uh, new. I gave my um. I gave my um. I gave my audio deal to my my nephew. He be uh he be streaming Fortnite with his homies when they not hooping. Because that's all a nigga do is play basketball and, and Fortnite. So I um I gave it to him. So I, I gotta run the micro center, maybe give me another interface, and then I'll I'll, I'll throw music in a stream yard or some shit. But but yeah, man, Fatty one he he wasn't trying to hear that shit, <laughs> and I and I felt him on that. And again, Fatty the nigga that tell you, and, and see, okay, so this is why I like dude. He he's also kind of like he knows bitches are winning. They're gonna he he knows this. But he's but he's also honest about his feelings about wanting to be with a bitch. It just it's just not gonna happen. Like he he understands that what he what he wants isn't going to happen the way he think the way other people think is gonna happen for him. So from hearing him, this is straight from his mouth. So hearing him talk, it's like, well, if I happen to find somebody that I click with and I, and I think I can make it happen, I'm gonna go for it. He's like, he gonna he gonna go for it, you know. He's just not going to go in and be stupid about it, but he's going to go for it. So if let's just say 
he has to buy a bitch dinner. He gonna buy a bitch dinner. It's like if niggas can call it tricking if they want to, but whatever. He gonna he gonna do the typical courtship shit that it takes to to get with a chick. And if it don't work out in the end, whatever investment he put into it, he just gonna accept that loss. That's where he at with it, and that's from hearing him. That's that's where he's at with it. But every other nigga he talked to is on this nigga. I never get caught slipping, nigga. I'm I'm nigga. I, not me, nigga. These bitches can't do shit, nigga. I see through a bitch. Uh, a bitch try to keep her intentions from me. I can see through the lies. As soon as a bitch open her mouth, I know what she want and what she. And these are the same niggas that'll say, "Vet, vet, vet," and then you vet a bitch and they say you picked the wrong one. It, it, like they they got an excuse for every fucking thing. But but let you let you be logical about the shit. You are nihilist. And like I said, when I came back, I said, I said, you niggas are the nihilists. Any nigga that think, any nigga that thinks like that is a nihilist. Because them niggas then gave up. They just don't want to say it. They don't want to say it out loud. Niggas, they posturing. You know, niggas is posturing. But you didn't gave up. You know, you are about that fucking life, nigga. You, like I said, most of these niggas is, um, most of these niggas is pussy or die. So if you if you have that position, you have no power, no leverage, no way to combat it. And, and all the shit you're talking don't mean anything. Go fucking lose, nigga. <laughs> the, only, the only way you win is, is, is the leverage you got is to take away a bitch's, take away attention from a bitch. If you can't do that, you done. And again. We've already talked about that. If that ain't feasible for most niggas, then the jig is up. You're out of here. You, I mean, and everybody else is fighting for one percent of chicks that are still affected by shame or, you know, still want what you want. And if everybody's cool with competing for the one percent, then hey, that again, if somebody were to come out and say, "I'm cool with competing for one percent," that's fine. That's fine. I mean, at least you honest. At the very least, you th then you can start the conversation off in, in a in a good direction if you just admit to that shit. Without admitting to it, you just nigga, you're posturing and you and you setting yourself up for failure. You ain't gonna never be able to vet a bitch if you go in acting like you got the upper hand, <laughs> unless you really can walk away. Exactly, because because the way the way niggas talk, they act like, well, shit, on to the next one. That it don't sound like that. That don't, don't sound right. You can't say that you that type of nigga when you also say that you can't not fuck with a bitch. Because what do you do when you reach that limit? You know, when you when you get to the the fucking edge of defeat. When when every time you walk outside and you see a stranger, bitch, she look like food. You ever see, when I grew up, there was these, these cartoons called like Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry and shit, right? And um, there was one cartoon where it was a wolf and I think a pig. They were friends. Unlikely friendship. I know, right? So it's, it's an old ass cartoon. Just, just, just follow. Just bear with me. So old ass cartoon. You got a wolf and a pig and they're friends. They get lost in the forest. And on the way home, it's taking a long ass time for them to get home. And, and, and they're lost for what's, what, what seems like days. And the wolf starts to get hungry. Now, again, he, his best friend is a pig. And while they're walking, the wolf getting hungry and hungry. He looks over at his pig. He don't even see his friend anymore. You know what he sees? Pork chops, ham hocks, bacon. He don't, he don't see his friend. He can't even see his friend's face. His friend face and turned into every piece of motherfucking pork dish imaginable. So this is a say. So what what happens when you can't say no, niggas reach your limit? What happens when you go outside and, and every bitch you see is naked? She she fully clothed in real life. You know, to 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 everybody else, she has clothes on. She she has a she has a. She has a dress on, maybe a smock because she came from work, whatever. But every time, every bitch you see is naked. She undressed because you can't help it. Your brain, 
your brain does not see women with clothes on anymore. So what do you do when you reach that limit? You you niggas that got it figured out and and and, and pussy is is unturned downable. Where do you, where do you go from there? Where, where, where as soon as you reach the limit, your limit of urge. Because remember, you can't say no, but, but you can. You know, you, you can say no, but you can't. But you can. Because remember, you know, pussy is everything. <laughs> so, so what do you do? What do you do? What do you do when every bitch you look at is not wearing clothes, even though she's wearing clothes? And then and then you see a, a fatted and tatted bitch, like the you know, the, the nasty one. The one that you wouldn't fuck with in a million years. You see her, and then that bitch looks, you, you look at her, and you're like, huh. 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 And you start to, you know what? She ain't really that bad. I don't know what I was thinking. Th that's what happens. You, you got to, like, as soon as you put any type of thought into how these niggas think or, 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 or the shit that they say on panels, as soon as you put some thought into it, any type of thought, any type of critical thinking, th this, is, this, is, this is what happens. This, 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 these niggas, they are fucking manatees and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, she'll have to do... She'll have to do for now. Yeah. And, and you end up in, in a situation with that type of woman. That, that is what happens. You know? You know how um, you niggas will probably not be able to stop laughing for days if you, if you saw the the, the, the bitches that, that these niggas be DMing. Dead ass. Straight up. You you would you you would laugh your ass off. Do y'all I don't know if a lot of y'all don't know how long y'all been here, but most of y'all been here for a while. I, I did a stream a long time ago when I was talking about um I was out there on the apps, right? And I started, I I told I challenged everybody, I challenged that I said. And I, I wonder, I did my rounds running on people's panels and shit. I went over Mill panel, Fantastic panel, Ty City panel, fucking uh, Bernard panel. And I, and I kept challenging people. I said, I dare you. And anybody can do this. You, you get on the fucking apps with the live video chat. And you will see the ugliest, catfishiest hoes with regular niggas in their box trying to get at them. And not only that, but you can go there any night of the week, including the kicking at nights, like, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't matter when you go in there. Nigga, the craziest shit I saw ever was I, I hopped into a, a cam stream to see what was up. It was a it was a nigga who had legit, legit Re, uh, legit checkable modeling credentials. This nigga was a male model. This nigga making money off his face and body. He's in a ugly fat bitch cam box trying to get at her to get because she lived close enough to him for him to drive over and get some pussy. Now, if there's somebody in here that thinks that sounds strange. Yeah, okay, seeking my creator. There you go. It's not no way. Here's what you have to understand. If you're a male model, who what is your peer group at your job? If you're a male model, what is your peer group at your job? What are bitches are who what what type of bitches are you around at work? You're around other models. What is your competition? Your competition is your peer group, other male models. You see? So the totem pole starts over. But niggas in the ugly bitch chat room, he's on a completely different totem pole. So he's going down. Okay? On his totem pole, 
he might not be at the top. So if it seems far-fetched, just think about it. If he's fishing in his peer group, them bitches might be fucking with the niggas at the top of his food chain. You get me? So it's easy. It's easy for him to fall into that trap. It's the same thing with, with all the niggas that y'all think be killing it out here. No, I think y'all done heard me repeatedly tell y'all the same story. I was at a place called Chino Latino. It, it is now closed due to, you know, the COVID shit. What's up, Nagone? So Chino Latino is now closed. It was one of the hottest spots in Minneapolis. All right. Everybody used to be there. Me and, me and my ex used to go there all the fucking time. We, we used to go there all the time. It, it was always cracking. It was a Latin Japanese fusion restaurant where they serve like really cool dishes and shit, you know, sushi and Latin shit, like these expensive rolls and expensive uh, empanadas and enchiladas and shit. It was, it was amazing. And they, their, their stock and trade though, where they always had these exotic drinks. They had a Mexican tequila with a deadly ass scorpion in it. Now the scorpion was dead, of course, but it, you know that was the gimmick, right? It was the the the, the, te the tequila was very strong, and apparently it had poison in it. Um, but of course, it's not fatal poison. They just used it to make you more drunk than you've ever been drunk in your fucking life, and it cost three hundred dollars a shot. A shot. N not a glass shot, a shot of this shit gonna cost you a, a couple, a few hundred dollars. Okay. Basketball player walks in, famous ass nigga, Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, I say his name. I don't give a fuck. He know what happened. He walks, he, him and his boys in there. Now, you know, you know, the, the white girls, the, the rich white girls, there's a lot of suburbs here. One of our rich suburbs is, is called Edina. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a city suburb because it's still in the city limits, but it's just rich. It's like it's off a lake. Like all most of the houses are off lakes, so each house is like millions plus dollars because all of the houses sit around a big ass lake. But that's Edina, and within the neighborhood, all of the houses are still crazy expensive because the neighborhood is very exclusive. The school district is ridiculous. Every school in the district is private. And they didn't hire all the best instructors. So if you wonder why the public schools are empty, that's where all the fucking best teachers are. So these Edina, so I'm, I'm, I'm setting this up because the, the women in Edina, the, the, the girls in Edina do not give a fuck about your sports ball job. Okay. They don't care if you just signed a contract for hundred million. Their parents probably got that. You understand? Like, it's a nigga that you, it, it's a nigga that used to. He was he was one of the lawyers on OJ team. He moved here, opened up a law firm. Nigga live in Golden Valley. All the rich people go to this club. So Stoudemire found out the hard way that he's not in a club full of regular ass bitches. He his game his game was this. He, he he touches her arm and says, do you know who I am? Oh, Soft Sands, you from here? Oh, you, oh, okay, so you heard about this shit happening? You probably not from here, but you probably heard about this happening to him. Good, 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 good. Damn shot, yeah, Hennessy, yeah, yeah. I, I heard about that. That uh, it was a few hundred dollars shots for this uh, this special brand of Hennessy. Oh, okay, you're not from me. You just okay. Well, anyway, his game was, do you know who I am? <laughs> that bitch, that bitch took one look at this nigga and just started snapping. She was like, I don't give a fuck who you are. She's like, do you know who I am? And she just started trolling this nigga and talking shit, just just killing him. He couldn't do shit to her. What are you gonna do? Hit a hit a tiny frail white girl? Couldn't do shit. So we got like a super bad bitch just going off on him in the middle of a club full of everybody. Embarrassing as fuck. And he had to eat that because his game was, do you know who I am? This is why, like, 
when, when I hear niggas talking about famous people online and, and their abilities to do shit, for the most part, it is true. It is true that, that they can get away with shit that you can't. They're celebrities. Duh. No shit, right? But I'm just trying to contrast to you that if somebody doesn't know who you are, it doesn't matter. Because she, she just, I mean, the bitch even said, I'm supposed to be impressed because you play some kind of sports ball. That's the shit she was on. Because, again, this is a woman that was, she grew up with money. She grew up with money. Now, 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 granted, I'll give you this. It would have been a different story if there was like a musician in, in, the, in the restaurant. Because if it was like, like, for example, Johnny Depp used to go in there. When that nigga came in there, there was no, ain't no such thing as rejection when that nigga walked in. You understand? So you, you got to understand, man, there's levels to this shit. And when when you plan around in a specific type of social circle, as it were, the rules become the same rules. They're just there's just le you know how they say there's levels to this shit. There, there is there's levels to this shit. You know, one of you niggas might get famous one day and then you'll find out one of you niggas might get super rich one day and you'll find out the hard way. <laughs> you got to. But but that's what I'll be talking about because a lot of times there's a lot of like imagination going on in the space where niggas have these wild ideas about what happens when you become rich or when you become famous or get some type of status. You you will your your status will increase. You will get more pussy. You will get badder bitches. But then you start looking for badder bitches. Like you you, you know your your ideal for a wife might change. You you might not want to settle for for a backyard barbecue bitch you might want something else so you just you, you don't know but i will say that when you do graduate to that type of status and shit you 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 develop a a more exclusive taste for things and if you don't that's fine too it's like not everybody tries to jump into the high end of the the deep end of the pool and shit some people are comfortable in the middle and again, that's cool too. That's people with you know level-headed people. <laughs> but for the most part, people, you know, they 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 go for the gusto. But you know, there, there is levels to this shit. So the, the, you know, don't don't be thinking that celebrity niggas got it. I mean, look at like look at the niggas we be talking about in the space. Like when niggas be like, don't use celebrity example. Nigga, celebrities are regular people with with, with with, with glamour jobs and they go through the same shit you go through. They just have more money to do shit. They, they can go anywhere they want to because they can buy tickets to do shit. You know, it, it just, it is what it is, but they, they do the same shit you do. You know, the only thing a celebrity can do that you can't is use their status or money to outbid you on a bitch. So if it's some, if it's a chick you like, they can outbid you using their status or their money. That's the only difference between you and a celebrity. Cause again, there's been plenty of niggas who went from nobody to celebrities. And, and what happens? Their ability to outbid you on a bitch increases. And then they do it. <laughs> they do it. They get on Instagram, just paying to talk to hoes. Y'all y'all heard of, y'all know about that shit, right? Or uh, I'm pretty, maybe y'all have it, maybe you have. Especially you young niggas. Like, girls, girls don't get just regular DMs no more. If you ever wonder why your fucking DMs never get hit back, it's because niggas will... Give a bitch money to just say hi. It's called tipping. You tip a bitch just to say what's up. Because one of the things is it does, it moves your competition the fuck out the way. She'll be, she'll be more inclined to reply to you if you give her some money. If you don't tip her, if she don't see no bread in that fucking DM, it's going to go under the mass delete. She ain't going to delete the one with money in it because she need to hit this. She need to hit the... Uh, the send the transfer to bank button. You know, gotta hit the gotta hit that transfer to bank. <laughs> so, so yeah, she might she might say something, but but that's the thing. It's just more it's more competition. The the competition gets steeper and steeper. The the higher you go up in the food chain, the more the competition is. Now I heard this. There was this uh this this white psychologist. Um, he got a channel called Psych Hacks. And 
what a lot of these new relationship gurus are doing is they tell you 90% of the information that you would, that is agreeable. I'll say agreeable. They'll, they'll give you 90% of agreeable information to keep you as a client or keep you listening to them or keep you in a favorable mood to hear what they have to say. They'll give you 90% of that information. The 10% of the information they leave out is the most critical information that you actually need to succeed. It, the 10% the that they leave out should be 90%. And that's the problem with most of these relationship niggas that you hear online. Even when you hear niggas talk on panels, you'll hear, you'll hear people say things that are true for the most part and everything they say sounds sounds good sounds natural sounds like so, stuff that you've done before stuff that you've been successful at stuff that you failed at but the 10% that they leave out they do it on purpose for example I, i'll use arc as an example since you know i like the nigga he wrote a book called mode 1 and in that book i read that book in order to um review it and and, and critique it we even I even talked to him. We had a we had a panel discussion about it. Now, he he gave mold one as a as a theory and a practice and a philosophy. There's actually nothing wrong with it. You're being direct in your communication. You 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 don't want to leave anything to the imagination, and you want to let a woman know your intentions. And if she's not going, you move on. If she is going, congratulations, you're a mold one nigga, right? The most but, but and, he, and he lists a bunch of female behaviors, you know, like um, women who waste your time. I forget what he called them. Something time wasters, um, emotional, whatever the fuck. He had, all, he had all these phrases for these different um, emotional modes of women. The one thing he did not put in there, which is the most important thing, is choosing signals. If she doesn't show interest, mode one will never work. You you understand? Like the, that is the, now he could say that. Now one could say, well, obviously zero. I mean, obviously if a bitch ain't interested, then it, yeah, right. Okay, so the whole book is full of obvious. So why is the choosing signal the only obvious that's left out? If 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 someone wants to respond to me by saying, well, obviously, okay. The whole book is full of obvious. The whole book is obvious. Like he's writing about obvious shit that you should know. But the one thing he leaves out, which some nigga will argue, which is obvious. Why is that out? Why is that left out? So and, and I said in my review, is it intentional? Is it like, is this on purpose or was it accidental or was it strategic? Maybe you write that in a different book later that's 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 the thing so 90 percent of the information tells you what you need the 10 percent that they omit that's the part where you fail because they'll never tell you that most of this shit depends on if you are if if the feeling is mutual or not and then on top of it like for instance, the, the psychologist guy, he was talking about how his parents were married for 60, well, no, 30 years. Sorry, 30 years. 30 some years. They come to America. Now his parents, 60 years fucking old. They come to America. His mom gets a divorce from his dad after three decades of marriage. And, and they like at the end of their fucking lifespan. She decides to get divorced and says, this is when my life began. My life truly began after the divorce. 30 fucking years. They never came to America, never got a divorce. It is, is the thing. And, and he said, again, he went truthful on this particular aspect. He said, when we got over here, she began to have all the options because she was a female. It doesn't matter how old she was, the fact that she was a female gave her a bunch of options. I don't know what she looks like. She could have been a, a, a good looking woman or not. It doesn't matter. But if she has the options, 
And then she goes, holy shit, I want to exercise those options. Now, similarly, my dad took my mom on a vacation when I, I, I don't remember any of this shit. I was like three or four years old. But apparently, from, from what I know from, from talking to my parents, my dad took my mom on a vacation outside of Mississippi. She found out that she was hot outside of Mississippi and then left his ass because I can do better. I think people in in that type of information isn't ear friendly. So people kind of go, they tune the fuck out. They're like, fuck that shit. I, I don't care about that shit. Nigga, that ain't gonna happen to me. They ain't gonna happen to me though. That's niggas' attitudes. They ain't gonna happen to me though. So I think a proper book would be if somebody wrote a book that actually either had all of the 10% of the information that's left out or a book that exclusively has all of the 10% information that was left out. <laughs> like the book is just full of what all the relationship niggas don't talk about. But you know what that book would be called? The Incel Bible. <laughs> that, that book would be called The Incel Bible. Because niggas, niggas would put that shit down after page one. No, no, I'll give it about five. I, I'll give it about five pages in. Niggas is done. Done out here. And that's the problem. You can't even, you can't even um, talk about the 10% of information that they leave out simply because, again, that shit is not friendly. It's not ear friendly. Because niggas think, men have a problem where, where we think we can overcome a lot of things based on a, a magical aspect of social interaction. And, and that's 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 going to always be a problem for us. And while we think that, like, for instance, we, we, we think we can overcome a lot of things by just either talking through it and all the rest of it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, right? Meanwhile, we're trying to convince bitches to come back to the table and we're trying to reverse laws back to like the 50s and 40s era which which is not going to work you see what i'm saying so 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 while we we have this magical thinking in regards to accomplishing our goals like like we talk about how we women want the same thing we want and you know my dick is just important as her vagina but at the same time we're trying to reverse their right to vote and shit. We're trying to lock a bitch back in the house. Why would you need that option if you really believe that you have a magical dick? Like, think about that. Why would you, why would you need that option? If you really felt that you, if you had it like that, for real, so if your game was that motherfucking strong, why do you want to reverse the laws then? Why do you want to why do you want to go backward? In fact, why aren't you fighting for the opposite? Why don't you want them to be completely free? You it'll be a pussy palooza if you let them go super free. Why is it why is it that niggas say like like it's it's the best time to ever be a man because feminism frees you up to do whatever you want, but you won't give them the the full freedom? Like you ever thought about how those two things don't really go together? Again, I'll, 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 I'll remind you, niggas. I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll remind you. I'll remind you. <laughs> the, the, the most disheartening thing about... The most disheartening thing about all of this relationship talk is the fact that if, if women were completely free in the same way men are, you will see your sister your daughter, your mama, your cousin, the bitch you like down the street, everybody will be on the app. N not, not the apps we got now. The new app. The, the, the new app where... The new app where, where, where pussy is soda. That's the, that's the problem. And I, and I completely understand it. I understand it. And, and, and you know what? I agree. Don't nobody want to see that shit. 
Nobody wants to see that happen. Problem with this is it's going to happen. It's going to be slow, but it's going to happen. You know, like, for example, politically, I know a lot of you niggas are communists. You want you want the full communism to come down. But this is something that has happened several times during several times in history. And it keeps failing over and over and over again. And every time it fails, millions of people die from starvation. You know what the crazy part is? The closer we move to it, the closer we see the same shit that we have saw in history. Motherfuckers dying and starving and, 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 and drugging themselves to death. Okay. Even in those situations, when you go full communism, socialism, whatever you want to call it, the first thing that happens is all of the women are prostitutes. You start over again. It happens anyway. I don't know how astute most of you are, but we just had this happen about 15 years ago in, in Venezuela. I mean, it's just happened. It happened in Greece maybe 10 years ago, probably not even. Like, like, like it's like nobody's paying attention. You you lose anyway. All the shit that we're trying to do to stop it from happening is gonna happen anyway. It's just gonna take longer. And when it does happen, it's gonna be worse because when it does happen, you won't have the ability to do anything because you're gonna be broke as fuck anyway. Can't buy it anyway. Then everybody starts over. But that's what you niggas want. You want to start over. You want to start over. Th this time it'll be better. Let's start over. You ain't going to win in a start over situation either, nigga. If you're a little nigga right now, when shit start over, you're still going to be a little nigga. Not gonna get, you're not going to get taller. not going to get stronger. None of that shit. You're going to be the same nigga after as you are now because because you can't change that so, so that's what i'll be trying to get across to niggas it's, it's more like please think about this shit in a more critical in a more critical manner a more a more reasonable manner because the way we think about it it's not it's not going to work we can't we, being magical about this shit we're going to fail. You know, we're failing right now. And every time a bitch comes through that gets popular, remember when everybody was hugging pearl titties, talking about she was the savior of the universe? Nigga, she even had BGS on board for a little while. Talking about she's, you know, the, the nigga savior. And now look. I keep saying, the thing, all, all women got to do is say something with titties. And they win. You say it with two, like like Candace Owens is the new hotness. She's been around for a while, and we know she's the super grifter because remember she was talking shit about the manosphere a few years ago. And now she on board. Now she a take. No, because her husband cool with them niggas, and them niggas getting jacked up again. Like motherfuckers don't get it. And, and, and Tate goofy ass, he had a little bit of power. If Tate would have stayed, if st if Tate would have stayed ten toes down, because he going you going to jail any motherfucking way. You going to jail anyway. Like these niggas arrested you for talking shit. So obviously they not finna. Obviously they they, they want to take your shit. Obviously, because what did you really do? You, you had holes busting it open on cam with bad contracts. You know who else had holes busting it open with bad contracts? P. Diddy. Boys and girls. He ain't going to jail. Because, I mean, that's really the extent of his crime. He had holes busting it open on cam with bad contracts. That's it. No fucking trafficking. He ain't kidnapped no bitches. He just tricked them hoes in the bad contracts. Again, P. Diddy shit. But he's going to jail for that. <laughs> I understand. You gotta... If you're going to jail anyway, if you just stay 10 toes down and keep talking that shit. 
That's all he had to do. But nope, he started getting bitch friendly. First, they embarrassed him, made him basically do the same thing they, they typically do during the humiliation. Make you apologize. You change your language, start talking nice, and then they do it to you any fucking way. Just make an example of your goofy ass. It's like when niggas get in trouble, trying to go back on they already got you. They're not finna, you're not finna go to jail because they because they're telling you to apologize. The apology is just so they can rub it in, but your ass is gone. <laughs> but I think I never wanted to get popular, like mainstream popular talking about this shit. They could ruin your fucking life. I'll be in jail for some for some dumb shit. It'll be like zero touched the car in a parking lot that wasn't his. Just just touched it. My my hand uh, my hands rubbed across it while I was walking to my car. And now I'm going to jail for touching somebody's fucking hood. That's the type of shit you nigga, please. You don't you do not want that type of attention. <laughs> you don't want this type of attention. <laughs> not not publicly. Not publicly. And that's why that's why I keep going in on team cam up and shit. Because you gotta understand, niggas with nothing to lose. Once you cam up, you can't tell the truth no more. That that's that's my position. When, when you do that, you can't be as honest as you once were. You can't go in so. I'll put, it, I'll put it this way. You can't go in on things that matter, like legally. You can't talk about legal issues or, or power issues. That, that's, why I don't, that's why I don't go in on feminism like that no more. I'll, just, I'll leave that shit alone. I'll talk about relationship shit now, but yeah, yeah, yeah. are you scared, nigga? Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want motherfuckers. Like, ain't nobody going, ain't no, who the fuck going, who the fuck going to defend you? Niggas are scared to death. Not only that, not only that. One of the things is is it's the it's the pussy option. You get famous for talking shit about the legal issues with, 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 with women and shit. Your face is out there, nigga. Forget about it. Forget about it, nigga. Forget about it. The only bitches you can fuck with are are, are literal, like sex club bitches. You gotta. You gotta go to swingers clubs and shit. Yeah, you you gonna spend your life in in the fucking deviant sector of the society, nigga. That, that's where the fuck you gonna be at. That, that's the problem. <laughs> there's, there's no there there's no way that a nigga will volunteer to go through that type of life scrutiny like w why would you do that you know and, and even if you and, and then so tate proves that there is no such thing as fuck you money you understand there's no such thing as fuck you money we think there is but there isn't if if there was such a thing as fuck you money that nigga wouldn't be he, that nigga would not be in jail right now but there is. And, and you know what the modus operandi is. So here's what we do. We're going to bankrupt you. And after we bankrupt you, we're going to throw you in jail. And if we can't bankrupt you, we're going to throw you in jail and then bankrupt you. Tay fucked up because he's in a country where they can just do whatever the fuck they want to him. He really has no chance. I think it's super done. And, and the craziest part about that whole, that whole shit is he started hanging around super young niggas, right? Super young niggas with money, acting like a mentor. And then he tells the young nigga his business. The young nigga broadcasts his business because that's what they do. Everything is recorded. Everything is on camera. They talk about everything. Generation overshare. And, and this nigga basically told him his plans to escape from Romania. And then they came and got his ass. Before he left, <laughs> and, and that's the problem. So the reason why I'm bringing up Tate is simply because, once again, 
he proves that there's no such thing as fuck you money. And then if we go back in time, because I know all you niggas have seen the shorts and the videos of when, when he was younger, he was on the on the TV show where a bitch basically shitted on his life. And then that's when he became Tate because he was a goofy looking nigga with big ears. And he's still a goofy looking nigga with big ears. But then he started fighting pretty much for bitches. This nigga made only $500,000 in his fighting career, but he made more money than he ever made in his life off of this relationship shit by parlaying the tough guy fighter image into, into something that weak ass niggas can believe in and give him money for. The, like there's another nigga he's an ex porn star that that gives that has clients and does seminars on how to be in a relationship on oh, relationship issues a porn nigga this is how desperate men are you you you, you all understand this shit this is how desperate men are a porn nigga giving relationship advice for money to regular men I'm going to repeat that one more time. A porn nigga giving relationship advice for money to men. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's what I'm saying. Just... Just please think about this shit. How desperate do you have to be? So, so you, so let's just say a married nigga is an example of how to go about it, right? Uh, the the married nigga is the dude that you want to, I guess, I suppose, look up to and say, "This is the direction I want to go." Let me find out more about how he did. It. I might not be able to do it exactly like it, but let me find out, you know, a little bit about. Most of the married nigga channels, they could. So married nigga channels could do well. The only issue with married nigga channels is, first of all, first of all, it's the it's the it's the ego stroke. It's like I'm I'm better than you because I did it this way. Blah 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 blah. You know, and they're very vague about like like people say the work it takes work to, but they don't talk about this work. There's nothing specific. Then there's um. There's the um, outside of those two things. Then you have the the route that it takes to even get there. Uh, for example, if you're in an arranged marriage, that that's probably not most men's experience. If you are a Muslim or Islam or Prislam nigga, that's that's probably not most niggas route. So, you know, if 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 you got hooked up with your bitch through some type of program. That's probably not going to be the average person's experience. The average person's experience is what we mostly talk about out here is being able to socialize and communicate and meet somebody. That's really the typical way. But a lot of niggas, they, ha they have their marriage through some type of religion. They got a boogeyman over their bitch, and then they think that that is the way to go for most people. And that's most people don't have that. So... So then what do you do for that? So you tell them to join a religion, but then if you join a religion, it's mostly talking over by holes. But if you join the the other religion, the Muslim religion, then you get a chick who's who's fucking, you know, pretty much different culturally, but not really. So you're still in kind of the same predicament, so long as she follows the rules of the organization until she doesn't. That's not appealing either. So, and then on top of that, there's this unspoken, there's this unspoken language with, with a lot of this shit. And I know y'all hear it. I know a lot of y'all can read between the lines on this subtext. The unspoken thing is, if you want to get married, find a below average looking bitch. Just, just go do that. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, we can. I can't remember every single detail involved in the language that's being used. But all of these conversations, like, you'll hear people say things like, 
You niggas just looking for Instagram models. You niggas just looking for this. You niggas just looking for that. You just want that. You just want, you just want. They keep saying, they're, they're assuming what you want. You just want this type of, you just want that type. No, 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 no. It's, it's a projection and an assumption. But at the end of the day, it's, you need to get an ugly bitch. They just don't want to say it. They, don't, they can't articulate it exactly that way. They can't say that because it's just the same way when I speak to people, like when I speak to people on panels and I say things directly and they fucking get triggered, that's the same way. So they're not going to articulate it in a direct kind of way. It'll be more of the of the projection shit and the assumptions where they just kind of tell you what you're doing wrong and then politely suggest that you don't go after what you ideally want but rather it's like a water seeks its own level i think that you are a nigga that needs to be with a boogeyman bitch this way your life can work out that's this is the this is the mode of conversation now telling niggas to just and, and again are we going to so that's not nihilism though right because at the very least you can get some pussy in the house you see what i'm saying but i'm to give up nigga but these niggas are projecting and basically preaching you need to give up on your dreams and get you a monster but that's not nihilism Nigga, you need to settle with an ugly bitch so you can be happy. <laughs> but I'm the nihilist. All right. Right. There we go. I'm the nihilist. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> but it's your monster. <laughs> but, but it's your monster. <laughs> oh shit. Exactly. Anyway, so that's what I'm, and that's what I'm hearing. Like most of these panels I hear every day, it's the same shit. It's, it's niggas telling you that you just need to get you a monster. Like, um, I was watching the, uh, watching the DJ panel. They had a bunch of young niggas up there. Now, of course, you're going to always get the, it took them a long time to getting around. Now, again, I, I do, I do like, uh, I do like the DJ nigga. I'm not, I'm not going to really go in on like that. I, I think his, his guy, I mean, his, his panels be cracking. But it took a long time for them to get around to a, a very obvious truth. And it's the, it's the dishwasher shit all over again. It's literally the dishwasher conversation all over again. Them young niggas was talking in circles, talking in circles until, you know, of course, it takes the, it takes the Chicago nigga that, that thinks he is in a, a league above his, his own that goes, I am a special type of nigga that can get bitches by walking through the door and you can't. You need to learn where you are on a totem pole and get the bitches that are appropriate at your level while I get all the bad bitches. Took them, took them niggas an hour or two to get there. Four, four or five hours to get there. But they finally got there. Then, then, then DJ goes, yes. Exactly. Took forever for us to get there, but we got there. Because he wanted to just hear them niggas say it. I wanted to hear them niggas say it. Because I knew somebody was going to say it. So, how was that conversation any different than these incel niggas talking about lookism? It's the same conversation. You want to know what the difference is? Niggas who think they cooler. That's the difference. The difference between them and the MCL niggas is the, is the, is the cam up niggas get on there with, with nappy ass braids and cigars and, and jerseys and shit in dirty ass rooms, you know, bragging about the charger that they drive. That's the difference. Outside of that, it's the same conversation. It's just different words and different niggas who think, who think they better than another other nigga. And the real spill on all this shit is. If you, when was the last time you seen, the, when was the last time you seen the super nigga on the stream talking about what it takes to get a bitch? When was the last time you seen that? I'm talking about a, a obviously get bitches nigga. When was the last time you seen that? 
an obvious get bitches nigga. I'm talking about superstar level get bitch nigga get on stream talking about what it what it takes to get out. It was the last time you seen that. Exactly. I don't think I have either. And that's the problem. It's poser ass niggas with all this crazy ass false hope. Talking about how how fucking how easy they got it in life with the hoes and telling niggas how to win with the hoes. But, but the, even they ain't got it like that. And that's this is our this is our biggest problem, man. The fucking magic niggas. You know, like I said, and and one of the one of the shields is we used to have this we used to have this taboo, this taboo shield, right? So men did not talk about other men's looks because the conversation ends up going into this territory where you would have to tell a nigga, bro, you ain't got it like that. And then that nigga will say, why, why you say that to, nigga, I'm a man, you a man. That's that's gay to tell me that I don't look good enough to get a, you, you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, I need to see what you look like in order to understand what your position is with the bitches because you, you your, your lips too big or, or you ugly. Your nose too big. All that, like you, you get what I'm saying. You, you understand what I'm saying with this shit. Don't talk about my looks unless we're talking shit to each other. This this is the problem. So I'll say it: ugly niggas hopping on camera talking about they winning, like handsome niggas. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. <laughs> it don't matter what your cigar look like, nigga. Your face ain't got it. It don't matter what the jersey you got on is, nigga. Your face ain't got it. <laughs> it don't matter how many cars you got, nigga. Your face ain't got it. This is y'all niggas' fault. You, you cam it up, and then you hopping on the camera, talking about I'm a handsome nigga that walk into the club and take your bitch. No, you can't. No, the fuck you can't. <laughs> stop it. Just, just fucking, just stop. It, it, all this shit will go away if you niggas just stop. <laughs> you niggas are fucking crazy. You can't. You, you got. You gotta stop doing this shit. This niggas got hopping on cam with bad haircuts, whack ass twisties, half gun dreads, fucked up fitteds, goopy ass clothes that we know you went to J.C. Penny and just bought that we're on a stream. You niggas are crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Let me hold on. Let me uh let me calm down. All right, man. I've been I've been at this shit for like an hour. If ain't nobody gonna hit the link, I'm gonna probably get out of here in a few minutes. Cause otherwise I'm gonna just be talking shit about these niggas for a while and I don't really want to do that. <sighs> oh, okay. All right. I I I, I called now a little bit. Okay. That's but th but this is the problem, right? It, it, the, the the problem is niggas took a very very long time to get to this point, and they still denying really basic truths about what it is that's going on in the world. You you, you can't hop on a stream not looking like the nigga that you say you are, and, and saying you to get bitches, nigga. That's not how it works. That's that's just, just not how it works. So I would advise. Yeah, I would advise I would advise niggas to just, just please stop doing that. Or at the very least, be honest about the shit. I, I get it, niggas want to put themselves in the best light, the best position. You don't want to be seen as lame ass, square ass nigga. I, I understand that too. I, I get that. You know, 
I'm not I'm no stranger to that shit. You know, we we've all done that. We've done that shit where we want to feel like we we, we you know, we're not a, a weak ass nigga. But it's not helping you when you when you're when you're coloring outside the lines of your own life. That that's only going to hurt you, man. You don't need to do that shit. I mean, look at the Southern accent, nigga. He hops on with, with you know, screen name. Of course, it's a pimp. Of course, of course, he has pimp in his screen name. Screen name. Probably from, he, he, he from one of the Southern ass states. So I my yeah. zero my you don't know what you're talking about, my. The 42 laws of my yacht. 48 laws of pie. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I tell these bitches, they, they come up to me. You, you feel know, me? I'm not I, in a bitch. My control. I control yeah. men, they control yeah. bitches, fam. You got a gray beard with food in it. And, and you and you talking shit. I don't about believe the law of mine. You brainwash mine. Talking about mind over laws. Yo, that dude said, that dude was trying to say mindset supersedes law. Mindset supersedes law, but, but but he was so dumb that he 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 even fucked that up and said law supersedes mine. Yeah, yeah, he said laws over mine. I knew what he meant, so I just rolled with it. Jeez, jeez. Yeah, I wasn't gonna correct the nigga on that. I knew what he meant. That was sad, man. <laughs> that Mindset. nigga. No, no, no. The fun. The best part was Fanny Willis. Like right. that. That nigga said Danny Willis. His leverage is his big paw. Danny fucking That's Willis. That's his leverage. And he said that the best example to show that his dick is his leverage against the Nism is Fanny Willis. Mind you, her, 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 her sneaky link or whatever they call that nowadays got fired, right? Then he get fired. Yes, yeah, soft. Yeah, hands. he got it's, fired. Yeah, the sneaky smooth. little nigga gone. But she kept her yeah. job. So, so but again, she kept her job. But yeah, he she got... kept her job. So, like, who win exactly. it? Like, that, that's the problem with these niggas. But he, she got in Not trouble over the. Dick, dick. She got in trouble over the dick. <laughs> yeah, the man gave her the power. Uh, he, okay, he but he gave her better... back the power. I can, I can give a power. better example than that. There was a chick who hit the lottery for hundreds of millions of dollars. Her boyfriend went to jail. She bailed this nigga out for $9 million. Yo, I saw that That nigga shit, jumped bro. bail. They arrested his I goofy ass that. again because he was trying to sell dope again. Exactly. Even though his bitch hit the biggest ticket of their life. Not only exactly. that, she didn't even break up with the nigga. She stayed nope. with the nigga. So, I mean, if we talking about dick rules the, the world, I mean, that's the nigga you need to go talk to. She didn't break up with the nigga immediately and bailed him out of jail for nine mil. He goes back to jail after trying to and sell she dope him and out jump again. Him and she bails him out again. She ain't gonna do none of that for one for any now, of y'all niggas. I would have gave you Jeremy, points. Jeremy I'd have gave you me. points for bringing that bitch up. Yeah, that's probably I a Jeremy that. Meeks looking ass nigga though. Right. To be honest. Exactly. But but I'll give you points for bringing that nigga up. Yeah, or or, or J Electronica. There you go, Evan. J Electronica. Yo, J, yo, J Electronica, bro. That nigga got a royal bitch. That dude got no. a whole no, fucking no, no. Rothschild. No, now here's the caveat. <laughs> he only had to become J Electronica to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This dude back Erica Badu. He, he, he backed. He the only Rothschild. had to become one of the greatest musicians of our time to do it. If greatest musicians is a stretch, but I know what you mean though. Yeah, no, he was yeah, he's one hell of the lyricist. If he would have blown to become one of one of the best in, in the most intricate fucking next level Jay-Z <laughs> yeah. co-signed fucking lyricist, yeah. Right, but um, but I'll give you I'll give you some credit for that. And you know? had to put out mixtapes that was freaking uh, Oscar worthy. No, we, we Grammy now, worthy. And he, and he got with a royal bitch. I'll do you yeah. one better than Jay Electronica. We got a nigga. She left the man for him. She left yeah. the man for him. Yeah. And I'll do you one better than Jay Electronica. We got a nigga who went to jail and a bitch saw his jail photo and was like, him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hell. <laughs> royal. This nigga Never went from get jail up, to Never royal bitch. Up. Never get up. Never Ain't get up. What he said? Never get Never up. Never get up. <laughs> 
Yeah, yo, but but not nah, Jeremy Meeks, man. That's that's freaking. You already know that's like, you know, gen, gen, genetic lot, lottery, like a motherfucker, like right. But if like he, his but brother, if he don't, had, his brother didn't even get it that right. That no, nah, his brother didn't even get it that hard. Yeah, but it's like if you gonna bring up some 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 dick ruling over the pussy, then okay, give me some better examples than Fannie Willis. Because you can't you can't use Fanny nah, Willis he, as an example. Things like Great Britain would say he's an example. Because because remember how he he was he was pretty much Loki since like see I know how it is for men out here. I can't brag about my marriage because you know you know I have a great marriage, but I can't come into this space and talk about it because it'll seem like I'm stunting. My thing is I came in this space in 2019, and I. And, and, and I think I seen Great Britain in 2020 January when 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 DJ Kuda had the throne for two minutes. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was always in there, and that was four years ago. Four years right. ago. If I have a great marriage, nigga, as soon as the pandemic shit is over, it's peace, nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? Because I ain't about to be up in the house. I'm about to. Go outside and enjoy my great marriage. You know, right? That's the thing, man. I mean, you check in with a nigga in a while and see if he in relationship plus land. I mean, they, they, ain't nobody gonna tell you, and nobody's gonna tell you when they niggas ain't gonna tell you when they get into relationship plus land. They 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 just gonna don't keep that shit a secret. Yeah, I wouldn't tell them. I wouldn't tell a nigga if I was in a relationship. <laughs> wouldn't he be on live yeah, anymore? Nah. You can't do that. No, but right, you know what? That, the thing is, it, you can't do that. But you see, like, um, I don't know, like, Gen Z, Gen Alpha. I mean, probably might be nor normalized with them. You know, when they be like, yeah, I'm in the cuck relationship. So what? Are right. you not in the cuck relationship? You're weird. You're money. Yeah, then, then I think a, a lot of so the um, twenties. A lot of what people talk about with that shit is like, well, a marriage isn't all about. True, I, I get that. Marriage is all about sex. You know, it's companionship. You got your your wife is more than just a sex partner. The, the mm -hmm. problem is when you're in relationship plus all of the other things that you say are important in a relationship is what mm -hmm. she's giving to the other person. Right, you, you think you think you think your wife ain't talking to the nigga she fucking like? You niggas is crazy. You know, that, that's that's why. I mean, would, you, I, would you say? Would you say every man at this point in time should just accept the fact that they are in a dynamic relationship plus style relationship without even really knowing so I should mean, that if, just if be you're like talking to base? if you if you dating and shit no. right right if you're dating and shit you definitely right. in relationship plus every every chick you talk to is fucking with somebody all of yep. them yeah yeah i mean and if they if they don't have a quote unquote boyfriend they they, they, they fucking with somebody that's the worst that's the worst uh uh um title to have nowadays man if what? you're a boyfriend boyfriend is almost synonymous with cuck nowadays right yeah, yeah. nobody wants to be the boyfriend because nobody bitches got friends to. it's just like um i think yeah. I, I, I think i told you about how like i never try to get rid of women's friends like if chicks got dudes that are friends i, I never try to get rid of their friends i just i'm just honest i say i don't want to be i don't want to be a, your boyfriend i want to be in a relationship with you i would rather just end it right now yeah because if you have friends, you know, you call it insecure, you call it whatever you want to. I, I'll accept the term, but that's just that's my limit on that. I, I don't want to be with a bitch with a bunch of dude friends. We can be friends. In fact, we can be friends and I won't even try to fuck you, but we probably will never talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to call you up on a Saturday yeah, and say exactly. what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So we, can call, we can call each other friends. But really it pro no that point. probably won't be the, uh, the we won't actually be friends. I'm not gonna call you, and, and I'm gonna just 
I'm gonna be looking for a new situation. Like we'll never talk to each other. Right. Right. There's no fucking way. Well, hold it's on, sad. Zero. Hold on, Zero. You gotta you gotta run down the list of perks you get with the relationships plus uh VIP package. You know what I'm saying? Like the perks uh, is plus, plus STIs, besides the obvious, it's like plus STIs, plus yeah, random dudes I'm trying to hit you in the I'm, face. I'm not gonna reject, <laughs> I'm not gonna project disease and all that. Like, I mean. Truth be told, a lot of these niggas, a lot of these relationship plus situations don't have diseases. People, people really get upset about just the act of pregnancy is a risk, but diseases, eh? I mean, because again, if if we, if we look at the stats and we we love the stats, right? If we're yeah. gonna agree that niggas is not out here giving out diseases, and we're not, then. A relationship plus situation is highly unlikely to end up with a disease situation. It's more likely that it'll end up in a pregnancy, or yeah, yeah. or it's more likely that the because a lot of chicks are on birth control. That's another thing. It might so not even end up in pregnancy end unless end. unless okay, the relationship plus be if the nigga is attractive enough, she probably gonna get pregnant by the nigga. Yeah, I mean, so that's just, that's just, that's just that just is what it is. If if the nigga's attractive enough and, and your wife is fucking him, she she might she might decide to have his kid. No, she will. She so will. I mean that's that's the real shit. But for the most part, you ain't gotta. I mean, diseases. Nah, it's more just. It, it's more. You sure about the diseases part though? Because yeah, yeah. Know, because like I said, if 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 if, if we're gonna keep using these stats about how safe niggas are. Then we're not out here handing out diseases. This is not happening. If we got if we got the lowest STI rate, then why would we have a higher STI rate just because niggas is in relationship plus? It's not gonna change. You know, I mean, when you widen the 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 when you widen the the people that are you know in your relationship. You know, when you widen the net, you're you you're bringing in potential STDs, though, aren't you? No, no, I understand that. But we, okay, so the, the we have these statistics about, so Fantastic knows these statistics. So we, they, they say them all, we, we used to say them all the time in the, in the space. So mm -hmm. for, for example, black men are the lowest on the, on the STI or STD. That's true. That's true. Shit. So. We're not yeah. handing out diseases. So That's if you're in relationship plus, the SCI is the least of your worries. What you need to worry about is probably a pregnancy <laughs> or, or or your bitch just straight up leaving you. I'm sorry. I just saw a X seven 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 comment. He said, I've been asked three times by married bitches to plug up. Yeah, yeah, I bet. We need 10 years in their marriage, bro. Oh, my God, bro. You see, this is what we talk about when we say the black pill, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm oh, look, look at Frankie Harris. He <laughs> said the fact, the fact that this convo can even exist is wild shit. Like, uh, imagine when these kids grew up and talk about their dynamic parents. Oh, no, no, let me do you one better. There's a bird looking bitch um that just landed a, a, a 18 year contract with a with a new nigga with Jalen Jalen Green. Oh my Dre, god. Drea. Drea. You say you say Drea, Drea. Bird, she is a freaking she's in the hall of fame for, for fucking shows, right. man. So like she just signed an 18 year deal with Jalen Green, right? Damn, that bitch do like a cute she, a cute ass bird. Yeah, she do like a pretty bird. Now her contract is her new contract is is it's not really a max deal, but it's enough. It's, it's gonna cover it for the rest of her fucking life. She has a That's son. A her, you know her son is almost a grown now, right? Y'all know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Dre, and, and that goes to Frankie Hyman's point. Like he's oh. he like he he has to have friends. His friends had his mama oh. on a wall. Yeah. Oh, he is grown. He's 22. God damn. Time moves fast. Yo, I'm saying he's older than Jalen Green. Time moves fast. I remember when they used to make fun Ain't of he? 
I, I remember when he used to uh, when they used to talk shit and say, um, "Who watching your son right now?" <laughs> when she was still on the TV show. Damn dog, her son grew up oh. and that bitch still bad. That's oh. a bad bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all, y'all heard about the new NFL nigga that uh got a old bitch pregnant. He like twenty four, and the uh, bitch she like thirty five, and she got a baby with Future and ba- Bow Wow. Right, so she paid then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thirty five. I thought she was supposed to hit the wall <laughs> after thirty. That's Who is cool. that bitch agent? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit! So to- all right, Tony Snow. So. I almost had a southern accent ban, but I, I, I like you because you, you know you'd be in the chat talking sense and shit. Yeah, uh, but I was like, I was like, Yo, no, nah. yeah. oh. yeah. got that. Them, them southern jokes behind the nigga feelings. Almost, he said, he almost had a southern accent ban. Yeah. <laughs> or any, or any. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, I'm out of uh, Dallas. Yeah, hey, no, I, the, I, I, I joke and shit. It's just, I, name. I joke about it and shit, but when every time it's a nigga who really is on that pussy or die shit, yeah, it, it's it's always it's always a southern accent, nigga. And I don't Tony, know why ain't, that is. Ain't Ty City out every there time? Yeah, he out there. I know Ty City. There you go. There you go. He on him oh, yo, unknown user. There's always exceptions. There's always exceptions. Always that. Like I, I, I fucks with Ty City and I fucks with Fantastic. Yeah. Shit, SKC is Southern accent nigga. I fucks with him. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Now SKC does. Oh uh, yeah, I, I see the bad with Patterns. I ain't tripping. Hell. SKC is a, is a Negro. Okay, he's a Negro. He's not no Southern nigga. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's, he's, he's a, a Negro. Negro. All he's right. still a he's Southern a, accent. He's a Southern he's accent a, Negro. He's a boule. He's on the way to play Hey, yo, un- unknown no, users like, up here, yo. What y'all was you talking know? about? Oh, my bad. Yeah, go the, ahead. I jump in at this. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So, you touched on so many things I wanted to address. It wasn't even funny. I think. Did you write them down? Man, I I got some articles and shit. My man kept getting drowned out. <sighs> Uh, fam, it's like trying to multiply by zero. Firstly, one of the issues I call this shit gynometry, man. They take 1% and 99% and it instantly defaults to 50-50. Because if it ain't zero, then, you know, it's heads or tails. And I think that it's frustrating watching people conflate possible with probable and forget at the end of the day that something like marriage is an institution. And that when you have these marriages that are successful, it's kind of like that situation where you take a bunch of monkeys, literally like actual monkeys, show them how to click a a lever up or down that says whether or not the stock market is going to go up or down. And if you've got enough monkeys, one of them is going to have made for the past five, six years, the correct answer to predict the market. The problem comes and trying to extrapolate useful information from that monkey, which is going to equate to absolutely nothing. That's where you run into the problem. Yeah, you're not going to get any useful information because it's all random. (sighs) But but you can't tell people this because they don't understand the difference between possible and probable and how systems work. True. Okay, but we can we don't have to average like we don't have to go, you know, one to ninety nine. You can you can also median That, that is that's a different mathematical category we can use. So but the median shows that the, the median has the same data. It's still a coin. Yo, yo, zero, zero. You lose. You, you lose. <laughs> you, y'all, y'all you already lose lost the chat. chat. Y'all intellectual <laughs> smarty pants ass niggas. All right. Wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me just. I'll, 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 I'll simplify. I'll simplify. The median is a different stat that you can use that's different from an average. It's more accurate. Also, it'll still be a coin flip. And then out of that coin flip, it's still going to be 80% one-sided when the, when it ends. That doesn't change. And you can use median for both of those stats, and it's going to be the same thing. So that's how you get your useful information. You don't have to average it where it's wildly inconsistent. You can median that shit, and it's going to be the same thing. And that's the problem. But, but people are arguing the success rate, whereas the, sex, the success rate is increasingly rare, but the the, the failure rate is more common and more destructive. 
right. that's the most so, important part. It's more common so and rules. more destructive. Right, and that's where you get that whole zero sum result and people making, I guess, benefit analysis assessments, and then they just say you're overthinking or you a bitch because you ain't trying to jump headlong with some chick and make a baby mama or yeah, yes, the you're not. Argument. Or you know the this whole thing you guys were mentioning earlier about this <laughs> relationship plus, <laughs> I just got hip to this goofy term non consensual monogamy. And that's what the language the that's being thrown what is around. That? <laughs> Have you ever heard of ethical non-monogamy? Ethical well, you ever heard non- of ethical, ethical non-monogamy? That term is now being thrown around. I'll be seeing that on chicks' profiles. Like, no, that's been yeah. out for like years now. <laughs> ethical non-monogamy. Is that the ethical slut book that came out that got everybody talking on that nonsense? Probably, but the, the term is wow. ethical yeah. non-monogamy, meaning... That an open relationship is a good thing because it is more beneficial to a marriage. Basically, it keeps your bitch happy because she gets to take life yeah. from randos. From randos, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that, increasing the level of and, ST, and, the and, possibilities and, of STI. And keep the lifestyle. <laughs> and then and then you insecure if you don't instantly co-sign on that shit, right? Yes. <laughs> and you can only and, and you only get lazy sideways, and that's all you gotta be happy with. You, Nigga, you, only get, you get bitches. lazy sideways cuddle. Yo, yeah. I'm in Dallas. I'm telling you right now, that shit is an epidemic out here. It is completely what? clown shoes comical. Yeah, but women are out here married cook, cookery or but something. But you, you live in the Cooper capital, though. <laughs> that, that, is that it? The, yeah, you, you so Dallas is the Cougar <laughs> Capital. You don't, you don't, they don't call it the Cougar Capital for no reason. It's a first of all, it's a college town. First of all, second of all, it, it, it's, a, it's a sports town. Third of all, it's a very affluent town. That's where a lot of tech companies are moving to. So there are a lot of Plano. Say what I said, shout out to Plano, but I thought the majority of this was pretty much isolated and sealed away in Oak Cliff. Which I'm beginning to see. I, I, I ain't never heard that. that I ain't never heard that. Uh, C- Cougar Town. Uh, oh yeah, y'all. Did, yeah, uh, Dallas, the Cougar Capital, nigga. Y'all got all the hoes. Up there. Y'all got all them old bitches chasing niggas. How do you now you think about? It. Our Cougars <laughs> do act like young bitches though. Yeah, yeah. Yo. The, the, the puffed up lips, the nice cars. It be bitches riding Range Rovers out there. I, my, my job has a branch out there. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I go work out there. Yeah, it's, it's Cougar Capital. <laughs> y'all got, got hoes. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yo, Franklin, that's what I was saying. I don't, it's a whole probably the best place to get you a sugar Dallas. mama. That, that nigga Tony Snow's gonna go get his outfit game up. He's gonna go get the tightest jeans he can find. My nigga, nigga about to go get them eight thousand dollar Louis yeah. V loafers, nigga. right? If it, you, if, nigga? If, it, if it get a, a pair of jeans and a tight ass shirt with glitter on it. And a free PS5. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a, 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 a uh, outfit nigga. The, the outfit nigga that you be uh, clowning. Oh, and, uh, but oh out, see? Yeah, I knew he gonna I'm gonna be doing that. Cap, <laughs> the fitted cap with the dreads in that bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you got dreads, dog. <laughs> what? You be clowning so down there. Why you a uh, You be clowning. The nigga that you be clowning saying that why you have to buy a $500 outfit for this shit? No, no, thousand, oh. five thousand. <laughs> nigga, the, the, the shirt by itself is five hundred. I was like, damn, nigga, why the fuck did I pay that much money on the motherfucker outfit? Yeah, you, yeah. you said all right. Look, man, I'll be shooting at myself when I be talking about nigga, this. Shit, Ross I don't just be Marshall's at other and niggas. TJ Max, yo, that's all I. I don't know. just be shooting at other niggas. I be shooting at myself too. Like I used to do that shit. I, I used to have seven jeans and shit. The motherfuckers cost like five hundred a rip. Yeah, I'll be like, damn, nigga, I don't trick, but shit. And, and, and I don't be wasting all this goddamn too. money on the house for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I don't mean like $700 biker jeans. jackets and shit. I don't mean seven pairs of jeans. The jeans brand was called Seven. It is Seven Jeans. Uh, I guess all I wanted to just... say coming up, coming up, Zero, is, you know, I, <laughs> I think people are not respecting how bad it's actually gotten. And I think that because the opportunity to do this isn't zero, that they're not respecting that you need to create systems and processes to make valuable the institution of marriage if that's the direction you want to go. And also to say these things doesn't mean that you believe marriage is evil or people who are married are evil. What people are asking for is just being honest about the shit. 
I, I don't understand what the problem is. Marriage I mean, is ideal, but the, the problem is religion itself buckles to, to, to women's needs. So that's the problem. Like, like I, re, the religion, the institution of religion, the organization of religion, it buckles to women, just like the government. Well, they I got don't even think, I don't majority, even think right? dudes want marriage, whatever. It's like you said, zero that term. I think you don't want to coin the uh, term in house and the motherfucking man is fair, whatever. Yeah. But I think dudes just, just want in house, yes. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, you yeah, need to yeah, do a whole goal. like 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 how you did with that other one, the SBE with the SBE uh magazine cup thumbnail <laughs> rumble. You need to do you need to break down the whole motherfucking in-house term, man. Because I was trying yeah, to explain yeah, yeah, that's nah, all it, we I don't need, need to do all that. In-house validates you. No, 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 no. You see, the thing but, is that. Uh, oh no, Tony, go ahead, go ahead. Because it's like I know it's kind of mean, like sucker for love, but it's like I think I like the in-house term better. But it's not sucker for love or whatever. Cause you, yeah, it, it definitely. I think a lot does. of times they don't even love the bitch. It's just they gotta have a bitch around them. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look at yeah, how they're the, the, the woman, the woman, like the, the, the woman, fantastic. The, the woman validates you even being able to talk about this shit. That's that's part of the problem. Like if you if you don't have one, then you a pussless, hugless ass nigga. Yeah, kind of niggas think relationships <laughs> back to back. What up? Puss, I love that like, word. The first I used to call it for like sucker for love, like you just fall in love quick. But it's like you're right. It just they just need a bitch around. Yeah, but but it also helps in these conversations because the, what I was talking about earlier, dudes will use their relationship or marriage to shield them from any type of pushback or criticism when they're talking about this shit. Like you will have relationship right. and marriage niggas hopping up in streams talking about single nigga life shit. And the second you challenge their position, they go, well, I'm married. I ain't like you. Yeah, I ain't like you. Nigga. What the fuck are you oh, here? I got a wife at home. Just like bitches when they say they they, they, they throw up their ring and shit. Well, yeah, but it's like the they, don't even, they don't even like the nigga that they with, but just the marriage valid. They point to the finger. <laughs> I think yeah, the other frustrating other part out. also ends up being how, you know, if you try to say something about the marriage institution, suddenly you got to be married to talk about marriage. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's yeah, another yeah. one. That's always, that's, that's everybody. Your motherfuckers always try to, as soon as it sounds like you calling out a motherfucker on some shit, all of a sudden, yeah, what's your credentials? Are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Have you been married? Are you divorced? If you're divorced, why are you talking about it? You're not married right now. I'm married. I mean, you're not married. Why are you talking you about marriage when you're not married? You don't it's need crazy. cancer to talk about it and then offer rational advice on how to try yeah. to avoid it. Did the doctor have right. cancer? Yeah. Yeah. Just like the comparison you made last time you said that you don't need to be play, I, play I, NBA, I, in the NBA or NFL to know what a bad play is. Exactly. But that, yo, the, sports niggas is trying to keep you off from talking about sports now. <laughs> yeah, you know they're doing that, that time right now. With time you said, but I was like, damn, you so right. You see Gil Gilbert Arenas is dumbass. No, no, I, 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 I get, yeah, Gilbert Arenas, he one of them niggas. Yeah. But I get you on that name, but I, I'm not going to compare marriage to cancer because I don't want them niggas on my top. Right, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Yeah, let's stick with sports. That way everybody marriage, start inflating you shit. Compare marriage to what? Cancer. I, I use the cancer illustration, so somebody's going to repel in from the ceiling and have some genius idea to think I was trying to oh. say marriage is cancer. Yeah, yeah. Brain cells. You know how they do they play I mean, sound I mean, <laughs> I mean right. it takes a while to mess mess the size and then the the do this ass out, man. You know I mean? <laughs> Look, <laughs> we gonna stick with sports and call that bitch a day. You know what I'm it's, right. it's, it's a small little thing. It starts little. You know what I'm saying? What and I will say and what I will what I will advise is people consider the language that you hear about this, what you call super nigga zero. Go take a look at the way a beehive works and look at them drone bees, the actual drones. And I'm going to just say I see a lot more similarities with the way people talk about that and the actual role of the drone in the bigger scope of the hive. So who would be the drone in this case? Well, let me read to you what a drone does real quick. Drone bees are male members of a hive whose primary purpose is mating with the virgin queen. Unlike worker bees, drones do not collect pollen, produce honey, or take part in most hive roles. 
They're fatter than worker bees with bigger compound eyes and no stinger. Drones oh. usually die immediately after mating. And the alternative for non-mating males is expulsion from the hive. Damn. Okay, so what so happens it, when, it, 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 when the ultimate the drone doesn't die? It, no, no, I it's, mean, it's like you just get purple. a an unending cycle of this shit. What, what if the drone is a George <laughs> Macon type nigga? He he don't die. He just he, he's, he's still hanging around. around. Tell his B stories, <laughs> his B op stories. Yeah, 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 on the panel calling you a beta male. That's what it is. I used to get B pussy, and uh, you know, uh, I found God and I married. <laughs> So, so yeah, you know what happens? What happens then? Hold on, that shit weird. That shit weird as hell. Now, nah, but um, um, nameless. What were you were referring to when you mentioned um, uh, systems and processes in place if you want to engage in the institution of marriage? What's what do those systems and processes look like? Extended family and a circle of basically a sisterhood that's pro-marriage that keeps the bullshit in check. I think, and looking at other cultures and looking at antiquity and how all of that went down, my argument on why this went south largely has to do with the Industrial Revolution and the degradation of social roles. And more specifically, the roles being seen as optional, the technology infringing on male roles quicker than they did female roles. And mm -hmm. being in a first world country where the consequences of, let me rephrase that, where the first two level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs can be met by the infrastructure rather than having the institution of family be in place. It, in other words, made family, the nuclear family model in particular, optional. So if you can get to a situation or if you look at situations where they don't either have access to the infrastructure the same way or two, there's an extended family network that is keeping that woman connected to that man because they're tethers to two different families and the families are combining resources to get things done. I don't see the marriage model working without those components in place. It's an example of the institution being put there primarily because mm -hmm. that's how you motivate the men to go out and do more work than what's required. In general, I mean, you got yeah. exceptions, but unless you have a rational, well, let me just use a case in point. If you take a look at the majority of people who are responsible for maintaining critical infrastructure in any society, there we're talking about trash men, people that are your skilled laborers doing real key things. The overwhelming majority of them are, are doing these difficult jobs so that they can pay for bills and their family. Mm -hmm. it's rare that you find a dude that is going out on an oil rig just to make money for the sake of making money so he can go home and spend it on himself on bullshit. He's doing yeah, it because so he's, he's no high for individualism. Right. So, but that's consistent throughout human history though. Like people have generally been put in a position to, they elect to do these jobs and roles because there is a family dynamic in place. There's somebody to provide for other than themselves. So when this becomes a systematic thing where people are disincentivized because getting into other positions they're competing with women to get, or they're being told repeatedly or being shown either directly or indirectly that there's no reason to pursue that or that the cost of entry to even get in there is too high. You end up questioning what is your role socially. I think that in psychology right now, they've been doing a lot of work on breaking down gender-based psychology and getting into how these deaths of despairs and diseases of despair affect men and women differently. And social role was one of the key issues for men. When dudes don't seem to have a purpose, folks start deleting themselves. Right. And at best case scenario, they don't perform to their greater potential that they would otherwise do. And it's it's one thing if a few people are doing it, but when you've got a majority of people or a large percentage of people, there's a critical mass to where these systems that are in place currently anticipate a nuclear family model, anticipate the overwork of men. And if they don't have that, you begin to have all these holes that get poked into the system. And it starts with 
the finances, people not having as many kids, and that and as a as a result or a consequence starts spiraling out of control with people just not being there to pay taxes like that. But that's what I meant when I when I spoke of the institution needing other subsystems in place to support it, otherwise it fizzles out. Mm. Right, but then so, so what, in what, what, what part of be there? Okay. Say that again. Then, then what would those be? Then, like an example. Oh, I just gave an example of again the extended family. having having like mothers that are married, and the parents mm -hmm. on both sides providing counsel if there's some sort of problem. Let's say there's a financial issue. You know, instead of it just being one source of income, you always got some place to stay in the form of the parents, for example. That, that requires an incentivized like that. program, like that. That's what I'm saying. So, we're, how how would like how would you even get to that? Like, for example, you, you're describing a support group, right? We need an incentive. There needs to be an incentivized group for that. You're asking how do I how do you start one from scratch? Exactly. Like, <laughs> and my I, answer you is you don't. You, <laughs> that, yo, you can yeah, try, yeah, but okay. you don't. You need inertia from something already existing. <laughs> right. We're that, talking about an energy transfer. <laughs> energy transfer. Right. That's inertia. You're you're taking energy yeah. from that's already existing and you're converting it into you. what you're trying to do now. Yeah. But and that's the thing. So that's why you got a higher percentage of success with groups from either different classes doing this or from other parts of the world coming over here to do business over here to do this. If you're dealing with a group of people who have to start from zero, and in some instances negatives every single generation, it's almost damn near, you're better off damn near trying to do it all by yourself with nothing, which is what we see, and becoming an exception than trying to create all of this momentum and inertia from scratch, which a lot of us try to do. But we see how that gets sabotaged by our own family members, leading to the whole, we succeed not because of, but in spite of the demographics we're part of. It's just that mm -hmm. I think other groups of people end up destroyed by this. And I think it's a, a credit that so many of us are kind of still sitting around talking about this shit and not absolutely destitute. Contrary mm -hmm. to the narrative. Well, I mean... So what you're describing is like that's that's called hope. <laughs> that, that's all there is to it. Like if 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 people have a have a but the thing is you don't need you don't need that type of hope. You know what I mean? For example, the um the passport bro movement, I fucking hate that name, but that yeah, yeah, particular yeah. movement that shit up, yo. Thanks that, a lot, blah blow. I know, right? <laughs> Thanks that so was, um, that had potential, like a lot of, a, a lot of, it had a lot of power potential, but the, hold on, this isn't working. Let me, let me go back. I don't see it in the stream. Anybody see this dude photo on the stream? Yeah, they do. All right. Take a look at this nigga. <laughs> that's, that's, um, uh, is that Azrael? He, he has, name? he has light he has early stages of manosphere disease. When, 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 no. Uh, oh. is, is this Azrael? He's a, he's a beard nigga, huh? That's Azrael, right? No, no, that, that's an AI photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, neighbors, what was I saying? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said he was stage hey. one. And no, no, laminated notes. <laughs> I studied that, with that. my laminated notes. What, and what, what was I saying before that? God, yo, he, <laughs> we were we were talking about mechanisms on how saying, you support. This, the okay, okay. So no, I was talking about like one of the mechanisms that that could have gave people a different brand of hope instead of the hope that you can alpha your way through a situation is the, the passport situation. Now, if they wouldn't have turned oh, but it they into cheap a fucking. And well, they turned it into a street game. The, the nigga, the nigga Austin, the, the nigga Austin went and got a passport tattoo on his own. <laughs> what? Gang, gang. I'm serious. 
high snap chains. You started they, seeing rappers with chains of passports. Bro, dog. them niggas, them niggas took the fuck out of that movement. Yo, he got a passport <laughs> tattooed. On, like, is it? Did he get the barcode on there? He, so, he got it you know, they later. Can... <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> And then, like I was talking about, I think I was talking about this the other day. All of the old OG niggas that um they they expat it, they went over there to kind of like find a, a a better life than in America because the social situation is so bad. Family here. values. Yeah, they value family values. But all of them niggas, when, when Austin got when, when Austin got popular, all of them niggas jumped out the window and, and started you know sitting around the campfire telling they fucking player tales. You know, that now, now all of a sudden they they players and and, and overseas pimping and shit. Yeah. So so nah. them, them niggas them niggas ended up telling on themselves, and all it took was a young nigga to come out and and bring and bring them out the closet. You know, it's frustrating because all my most of my family was in the military, so I didn't even think this was something that would have a name associated with it. I mean, even my grandfather after he got divorced to my grandma. He moved to Brazil and got remarried, and it was the literal happily ever after story again. And this was in the freaking 80s. So, I mean, people have been doing this forever. I just don't understand. I don't understand you know why the, that has to have a label behind it. You know when the I'm nigga saying? Gen Pop gets a hold of something, a tag automatically follows by a dance, by a tattoo, Right. And chain. The dance. Is, there dance. <laughs> Yo, is there a passport, bro? Dance. Is there a passport? I'm gonna be so mad. Dance is like synonymous with songs. So, like, you all of a sudden you have niggas doing rap songs about <laughs> Colombia and Sosua and passport bros and all of that stuff. And that's yeah. exactly niggas had a what song. Happened. Yo, J. Cole got in on this shit. J. Cole and, and the whole Dreamville gang. And, and, and he even had the uh, 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 in his verse. He had to make the distinction between the passport bros that travel for culture and the ones that um, are pretty much whoremaxing. But I mean, <laughs> even when you run the math on that, you got more women that's that's been on that. I think they did a whole movie on that. How Stella got her groove back. I, I mean, yeah. Regardless, though, so. whoremaxing old ass bitch. I'm just saying that's that's unfortunate, but no. To your point, zero. I mean, I get it. They could have rebranded it, understanding that if you want a traditional model, black comes in more than just Eidos. Exactly. So I mean, exactly. I thought that was common sense and logical, Nigga, but crazy. I don't know. I don't know what it. You 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 grew up in. This you grew up in I be trying, fam. fam. I'm trying. I'm trying. Look, I want to see the good in people. I really name. Let's don't even talk like in. a regular nigga, man. Look, man. You know I, look, I know our potential though, and I think it's because we have all this potential. Yeah. We ain't doing shit because we don't have to, and this is just True. the aggressive pursuit. The the what do they call that? The race to the bottom. I, I, I think niggas desperate. I think to be honest with you, when, when I hear niggas on panels talking about that they want a traditional situation, I believe it. I, I believe it, but at the same time, we got internal peer pressure. Like most of Black America is like they want you to get a good family situation in the most spectacular way possible. You gotta have the best looking bitch, the biggest house, the biggest car. That don't really. That doesn't. That's not going to stabilize, like, say, your family situation. If you spend your whole life on stunt mode. Like, your, your, your whole life is a stunt. Like, even if you want the traditional family, your Slash whole life is still on stunt mode. The rags, the riches narrative? No, 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 not the rags. It's more like you 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 have your wife, but she the, she's the baddest bitch in the neighborhood. You have your right. family, but you got the... The, you the boardroom pookie nigga you used to run the streets now you run the boardroom yeah. you know but i mean that is the rags to riches narrative though not necessarily the order of operations but presenting that image because nobody can come from yeah. a destitute yeah. environment and then make 50k and that's considered successful even though if you compare right. that so 50K I guess to the rest of is, niggas, niggas don't <laughs> want to have a, a a regular life the word right. regular is like Insult. Acid to a nigga, like you, you can't say regular to it. As soon as you say regular to a nigga, they fucking look at you, but like you just cussed them out. Now that's a fight. 
That's a that's all. Yeah, that's a fact. fight. You're saying the word regular to Ooh, a nigga regular, is wrong. Regular, ass nigga. Like, nigga, did that's you just call fight. me regular? You just stabbed over that shit. Folks, that, are stabbed that's folks over over. mathematical realities. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> you, know you can't you can't mm-hmm. call a nigga regular. <laughs> Yeah, see, Frank Hyman said it best. Regular means balding hairline. <laughs> yeah. I don't regular. know. Maybe that's American consumerism at play Re- going on. Here. Regular is this nigga on the new magazine. Regular is this dude on on the on on the yeah. This this that's one this nigga. Right now. Irregular. That's zero. Do you got right an SBE here, magazine? What the fuck? This nigga. Look <laughs> yeah. at this nigga. This nigga looks safe. Yeah. This is a you just just park just park your ass right this, here. This nigga looks like safe he got a ass, fence nigga. around his yard. Just park Yo, right here, nigga, and make sure you, you says, pick my son up from school. You he look like he got a crib with a fence around the yard. See that? that, that Yo, somebody, your number sixteen said that's Gabe A right there. Your number Damn. sixteen, you ain't shit, bro. Stay, stay going. Shit. Matter of fact, Dude, I expect Gabe, Gabe Hay to be here in five minutes just because you said that. <laughs> okay. Gabe Hay gonna come through now. Thanks for summoning him. Just got off the call. That's a lot, number 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man. Look, man, I just. This is look, a nigga you... with an eight, 850 credit score, yo. He said 850. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he can fuck it up for the beach. I'm yeah, just saying, man. No, I, nobody wants to be regular. He tried to shake his hand. He like, I, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on the AI, man. Yo, yo, it's wild, bro. Oh, shit. And you know, it's so funny because um. I get what you what Nameless was saying about the uh you know the the systems in place and you know like um a, a network of women in the family that will hold the bitch accountable and shit. Hey, can of wise what's popping, man? But um freaking the funny thing is that a lot of those countries or those areas on the globe where you still have a lot of that. They getting infiltrated like a motherfucker. With this smartphone, is the greatest freaking CIA spy ever, yo. Like and, and social media, of course. You understand me? Because real talk, yo, is it's motherfuckers in Africa right now, mind you. Average salary or some, and I'm just picking out a number like twenty five dollars a year type shit, yo. And and the women over there, they they're not humble. They talking about, oh yeah, you gotta make uh the the equivalent of what a hundred thousand dollars would be in their currency to date them. But this bitch ain't even got this this bitch uh 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 uh, uh, uh the floor in, in, in the bandle she live in is made out of sand. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And, and and you and you know why? You know why? Because they have phones. Because it's still somebody in their poor ass village that got a TikTok or a, or, or IG or something and got some traction on social media. And who knows? Might be getting a little money. And what a little money is for us will be a lot of money for them. So now it's like, nah, this nigga the stand. Is that what they call hoflation? You know yeah. Like you got so, hoflation in places where you can't even afford to have a hoflation. Because the bitch ain't even got sandals on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, they can role play that, right? But it's not going to be until the infrastructure catches up that that actually sticks. To your point, though, yeah, we're definitely going in that direction. When they introduce things like social media and had high-speed broadband internet available on a cell phone, it shrunk the social environment. So since we know that women are definitely calibrated to form these networks, the way that they were traditionally used to enforce behavior, it could be used to either build or destroy. What we're seeing is everybody is trying to reset their expectations and reset their hypergamy meter to what they're seeing on these images. 
And I bet someone's going to do the math eventually or do the research and start showing how, you know, these parasocial relationships and people vicariously living through the internet is causing people to essentially be, well, treat themselves the same way they would as if someone was there in person. Like it still has like those negative side effects. Like, you know, if they put those freaking measurement, those instruments on you that measure your pulse, your biometrics, and then they expose you to some movie screen and some shits going on there. Like your parasympathetic nervous system don't know the difference between that and the real thing. So if you're constantly being fed that sort of stimulation by way of social media and these this vicarious role playing, trying to be Jada Pickett Smith or something, you know, <laughs> how that could have a long term effect on you. I, I think they're going to start coming up with the research that shows how this is causing more harm than good. And this vicarious living is having permanent effects. Well, I mean, they they could do that. But. The, the, pro the problem with that is when you take the responsibility out of people and say that it's this thing causing them to, then the government gets involved and all of a sudden we have to outlaw it and turn it into like a, a government problem. That, that's not going to help. And that's not going to help anything that you just you taking people's responsibility from them. And, and that's an easy way. To, that's an easy way to get us into a situation where, you, you know, you want slavery back. Well, China's already doing that. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> I, I didn't say that was a solution. I'm saying that's the direction we're headed. I, I think we're already going in that direction. I'm speculating. I'm digressing the topic. But I think we're already heading in that direction. Just right, because I'm saying, I, I don't want that. Like the thing, the thing is, stop fighting technology. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the, the problem is fighting technology. Yeah. There's different uses for technology. The only reason you seeing like this, this all of this short attention span and men looking for different outlets to, to to focus their attention on is simply because it's not the technology. It's it's the reason when niggas are retreating to porn and shit is simply because bitches have all the options available and they exercise them. Right. It, it's Griffin's always law. been this way. Right. It's Griffin's always law. it's always been this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bifocals law. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that, that's law. the bow down law. I mean, for the most part, okay. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Not the breakfast law. Yeah, breakfast law. <laughs> but, <laughs> the, the, the bow down <laughs> law. <laughs> Damn. But I'm saying, like, it, it's always been this way. But the answer isn't to take away the technology, and the answer isn't to restrict bitches' choices. The the answer is to allow all the choices. Right. And that's, that's where that's, that's where the other side of the fence wants to allow one side of the fence have that, but not the other. Exactly. That's bullshit. And that's the problem. That's the bullshit. That's the bullshit. Yeah. So that, <laughs> that's probably if we could get to a, po a position where women don't just get all the choices and, and men do, then, yeah, we, we, we'll be fine. But again, you know what that's that, going to look like, here's though. The here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that, right? It, it, there's a nasty word associated. Oh, shit. I didn't see Fantastic back there. There's a nasty word associated with that, and it's called prostitution. That's what okay? I was going to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is the nasty word associated with, with, um, with all the choice. Because the end goal yeah, is that yeah. women want to have their ability to... They, they want the same exact freedom as a man that's i want the, to the, sell my is, pussy if you want, I don't want you to call me out on but, it but like i said earlier in the stream if you want families and all of that shit to make a return in full force full force and have and have all of that shit that you dream of you're gonna have to let them do it i call it limited liability based patriarchy is what the what's being campaigned for right now you all these all these terms. No, no, I, I yo, like yo, it we got, we got, like we, it. we got, we got a like copyright on all these terms. I yo. like it because because that's what the white boys be doing. They, they, they making, <laughs> they, they, they're, they're making different articulation for the same shit. They have what's called attraction IQ now. Yo, 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 what the, <laughs> yo, fam, fam. You gotta codify it, man. Otherwise, yo, they hit you with that hate speech label. And, and, yeah. and this coming from black pill niggas, bro. And that yeah, shit coming dude. from black pill niggas talking about attraction IQ. Attraction bro. IQ. That shit is wild, bro. <laughs> MD, you gotta explain that shit, man. Y'all, you inscribe, man. Like, come on, man. 
shit. They already explained it. You have yeah, to have a, a, a certain level of uh, a combination Riz? of genetics and game. Uh, you, mean, to, you mean Riz? You know the word for Riz? Yeah, Riz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Riz. Yeah. What's that? Um, was it Wheat Waffles? I think he's got a whole chart breaking a lot of that shit down. Yeah, and yeah, you know what? Wheat Waffles is still below average, yo. No matter how much he does the fucking the, charts. The white, and shit, the, the white boys are changing the language. That ain't so never going to be you. So they can move right. this shit forward. Good luck to him. Anyway, what's up with you, Fantastic? <laughs> and he's selling. Yo, hold up, man. What's going on, bro? Shit. What's, what's you sound sleepy. Fantastic. Yeah, see, I fell asleep, nigga. Y'all asked me going um, on these fucking 10 buck two hours and shit, nigga. You know what I mean? I saw you when you, I was watching your original live, and you said you was going to go live. And then I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? You said you going to do the panel. And then my ass fell asleep. I was just like, I woke up. Like, oh, shit. This nigga, I said an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like I'll be back in an hour. Yeah. But <laughs> well, what up, man? Yeah, bro. Um, shit. This is shooting shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Fantastic. Did you, did you did you catch the SKC stream? Um, you know, um, the stream that you was on on SKC stuff, and and you and Ty that you uh left. Did you still uh, yes, hear, uh listening? Oh yeah, I was trying to catch y'all on that stream, man. I was driving to the crib. I was like, damn, both um, these niggas left. Yeah, I, I I was in there for a minute, man. After that, I didn't go back into it. Like I said, if I, whenever I get down, bro, it's usually because I got some else shit going on. So I didn't go back and I didn't go back and rewatch it after that. Whatever was yeah. going on after that. Bro. I don't know. I ain't no telling what I missed. Oh bro. yeah, you nigga, you missed Ooh. the epic meltdown. <laughs> bro, it's like 2020, bro. It was like 2020 again, bro. I swear from to God, yesterday. Yeah. Yes. It it got who, lit who, after who y'all was left. It? It, 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 I don't know, man. Some new niggas hopped up there going ape shit. Great Britain and, and, and this pimp. What what was the name? Pimp Charlie. I don't remember his name. I know pimp was in the name. Oh Lord, not a pimp. <laughs> yep. We got those awesome. again. We got we got fucking we, we, we back to that. Yes. It was the game yes. wars. It was the okay. game that wars. controls men who controls women. Like he controls. It was whoa, the game. Whoa, whoa, it was whoa, the whoa. educated lane versus Pookie and Ray Ray wars all over, over again. all over again. A, ga- a game nigga got into my my chat late um this earlier tonight. Like a game nigga came in. You got to have game. You know, just just you know, so prophetically, just randomly, we we talking <laughs> about you know bitches with you know what I'm saying bitchcraft or whatever going on, right? Then all of a sudden, nigga pop up in the chat, bro. We're like third, we like three hour plus in, you know what I'm saying? We in overtime. This nigga, you got to have game. And immediately, we're like, come on, dog. Come on, come on, get out of here, bro. What are you talking about? Man? Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, no, I was, no, um, no. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Fit, so, yeah, you, you give him the run. Yeah, when I was on SKC Street, I was just talking about you and, uh, you and uh, Ty City's positions. And how both of y'all had points, but the thing is, we, we kind of missing the point. Not neither position is gonna work without like effort. Like on Ty City side of the thing is hyper individualistic. That shit ain't gonna work unless there's some type of effort. And I brought up the example of even our black elites, they don't put their money together to do anything significant. And, and I don't mean, and I can strip away the black, I can strip away the do anything meaningful for the black community. I'm talking about even for their own class. They don't get together and do shit even for their own class. So that shit's out. And then from your position, it's more of a communal thing where we have to get together and make make our communities a bit better with, with, a, with a group effort for men. The problem with that is there is no nigga alive that's going to do that because it interferes with their pussy options. And niggas is not saying no. So the communal effort is out. Because niggas can't niggas can't get along long enough. As soon as a chick walks in the room, there is no more getting along. Yeah, the the nigga lander, like I said, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. So I mean, at some point though, somebody got to figure this shit out. You know, you know what I mean? Or or you just you forever motherfucking trying to tread water before you drown. That's that's my thing. The hyper individualistic shit ain't never worked. And you do have a point in time as where you see like, hey. Before, you know, shit got, I guess, like, you know, better from what we perceive to be better, you know, civil rights movement and shit, niggas had to figure it out. Niggas had to work together. So it's kind of like a thing to where y'all talking about, right? Where, like, because I don't know if you talked about this, it's a little off base, but, bro, these, um, and I know niggas are going to call me a coon and scary and all this other shit, bro, but 
But this whole Civil War shit, bro, shit, shit's getting real, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, it, so, it, white folks, um, a, a big point of contention is um, this, um, and I've been tracking this shit, and I'm trying to wait for the right time to talk about it, but the little white girl that got beat up by the black girl and literally got her skull, like, crashed in, crushed in, um, white people mad about that shit, bro. And this shit ain't just happening here. You know, the whole shit in South Africa been going on now for, what, two years? Or yep. a year and a half? Yeah, yeah, they've been taking so, their lands and shit back, yeah. Yeah, so... But then you had so, the whole stadium of, of people yelling all that, all those... Uh, yeah, yeah, so, 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 you know what I'm saying, you, you, you know, uh, like what you said earlier, fucking Zero, it was like, you talking about one of the songs, right? But, uh, like, you know, the, the old fucking white white racist anthems pretty much we're not gonna take it <laughs> yeah. no we ain't gonna take it I'm telling you. Nigga, bro, listen, bro. and oh, i'll nigga i'll come from the the most white fucking shit of all shit bro most american white what a military shit bro i'm telling you dog if white folks ever get too angry too mad niggas have no chance the niggas worse in me Tariq Yo, I swear to God, God there there are bro. there are a bunch of militant groups just in the southern states alone where you got a family of four that can clear a whole urban yes. neighborhood. Them yeah, niggas bro. practice urban niggas even warfare. Have a chance. N- niggas, yeah. nigga, nigga, give me your, your best shooter, your best stepper, nigga. He yeah. won't even see it. He coming. did. Like I said, yeah. ima- yeah. imagine like a family. Your best shooter. Ima- imagine a, fr- a family of four come to kill your neighborhood. These niggas got on backpacks, and all you hear is a nine year old yelling, "Clear!" <laughs> I'll be mad as hell, <laughs> bro. Yo, it's an eleven-year-old girl talking about friend. Oh. Yeah, yeah, hand signs get, up get, get, to advance. Your head top push back, yo, bye, 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 eight-year-old, yo. <laughs> yeah, about listen, it's like dad high five in, just like the I talk. high five in the moms and shit. The niggas running yeah. around on scooters with silencers. Shoot niggas yeah, with precise aim and, and, and night vision. Sound like birds chirping. Turing the feed and all and all the pro black. Tariq Nasheed and all them pro black niggas gonna be running too. Hell yeah, I know. <laughs> Leave a niggas mind. Imagine imagine them real. going to clean up Chirac. You got a bunch of a bunch of certified stepper niggas running from, from a fucking 12 year old. This thing, the bitch got a fucking night vision goggle on with Hello Kitty all over that motherfucker. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Her, her, the nigga, no the little nigga, nine years old. He got a gun that say "pow pow" etched into the side of it. <laughs> not missing, moving targets. No not chance. Missing. Yeah, not at all. Drills. Yo, we laughing so, about so, this shit, man. But this yeah, shit, man, this shit so, is real, that's, yo. That's my thing, man. I'm, I'm looking at. I'll be really looking at this shit, and nigga, I, I, I don't know, bro. It's just like the way my approach. Y'all know me, bro. I really be trying to like not be authoritative. But you know, niggas can't take your anything outside of their realm of niggadom as anything other than either disrespect or you know what I'm saying sucking off the white man pause type shit. You feel to what be saying? fair, and fantastic. Yeah. To be fair, this is literally the exact same argument that W. E. B. Du Bois was having with Booker T in the Atlanta address. Basically, he was telling him to calm down. You're blowing the spot up. You're being too hot. Why are you riling these folks up? Let's get our bread right. Let's get our infrastructure right. And he was like, no, you a coon because you being nice to these white people. Yeah, it's the same story. It. It's the same that's, conversation. That's that's And that's that's why I say, man, you know, the the, the biggest thing, the, the best game ever played on niggas was the whole, you know, racism thing. We never go let go of slavery. You know what I mean? I mean, like not saying shit, we're fucked up. But you know, nigga, you want to own you was, you was the last slaves, not the only ones. You feel what I'm saying? Fantastic. Yeah. Well, fuck yeah. this up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do you one better. Niggas voted in the worst economy ever witnessed in the history of niggas by way of a third world style election. By, by way of a third world ass election. election. So, who, you know what's you? crazy? Hey, just real quick, zero. Bro, you remember we we all I remember what nigga we all was but we were all Trumpers for a day after we got up and I remember you the stream you did like nigga this shit is mathematically impossible of a mathematically impossible. I know that that was a panel. No Nobody wanted to come up and talk about that math. Ain't no way. I distinctly remember that shit, bro. And the and the whole space was just Trump Trump supporters after that. My bad, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, cause cause what it what it was was there was more votes 
happening than, than there were registered voters. People. Yeah. That is mathematically impossible. Not improbable, impossible. Then you had literal camera evidence, not only camera evidence, but but actual voter registration evidence of votes being dumped. Thrown away. Yeah. Thrown away. That. Yeah. But, but, and I remember you had the you had the joint with the spike of the chart of like the time, yes. like the timeline, like two a.m. The, the overnight vote dump. When the machines would ca- the machines would give Biden a vote for every five Trump's votes. Yeah. And then it they were talking about they the called it the glitch. The the, um, what's the, what's the, the machines? The they they, 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 they going, called it a glitch. Money machine. <laughs> right, but they called it a glitch. But here's the thing about Pro- I, 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 have, I have a degree in computer science. Glitches don't work like that. So if you write an application, the application, the the app that you write has a simple mode of programming. If this square is black, the result is this person, or this no. It's not going to be their names. Going to be their names are going to be associated with numbers. So if this square is black, then count one for this particular number, and, and so on and so on. There is no such thing as a glitch giving the other candidate a vote when the other candidate gets votes. That is intentional. Somebody had to write that. Somebody had to write that and put it in there. Wasn't that the same that glitch? Wasn't that those uh things they repurposed from the casino model, or whatever? And there's yeah. some sort of uh they were designed to do that shit, and they had a whole recall on them, and they were being called out for that, but you know. That case just disappeared after the election went down. Yeah, it, we had that. We had that similar thing here at Mystic Lake Casino, where the, the they had to uh, increase the odds on their uh, payout machines because what they would do is they were cheating the system. So they would have like a car. So it's supposed to the percentages of winning is supposed to be at a specific number. Right, hard fix. But what, but to get around that, the loophole was they would buy a car and put it in the showroom floor. Like you walk through a casino and you see a fancy car on the floor. That car was bought in order for somebody to win it, but no one's going to win that car. That car was specifically bought as a, it's like a tax write-off. If they buy the car and put it in the showroom floor, then they can keep the odds low because now somebody can potentially win the car instead of actually winning monetary jackpot. So the monetary jackpot, the numbers can stay low so long as you have a higher chance of winning that car, which, which will be associated with a completely different game. (laughs) Right. But I was only bringing that up because when they were doing the voting, when they were doing the voting, they were using some of those uh, same, the same software that was for those slot machine games. For the voting registration booths, yeah, I mean they probably did use the same code base, but but even though you have to intentionally write code that gives the other person a vote based on the number of votes that the other person gets, that's that's intentional, right? That I'm supporting that point is all I'm saying. Oh, okay. It, it looks suspect at the end yeah, of the that day. That was hella suspect. But again, no one, no one won't talk about that math. Then everybody left that shit alone and quieted down. And and then their guy won, and everybody was bragging, running around talking shit, and and now look, <laughs> yeah. And, and all I was asking was for people to be fair. Doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. But but my other point was, if if you are riding for Team Blue, I'll just say, you are effectively effectively voting away the power of whatever generation is coming after you, while at the same time saying you care about them. But then you say the reason why is because the other side is racist. And then I'll say, prove it. But I say, why not occupy both sides and make sure you get the best deal out of either or? I, I don't understand this exactly. whole 100% on one side for no reason when I don't yes, see anybody to, else playing that way. Weaponize the vote. Yeah, you got to weaponize your vote. And not, not voting isn't a weapon. That's not a weapon. Not voting doesn't mean anything when they're replacing your ass with, 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 with niggas who speak, you know, really fast. In a different language, like yeah, that, that, that's not, that shit. it's not helping you. <laughs> I see but what no, the this, small hats are doing. They're on both sides of that. They're just card yeah, donations for those people. The whole the whole thing and the not voting thing would have been now. I would say I would argue not voting can be weaponized if it's to establish yourself as a voting block, right? 
So if all Duke black dudes, right, all black men, black male age voters stopped voting and didn't vote for either side, and it, and it significantly fucking shows that, oh, shit, this is all the no black men voted. That shit would be weaponized because now it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They they are moving as a unit now. They No matter what type of understanding they have, they have the, <coughs> at least the, the, the basis and minimum understanding of, hey, our vote matters to some degree. Because, like, I, one of y'all told me what it is. I think they say... No, neither party can win. United Democratic, what if you don't have, I think it's like, is it 80% of the black vote or 90% of the black vote? Was it? They've got, have a certain- yeah, they've got a certain percentage of it. But what they were noticing is that in the last election, there were more men than, there were more black men than black women that were voting Republican. Right. And I don't think they saw numbers like that before. And they were Ever. saying how stark it was. It was the same thing with Hispanics too. Black, right. it, it was just, it was black, black men and Hispanic yeah, men Hispanic, that, yeah. that right. did it. Right, I, but, I think well, you ran those but, numbers fantastic. But but not but not voting is so not voting isn't going to help us because the foreigners are going to vote. And if they give allegedly the for, if they give the foreigners <laughs> no if they give the foreigners free shit then they just then they're going to get they're going to vote. But what they're but well, here's the thing <laughs> what they're not accounting for is the majority of these foreigners they're leaning in on is the, is coming from Mexico, and they think they're going to go blue out the gate. Most of them go. Right, yeah, I was talking almost about that earlier. As, right, they go right at yeah, rates yeah. that are almost vote. more than white folks do, which is Im- immigrants, hilarious. Immigrants get their peace and then they vote, <laughs> <laughs> they keep the other that immigrants out. Yeah, they keep, yeah, they you know, keep the out. <laughs> bro. Listen, I, I had a Mexican dude that told, like, bro, you like if you, if, bro, you think like niggas don't like niggas, bro. For one, y'all know, you know, no disrespect, shout out to all the Mexican niggas. Uh, but like Mexicans are like the niggas of the Hispanics or the la- yes. Latins. Yes. I don't know. The, yes. Nobody likes them. Nobody. Yeah. I told y'all, man. Remember, I told y'all I almost got I almost got stabbed, nigga, for calling the Colombian nigga Mexican because that's all I knew. I was well, a, they're, ch- a, they're know, children of slaves. Mexicans are. Sh- I mean, they're they're like the the babies of Spanish soldiers. Yeah. So, the niggas so, leftovers mixed with the Taínos. So yeah, yeah the I remember leftovers. this dude. I remember the dude telling me this, man. He was like, yeah, man, these fucking illegals come over here, bro, and they they don't fucking do this and that, and they, they don't, you know, they don't appreciate the country, and I'm like, nigga, don't you eat tacos like three times a week? Like, the fuck we talk about here? Like, yeah, but bro, it doesn't fucking matter. I don't care. They, I, I earned the right to be here, and all this other shit, and all that. My, my, you know what I'm saying? My, my parents were citizens, man. They had to pay the price. You know what I mean? They had to fucking, they had to get their shit the right way. And like, bro, yeah, man, they, they understand that shit, dog, because. Yo, you want to know something funny? So, Texas was like, we sending the Mexican immigrants back. We, we sending back anybody crossing the border. And then the Mexican president was like, we won't accept them. Wow! <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a whole shit show down here, fam. That shit is funny. And you said, wow. "I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send these niggas right back to you." The Mexican president is like, "No, you're not." <laughs> wow! I got stories in my feed right now about snipers out there just sniping folks on this border right now because the Yo, government ordered from Congress a couple years ago what them Texas niggas was gonna do. <laughs> and, and you know want, a lot of those they shoot, shoot, man. They, they volunteer to train they, with yeah they, they, they want to shoot army, people man, man. I'm telling you them niggas sit up on that fence all night <laughs> chewing, <laughs> chewing green shit I can't wait I can't wait to shoot me look, some look, 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 the whole family his head up over the hill he's gonna try to go for it <laughs> you just say taco niggas yo <laughs> yo Hey, I, yeah, I don't know if y'all know, man. Every, every for for white people, man, it really I'm is that. Man. I told y'all. Remember, I told y'all that shit, bro. We was, bro, we was on deployment in 2015, and fucking like you know the highest enlisted rank you had, but it was going ham on fucking Facebook, and he was like, I can't stand them damn saying niggas, and 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 they was like, whoa, 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 hey brother, you can't do that, you can't say that, man, and he was like, no. Not the regular niggas, the sand ones, you know? <laughs> like he ain't say nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, like, like he uh, ain't nothing wrong, no. Not, no, no. I never, no, I never disrespect African Americans or whatever, <laughs> but I'm talking about the sand niggas. Well, you still on business, bro. And, and that, that, hey, force retired, early retired, because he's like, I'm, it's, it's a difference, damn it. It's, uh, uh, it's not the same. Not our niggas. 
the ugly yeah. one. Yeah. The, 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 right. the one with the turbans and, and the and the my friend, my friend. <laughs> Oh, niggers with the big sheet hats and dresses. Yeah, white people do that niggers. shit, but then when they around they people, they talk about your ass just, just as bad. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the white monkey in the sand. I do not care. Oh, about but we're not people. talking about you, Tyrone. Listen, Tyrone, I don't you're... care about white people telling nigger jokes. I, I don't care about that. <laughs> what I do care about is a nigga putting his signature on anti nigger legislation. That's a, that's the <laughs> fuck I care about. Yeah, that, that's somebody that stand on business on that risk. Yeah, he stand on, to his you stand on business when you he sign some business. paperwork that say no niggers in my school. He oh, he, he don't to... just do the talking. He he put he stand on legislation, my nigga. Put, I, I, I'm the same it. way. I, I you know, I'm the same way. I don't go fuck about that either. But I was just saying shit. Them white folks they'll crack some Mexican jokes around your ass, and then. When you ain't when they around they people they'll crack them same goddamn jokes about yeah, your yeah. here's the thing we gotta learn how to give it back because I'll be giving it back when niggas be trying to troll me on red nigga I go in and the yeah. only reason I'm able to do that is because I know their history exactly I know their yeah. history niggas racist jokes I, uh, the niggas. we the funniest but all racist jokes be trash I ain't gonna no, lie because because we don't know their history. Exactly. Yeah. I, I know their history. So if they try, when Mexicans try to go on in on me, I go in on them because I know their history. Yeah. They, they went through, they went through most of the shit we went through. Mexicans fact, are a whole of new race of people. Y'all do know that, right? Them niggas didn't exist before the conquistadors. Yeah, you taught me how to win that goddamn debate about the IQ shit. When they try to throw that, uh, we got natural low IQs and shit. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Like oh, that. Oh, to Tony, somebody try to run that on you in real life, or you mean on here? No, I just be seeing them conversations from a distance from the white boys and shit. And I'm be like, damn, how the fuck? Yeah, can they, I they, they always try to throw that IQ shit in there, but they, they, but even what do you they, tell even, them they, when they you hear that? Huh? What do you tell them when you hear that, or, or when they say that to you? Well, Neil deGrasse already shitted on that. It's like, okay, well, if you've got a group of people who have the oldest phenotype gen and genetics on planet Earth. You're going to have a distribution of people who have low IQs, but you're also going to have a distribution of potentially the highest IQs on the planet. So our our IQ median is insane. But, you know, if that's true, if people you know, are it's it's that, 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 they use it, it's bad right now, too, though, man. Yeah, but so the shit they using it from is, is like. It's like stats and shit, or like the shit, some study from I think like what the 60s or the 70s. It's not even current. It's about the bell curve. It, it wasn't even the bell curve. It's just like the, the IQ testing thing you're talking about. So it's not the bell curve. The bell curve is, is, is separate and, and different. But there was right. actually a thing where they did like the whole racial IQ, whatever. And, you know, right, it's that didn't just mean like, shit. yeah. So they, they, they like using shit that's like, you know, 30, 40 years old or whatever the fuck in order to try to make this point. And when again, like you said, bro, it's just like, no, it, it's not a, you know, because, because you know, how, I don't even know why the white man's having this conversation because you wouldn't even be at the top of the totem pole. You, you be talking to motherfucking Charlie Chang and, and you know, and, and whoever Lee. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So the, the shit don't, it's just, it's, it's just some shit, bro, again, to where, and, and this is what I say too, like, niggas don't realize how, and, and, and what's crazy, right, is they just make it seem like, oh, you niggas are just delusional and you want to talk yourself up or well, first off, motherfucker, everybody else does it. You know what I'm saying? You go to China, the nigga, China, China, Chinese men are the best. Nigga be yeah. four foot two, a hundred and, 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 and like one pound. Okay? Can't tell them you, shit you know, otherwise. They can't tell them shit. <laughs> but when niggas say, well, hey, look, man, nah, you know, um, you know, black men have this, 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 and this, or whatnot, what have you, and all you guys are just, you know, trying to promote this uh, black supremacy and all this other shit. And it's like, what the yeah. fuck, nigga? I'm just saying I'm good at basketball and, you know what I'm saying, I got some rhythm and, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker, you know. The best they want to call you Afrocentric. That's the term. Yeah, it's, like, a, it's sort of shit to like, you know, to like, don't, don't, don't feel too good about yourself, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you was a slave. Now, don't, don't, don't miss your place. No yeah. self esteem allowed ever. Hey, hey Fantastic, you you get into a debate with uh Black Pill J today. I was gonna catch that like later on, probably tomorrow or some shit. Debate or uh, we had a discussion, man. Buddy, buddy's always he buddy's never wild, so like, he always has um reasonable discussions. You never get to the thing. I mean, he just brings a lot of stuff to the uh, that you know what I'm saying. 
He oh, speaks okay. to an age group that I don't have a lot of experience with. I'm about DJ Hamp. Nah, Black Pill. Uh, no, 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 Black Pill. I missed that. I was at work, so I didn't catch all that. I only caught yeah, it's that it's one of the oh, realest God. shits of Fantastics panel, yo. And niggas got in the fties, nigga. What do you say? I don't like the way you do that shit around white people, what, though. What he, Keep it on that shit around that, white people. Oh, but what do you say that got everybody upset? He said that most niggas probably ain't never fucked a bitch with a flat stomach. Yo, that shit was wrong. <laughs> that nigga oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Before, before we go into that, uh, the, next time, the next time you talk to one of these racist-ass white people, <laughs> understand another thing. The standard... So every time you every time you see a, a, a genius-level black person or a smart black person, they'll always call that nigga the one in 10,000. Keep in mind... That one in ten thousand is the standard, right? It's not just black. Like one in ten thousand yeah. is everybody, right? You expand that out yep. to billions, and it it actually is pretty they, normal. They try to make it seem like it's rare for niggas to be smart. It's not. One in ten thousand doesn't just apply to black people. One in ten thousand applies to everyone. Everybody watched exactly. that movie Django and thought the one in ten thousand just meant black. But no, 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 no. That's everybody. Anybody with a genius level IQ is one in ten thousand. Yeah, so that's normal. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a standard deviation. So it's it's and, just and, bullshit. But again, and if the, you I know, so small. Well, and I, shit, I, just, I just wanted to say that before we move on to them niggas. Black folks <laughs> built had don't built all kinds of shit. Don't had all kinds of shit stolen from them through the patent office. You know what I'm saying? Hell, don't they let need them tell that aliens did. They need niggas and all kinds of foreigners to keep the country. Hey, who, you know who said that? L listen, listen, right? Yeah, so for one, and this is why I say, you know, just not just before we move on to the other part. Um, yeah, man, you know what's so crazy, bro? They literally say this to this day, bro. The pyramids were clearly in Africa, right? And they yep. say the construction of the pyramids is shit they can't even duplicate with lasers and the best of construction machines currently, bro. Wild. No, 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 we, we've, no, 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 oh, that, that's not true. We've recreated pyramids with carbon fiber like that. We can't, what it is, is they can't find out how they constructed those particular pyramids. Right. That's what I'm saying. With, with the, the tools stone, available. With the stone, yeah, with the tools with the, that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Cat yeah. Williams went on Joe Rogan and said the aliens, he think the aliens did this shit. <laughs> yep. And yeah, I'm no comment on that. Black, Listen, man, Cat Williams, we, yo, but that shit good. I'm, I'm going, said it with a straight go ahead and let y'all have that if you you know I'm not gonna fuck with people's beliefs tonight. I ain't that dude to was toasted out of his mind on Joe Rogan's man. Come on. I mean <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. We well, got enough yeah, science said, fiction coming. Said, out he said he said the same shit tonight. He said niggas ain't never fucked the bitch that don't got a flat stomach. They don't that without a gut. That's what he said tonight. He guess he well, changed that 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 he said, he said most he said most niggas uh pretty much and we say most he's talking about like 90 plus percent of niggas have never um fucked the bitch that don't got a gut. That nigga is not lying. I was like, bro, when the first time he said that shit, man, that nigga don't say shit. I, I, I disagree with. I, I heard, I heard the wind punch niggas outside. Yeah, <laughs> in the chest, nigga, in the chest. Niggas got hit in the chest collectively. Wow. Just hurt. <gasps> And you, and, and you know, you know the only niggas, the only niggas that 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 were offended is the niggas that motherfucker act like they ain't our fucking fat bitches. So they ain't never fat bitches. Hey, they know they scared. They know they scared. Got a whole axiom. I've knocked out a few. I've knocked out a few tatted and fattish. But what I'm saying, he said never. <laughs> he, he's talking about niggas that, that ain't never. Yo, ever. so you know the axiom in that space is if you fuck a fat bitch, she don't count. So, yeah, right, you still an incel if you fuck fat bitches. Right, so I, bro, <laughs> listen. I listen. I be trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, different shit. Like this, and this is what I say, bro, nigga. The where you in, you get in where you fit in. Ain't no just saying for no reason, nigga. All right, your nigga, go month. You gonna you gonna have a, a awesome ass lotion budget, or you go hey, what you what you gonna do? And uh, and awesome niggas is, sooner or later, man, you get tired of that hand, man. So uh, again, I seen niggas fold, bro. Niggas from everywhere. We yeah, all been yeah, in the that's, club. That's gonna happen. I was talking about that earlier, where you know you you got the the wolf with a best friend that was a pig. H how long is it gonna be before the pig starts looking like food? 
How long is it yeah. going to be before? You got no other option, exactly. Hey, that's yo, that. and all that's, of us right. been on deployment. But, 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 but that's, <laughs> we know the barracks. But, but see, and, and also, <laughs> but that's the problem. That, and that's why I be talking about leverage. If if you get to that point, and and, and, and you start looking at every every <laughs> bitch, if every chick starts looking like food, you done fam. You know, yo, you, that's you, what you, I meant. Congratulations. That's you just that's got what I, That's what, what I meant. Second. Yes. Hold on a second, ahead, because one of the things is. Because one of the things is that that never fucks a bitch with. I I genuinely do care about like dudes shit like that that whole competition shit. I ain't never fucked a friend's girl or none of that shit. I'm not that type of person. Never. But but one of the things is is it is it is fucking horrible. It's a horrible situation that you got millions of men out here that have never fucked a bitch with a flash ever. Don't even know what it feel like. They, these niggas been on a hill with they fucking back hunched. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that number. That, that, that's some real black pill shit right there, yo. Like niggas that, that's so fucked yo. in the game. That, that's I ain't had a bitch with a regular fuck. belly button since high school without the C-section. Yo, he said they get multiple sclerosis fucking these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild, bro. Nigga, you got the fucking cat back. <laughs> this, shit, this, shit, this shit bent the fuck over, nigga. You you on Quasimodo status and shit trying to get in there. Fuck out of here. Somebody said a heel with stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Oh. Yeah, man. Listen, bro, and that's that's and that's what I'm saying. And that's what this that's what I'm saying, right? Zero. So it, you can't have no leverage, bro. And it, this, this, what I mean, this is what kills me. And let, niggas don't want to accept the fact. And it's just like, so what is a nigga to do, man? Is a nigga to not, and, and Black Pills Jay's argument was, well, open up your open up your options to other women. Well, I'm like, nigga, the, the, the you know, the, the free whole ass bitch is just as fat as not fatter. White bitches ain't that far behind. All, all the hoes, yeah, all the hoes in America, bro. Are o- overweight or obese? You got a, You got an overweight problem, like in general. You know, we just happen to be attached to the bitches that's, you know, the worst, right? It bre- so what I'm saying, when well, you got it, where bro, over seventy percent of the holes and over half of the holes, just throw the overweight shit out. But bro, over half of the holes are obese, dog. Sixty percent, nigga. Yeah. You got sixty percent. Just just weight. Not to mention the bitches that got kids and then kids with multiple niggas. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like, bro. Y'all keep telling niggas do better, choose better, fuck better. You know what I mean? Or to bag a better bitch. And it's like, nigga, there, we're, there is no better bitch. But Black Pearl J called Ice Spice back. There are. Wow. There are. But the problem is niggas is not trying to do that. Like, For example, if you want a, a better, if you want a better bitch, so to speak, you're going to have to be a better, better nigga. I mean, that it do, like, I don't want to sound like these dang coach ass niggas, but if you trying to find a chick that takes care of herself and you don't, that's a problem. Cause those, cause those chicks, they, they actually do have that, you know, that motivation that niggas always looking for something about they want their woman to not be a slouch and lazy. They want their woman to participate in their life and be a, a partner, like help them succeed in their business. Those type of bitches with that attitude, them self-motivated ass chicks and they, and they do hit the gym. Well, Meg that, that's part of the problem. So if you if you're not that type of nigga, you want to be you want to be the big head stomach nigga with a bad bitch. That's not gonna happen. You can get you can get one of these. You can get a lazy surgery, bitch. You can do that. But if you, but it's not gonna. And again, if you do have to, because all of these niggas you seeing doing the travel shit, fucking fat prostitutes. That's not the that's not the fucking representation of these countries. Not even close. Not even fucking close. And I don't even really want to say my job had branches in Costa Rica. You don't have a lot of giant bitches in Costa Rica. You don't have that shit. Yeah, most places outside the US is that way. You know what I mean? For the most part. But 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 you do have to, but those people take their fitness seriously. So it's like I don't want niggas running to Costa Rica trying to find the fattest bitches and say he was lying, you know, just like Saint Center did. <laughs> on some, on some exceptionism. Yeah, I want some exceptionism. Like Phil J say on your uh, live stream though. 
Now you talk about like that. how you say as white boys uh, can clean up in the black community if they want to fuck with black women. That shit. Yeah, that that was that was well, no, no, not even just that, right? Not that they could. He was making the argument that they they are. He's saying he he he's basically saying that the white boys are starting to make black women a viable option. And I'm like, bro, there's nothing to support that. Nothing. No, no, no movement, no, none of that shit. Like white boys is like, you got more white boys saying, nah, we don't know. No, thank you. But do you do like, agree that the, the, argument. Average white, the average white boy can not clean up with the uh, black woman though? Yeah, but yeah, listen what I'm saying. I, I'm I don't argue with that. We we know they they want they you know what I'm saying you they they have the motherfucking slave master fantasy. We we understand that. Nobody's arguing that. The problem is these niggas is like slavery been over for fucking two hundred years, bitch. We we good. That's the problem. They don't they don't bro, white black white dudes turn down pussy, bro. It's off strength. Yo, yo, I gotta disagree with that with an eye test. No, 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 no data. But I've been seeing a lot of white dudes with mixed kids, yo. A lot Damn. of white, a lot of white guys with mixed sons. Like, I didn't see this shit ten years ago. It's a lot of like, 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 like you. Was, sometimes the mixed kid don't even look mixed. He just look black, and then you see a white dad walk up. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I can, that's why I can't give my thing because I live in the most mixed city in the United. Because so my. My examples ain't gonna work because simply the white dudes here don't give a fuck. Well, <laughs> that ain't like gonna said, be true. That ain't gonna be true for the rest of America. White, white dudes white, here white, white, name in the DMV. White dudes here wiping up anything they can get their hands on. Yeah, poor and poor white dudes fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they won't go. Why wouldn't they have black women? You know what I'm saying? Especially the like, 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 area like Virginia, something like that. Like, 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 like Newport News or anywhere where like. If, if, if they were poor black people, poor white people, North Carolina, they they gonna mix. Well, I'll put it. Th wait one second. This I, I just thought about this again. Okay, so fantastic. I get your issue. I mean, your your point about niggas not being able to say no. Now, here's the the the, the end result of this though is that if if niggas if so if, if niggas get to this urge where you can't control the urge and you need to surge, if that's the case, then relationship plus is going to end up being default like you you're not going to be do, you're not going to be able to escape it because because without any power they're going to be able to make demands on the type of relationship that you get to have if you can't if you can't say no like that that's where it's going to that's where it's going to end up we already seeing it right now with the way our laws are changing every time they get a law you lose whatever they get you lose in the process so if they get a specific welfare program to get jobs, then you lose those jobs. We've been seeing this since the 20s. So after, after like I said, it's going to get to the point where what do we do when, when they get to dictate the terms of the relationship? Or else you just don't have the relationship. Or you just, you can't be with a bitch, period. Like what happens well, then? We're we going to well, go crazy? And no zero, and I, again, you said it. That I, I forget. I was I was trying to catch up in the stream like two times speed, bro. And you said it, niggas fighting technology. Y'all keep saying it's this shit is crazy. These android bitches are coming, dog. It's no. I I tell you, I, I know the shit sound far fetched. I know it sound crazy. I know it just sound like some tin foil hat bullshit, bro. I'm telling y'all, and I, I mean the shit when I say it. That artificial womb shit, bro. That shit was never intended for. The you know these you know Decepticons. It was never intended for that. You got Elon Musk, who is like a real no, life the technology motherfucking. Technology was intended for women that couldn't have babies. Uh, but this is what I'm saying, right? It's not enough of them to even for it to be that way. So once you know, once they started doing the fucking the sheep, you know what I'm saying, and all these other things and whatnot, what have you, just in the fucking artificial womb outside of any type of animal, outside of any type of fucking, you know, organism, right? Host, pretty much. Bro, I'm telling you, Elon Musk is even saying this shit. And that's why Elon Musk is big on his reproductive rate and all this other shit, right? Bro, they're talking about 2 billion fucking robots in by, what, 2040? Billion. I covered, I covered some of this with Dr. Nicole Ali when we broke down transhumanism. I think we did a couple other ones when we got into um, dealing with the fourth industrial revolution and how you have this, I guess, the term they use, invasive technologies. 
and how most of the stuff is really being put on pause only because they're waiting for legislation to catch up so that they can start figuring out how to regulate this and then yeah. calibrate it by region. Like this stuff is so far ahead already that Bro, I don't think people that. have. My bad. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. No, no, I don't go, think go. people have intellectually understood some of its impacts. Like just to give you a quick illustration, the, the speed that the nanotechnology for nano machines is already at a point where they're looking to do clinical trials for a lot of this stuff. And what that will mean is if they can, if you swallow a pill, for example, and you get these nano machines that are in your body and they start reading all your biometrics that they can pick up information from on Wi-Fi. What does that do for people who are stuck on, I think that's unnatural, I don't want it, but now the insurance companies are saying, the research proves that if you have these nanomachines, you have a lower risk of insert whatever health condition, and if you don't accept it, you're considered a health risk, now we're going up on your health insurance. Like th These are just basic yeah. practical things that people have to take into consideration that's happening. They're not even ready for that conversation, yeah, let alone course, the yeah. artificial yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, the coercion, right? We saw that they had the major test run with that with the thing with, with what we shall not name, right? We don't, we, you know, what I'm saying 2020, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is this sort of that's what I'm saying, bro. But when you say this shit, niggas are, oh man, that's weird. I'll never fuck a robot, and I'll never this, and I'll never like. Well, for one, nigga, niggas is already doing it. You know what I'm saying? Been doing it for some time. Not a robot, so to speak, but you know, you know, the those those dolls or those humanized dolls are real, and now. Make this motherfucker move fully functional and movable. The kung fu grip, nigga. The, you know what I'm saying? It's it knows your perfect song. It know it cooks your steak just right. All of this shit or whatever, bro. And now, like I said, that's why you really start getting into the. It, it seems like the weeds and you know the wild shit, just the movies. But again, this is why this whole gender war shit. This ain't just shit the niggas putting with, up with. This is just like you know men and women in general, especially you know over here. And you know, if you can get the shit working and popping in in America, in the in Western society, the rest of the world gonna fucking follow through, bro. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the and world they, gonna follow through. So my whole thing gonna... is like, bro, eventually, eventually, dog, it's it's gonna move to that because niggas, niggas, if if niggas can buy happiness uh, like they buy a motherfucking home mortgage, a thirty year motherfucking deal, you know what I'm saying? Solid APR, nigga, they gonna do it. <laughs> It in in and everything and everything just moves forward because um I'm zero I'm with you man these women are becoming so fucking just um woman minded right or having a woman's fucking perspective that, that society is literally starting to suffer the bitches like they not having they not even have enough babies no more you no, know it, it, they okay. fucking... it's it's a human perspective like that's a like so w women are not these. Things that are that are different than they're the same. They're, they're, they're the same as men. They like the same shit men do. There's no difference between men and women other than the, the physiology that they have to produce babies and you know weaker amounts of testosterone, which makes them smaller than us or more petite than us. They don't produce the same bone, all that shit, the physiology. But outside of that, everything that you like, they like. Like it was when I was talking about sex drive and shit. Sure, we have testosterone vast pressing and the rest of it that gives us a higher sex drive than them but they still have a high sex drive that's why when you get a chick that wants it as much as you do that that she has sex drive why do you think women have been fucking robots for the last 200 years you, you understand they can yeah. they can they can sit on a rabbit for an entire road trip you, you understand they can, like they, they, they go to work with remote controlled dongles in the pussies and hit yeah, the, the button panties, whenever the, they the need a release. vibrating panties shit. You understand? Whatever. Like they've been fucking robots for 200 years and it, they haven't slowed down. So there's a myth about male, the male sex drive and, and the and the female sex drive being these completely different things that where, where women can't possibly want it as much as you do. That's bullshit. And the and and the, and the infidelity statistics will prove that too. And the, the rate of Marriage bailout and the reasons why they bail out. All, all those things mash up to show you what time it is. There is no, they're not any different from men in this in this psychological way. The, the, the issue comes in is that when they have an advantage, the advantage is significant, way more yeah. significant because they have uh they have a commodity that, that you apparently cannot say no to. And because of that, 
is so imbalanced that the only the only way men can get back in control of it is to put them on the borderline of enslavement, which means to control the the, the, the sexual and reproductive habits. And now that shit's over with. That shit's over with. So the the, <laughs> the only thing men can do now is either find a way to get past that shit. If we supposed to be the more rational gender with we're, we're the with the smarter gender with a better gender with the ones that we, we we've uh we've evolved past our biology to do all of these great things for the world which i call bullshit on because we did it all for bitches so we either we either actually evolve past our biology or or think past our dick we either do that or or we lose or you bow down to relationship plus like you you only got them options you either you either can say no, or you become a concubine. Or no, no, no. I'm gonna use a better word. You become a consort. Zero. Didn't I just <laughs> describe the beehive model and told you about the drone and what its role was and what it's doing? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So you become that. That's what I'm saying. Like that's we become that's animals. the whole basis on Please. my hive theory, breaking that down. But at the end of the day, just like you were mentioning. At its core, I see 2045 being around, like around when the Z's get middle age, almost all politics being predicated around gender for the oh. very reason you mentioned. Yes. Oh, there's a third option. Th th wait, there's a third option. Okay, you, 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 can, you can say no, you can bow down, or you can do what I've been saying for a long time. The only other choice is to treat every bitch you approach like a prostitute. It's all you're showing choices because... They are behaving like prostitutes. They don't fuck with you unless you can give them some. If you're not approaching, like you, you, when niggas be talking about vetting, like vetting and all that other shit, what do you think vetting oh is? God. Like, what do you think vetting is? So if, if women are behaving like prostitutes, but your vetting process is to find out if she's, a, if she's suitable for, for marriage, you're vetting wrong already. If she's if, if all women are behaving like prostitutes, even the ones that you think aren't, wouldn't it be a better vetting process to go in with the expectation that you're dealing with a prostitute until she proves otherwise? Isn't that what vetting is in the first place? Guilty until proven innocent. But people want all these social benefits that came from patriarchy, but they still want to have the modern benefit of having that sexual liberty and not have the moniker that comes with that. Uh, it, that's why I called it limited liability patriarchy, fam. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, and you, you don't can't have, have all of that at the same time. Go ahead, fam. No, you can't. And, and you can't go up to... And, and look, I'm not suggesting niggas go up to bitches and be like Ark and go... I'm not suggesting that shit. I'm not saying you just... You, you literally walking up to bitches and treating them like prostitutes. That's, that's not the suggestion. But your vetting process, if you niggas are still believing in vetting, should be that of... You're dealing with a prostitute, and that's how you should move forward because that's that's what you're seeing out here in the real world. You're not well, seeing pretty much just don't take the old series. Well, well no, it's no, like no. what it's like what Dr. Nilly Fuller said about racism, right? He said if an individual is capable of it, assume they are until they prove otherwise and believe what they say. Niggas get mad when I tell them, like, bro, if you get if you're thinking about getting married, bro, you're the ultimate simp, or if you're married, nigga, you're the ultimate simp. Again, that bitch literally holds your future in her hands at any point in time. And I and I don't mean it to be, you know, disrespectful. It's just the dynamic, like where you have no no leverage in it. And and more people are starting to say the shit we saying. Like you say, bro, bitches with titties are well, it doesn't make sense for a man to get married. You know, he, he just has it, you know, not not just Pearl, you know, hell, you got um uh the conservative bitches saying it. You got All you know them. Yeah, any bitch that look good enough to, you know what I'm saying, to hop on YouTube or whatever platform and make a little bit of money. Yeah, man. Men just don't win in marriage, you know? And then you get the opposite of, you know, this crazy-ass Prince Prince fella. You get Prince fella to fucking come out here and say the complete, total opposite. And then the bitches, you know, rally behind her. Go, yeah, yeah, these men, you know, men benefit from marriage. Like, bitch, how? No, you, you don't. You know, you don't benefit from shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you wait, what you 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 think you got somebody that that cares about you, loves you, all this motherfucking you know emotional motherfucking bullshit, which we know is that. If you take away all the resources for provision, all this other shit, that bitch not gonna be down with you, man. 
This bitch not finna stay with you for a lifetime off of the fucking the feel and the vibe. No, nigga. You gotta check in somebody's motherfucking job or get on somebody's motherfucking corner and make money some type of way and get this bitch a lifestyle that she, you know what I'm saying, that she's comfortable with. It, you have the bare minimum. So that's what, what motherfuckers is feeling and realizing, bro. That's why I say I'm not, um, you know, this whole marriage shit in itself, bro. I just, that's the only way I think niggas can halfway fight back. But then you say, too, it's not even a fight with that because the bitches is cool with not being married no more either. Yes. So every, well, they're yeah, cool with not even having kids. Well, that, that, well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. And they they fight they they fight the kid shit for for some time. It's just the, now the bitches is, and that's another thing too. Um, I forget who brought that up, and they were saying that as to where, bro, all these women having these kids at you know what I'm saying much much later ages now is is causing a way a, a age gap problem. Somebody brought it to my children. I think like a couple of weeks ago. I didn't even know that was becoming a real thing. But the fact of the matter that you know what I'm saying. The, um, and a certain age group of women just totally said, oh, well, hell no. Nah. We saw this all this teen mom shit or my mom had me when she was too motherfucking young. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking just, you know, put this pussy out here for the whole 20s and, you know, take this birth control and, and you know, and go go get the motherfucking Mike Tyson punch out of these babies type shit going on, you know, until I'm 30. And then I have my kids at 30. Right. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, it's just a whole bunch of shit, man. Like I said, you know, it's not quote unquote the gender war thing, but like women are literally fucking up society just off of like you say the way them trying to move and them trying to pretty much say, oh, we can out nigga niggas. I can be a man better than a man can be, and it, that's where it's fucking it up. Bitches trying to move like they dudes, but they can only do that in a first world environment where the technology is infringing on the male social role more than the female. And what what zero was mentioned? Well, you were mentioning that fantastic. Uh, when you start introducing things that interrupt the commodity zero was talking about, like in a dedicated sense, that's when shit will finally hit the fan and you're going to get something that is far more balanced. But that balance isn't necessarily going to be productive. You don't even need to go that far. Like, again, embrace the technology. You, you don't even need the fucking, you don't even need the droids. You need to let them have the freedom. So I was reading the chat just a few minutes ago. And I think it was either Frankie Hyman or somebody was talking about like niggas acting like tricks. So why wouldn't hold? Why wouldn't bitches all act like hoes? Well, see, that's the thing, right? That's not men didn't cause that. Well, technically, technically. So we, we gave them the freedom to do whatever they wanted, and bitches choose to be prostitutes. This is not something that men caused them to be. Like for example, there's an experiment you can go read about. They taught a group of apes how to use money. And they also did this with penguins. They taught animals how to use money. Basically, they, they trained them in a very simple way. This form of currency, a rock or whatever the fuck it is, this rock will get you a, a very tasty treat. So then the monkeys understood that if they use that rock, they could get the treat. So some monkeys would collect a lot of rocks so they could get a lot of treats. Some of them would fight over them until the, the trainers came in and started assigning rocks to monkeys. And then they could use and then they learned that they had a certain amount of rocks to buy to buy candy with. Later on. They brought the women in and taught them the same thing. And then they removed when they removed the rocks from the males. They uh, they instantly started fighting each other. You know, duh. When they removed the rocks from the women, they just started selling pussy to get rocks so they could buy candy. You you understand? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and here's and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. They started giving everyone rocks again. Everybody got an equal amount of rocks. All the apes got an equal amount of rocks, male and female. Because this is how studies work. You 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 study over different test parameters. So you you restrict, you give, you you restrict one group. That, you know you group until you find an all encompassing group. So the all group where they give all of them an equal number of rocks. Guess what happened? The bitches were still selling pussy. Even in a situation where they knew that they were going to get an allotment of rocks to buy candy. They still sold pussy, even when they didn't have to. 
the oldest profession on the worse. planet, man. The oldest again, and that's and that's and Nick, when you say that, man, niggas think you just on some cliche type shit, bro. But again, a woman, bro. Before there was money, before there was any society, nigga. When the bitch wanted to fucking get out of the fucking cold, when she wanted the motherfucking be able to get, want, go up next to a fire and, and 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 get in a cave, the the big brutish nigga that could kill the fucking woolly mammoth or whatever in the fuck, she used her pussy to get that, bro. It has always right. been that way. Even so, the hate y'all know. I tell you, the hate God niggas, bro, bro. Eve got mothers, the got a mother, the first man ever created to deny God. Okay, to def, I'm not deny, defy God <laughs> over what the pussy, bro. Pussy, because she had that pussy. So after, so, mind you, after God thought he solved the problem with his first wife Lilith by making Eve from his ribs, so there'd be no argument of the order of operations. Right. Yeah, bro, one, of the, one of the things I, I want to say real quick, women are not to be coddled. I think that this is another problem. You do, they are not like, what do you hear all the time? Women will eat, there's songs about this shit. She's a man eater, blah, 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 yep. blah, blah. Yep. They are not to be, our problem is coddling. You got to take the fucking training wheels off. Zero, zero, zero. I've been zero. I've been on this shit, and niggas act like I'm crazy when I'm on. You know, the, the, the might be risky shit, and I'm like, bro, why do we keep selling? Well, the men, it's the men. The men need to be responsible. The men need to do this. The men need to be better. The men. I'm like, bitch, bro. What what are we doing? Are, are these bitches grown or are they not? The men right. have always got to be better. The men always held accountable. The men is gonna. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. No motherfucker, it's not my fault. Just because I got a I got a dick and balls, paws don't make me responsible for this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Using her pussy recklessly. That's not my fault. It's not my but fucking right. fault. But, but we, yeah, but, but we like liability, liability based patriarchy. Well, Even well, if you don't have the responsibility, it. it's your liability. Let them tell it. Go the, ahead. The beautiful thing about <laughs> it is that women don't want you to coddle them any fucking way. I mean that that's that's another part of the problem. They they don't want to be coddled in the first fucking place. Why do you think they fighting for why do you think they why do you think they go by laws? They don't want to be coddled. Why do you think they keep taking things from you? Because they don't want to be coddled, nigga. They want they want to get every every day you, you like it's a lot of niggas. I know it's a lot of niggas here that listen to Fresh and Fit and believe in these niggas. Y'all watch their shows and you hear these women say over and over again. On these shows every fucking day. I have a job because I don't want to be under a dude. Well, you don't make a lot of money. I don't give a fuck yeah, as long care. as I'm not under a dude. Well, a man can take care of you and change your life. I don't give a fuck as long as I'm not under a dude. Yeah, they say I'm, I'm say listening. Yeah, they'd be like um motherfucking Cat Williams on fucking Friday afternoon. I'm a boy Damon type shit. Like, nigga, no. Like, and that's and that's what I, I that's why I just don't like bro, I don't know, man. It's just like seeing the shit coming and saw and, and saw the fucking writing on the wall for this shit, bro. Just how, you know, women started moving different. And it's just like, you know, I guess niggas can't accept it, bro. Because like you said, a, a lot of niggas, um, Hold on to, and not not just niggas, but men in general, of, of across the board, right? Well, you know, sugar and spice and everything nice, and she really cares about me, and she this, and it's like, bro, take the emotionality out of this shit, bro. You saw, you take the emotionality out of the motherfucking shit, bro. And um, women don't, women, I don't want to say come easier, but they become simpler. You take the fucking, you look at this bitch like you said, bro, as a motherfucking used car salesman. And she trying to motherfucking get the best motherfucking deal out of your ass she possibly can motherfucking get. And you not can't be mad at her because that's her job. That's a woman. Women are survivalists, you know what I'm saying, by nature. This is just how they always have been. You accept her for what she is and approach her in that manner, bro. And you, you, as long as you understand that, you could possibly, you know what I'm saying, end up with a, at least, you know what I'm saying, equal, if not better fucking deal. Then the right. nigga that motherfucking like you know looking at her is just like you know this this wonderful thing and you know delicate right. creature and it's, yeah bro get the fuck out of here nigga what, I'm what telling you the, most the of these dudes are raised to see the women as the end result irrespective of what they're doing I don't know I don't know That's why we, I don't know why 
let me let me try to articulate this point because it frustrates the crap out of me. People pretend like they don't know how these dudes got this way. This is literally the standard operating procedure on how you get to be human in the English speaking West. You go out, you pursue a chick. These chicks are the motivation and the predisposition behind damn near any and everything. Zero, I think you said it earlier. Even down to why people have made inventions boils down to folks pursuing box. I was trying to say yesterday that due to that in the social imbalance, that effectively box serves as store credit for most dudes. When it comes to social currency, that almost substitutes for damn near any and everything. I'm yeah, not yeah, saying it's like when you got a bad bitch in the club with you. That, that's that's a lot of credit. That right. gives you a lot of give you a lot of social credit just for showing up with one. Everywhere, inversely, in inversely, men don't have such easy access to that store credit. And as a result, when you're in an environment like the developed first world, and you don't have any other, as you were mentioning, leverage, you get these social imbalances that way. And then everybody has to play softball because of this lady archetype that the West has in general occupied and have these remnants of patriarchy in an environment where there is no patriarchy anymore, the way they're claiming it. Again, it's this limited liability shit where they want all of the benefits from patriarchy. None of the, none of the restrictions and no social contract associated with it, but you still have to pay your end of the previous state that the country used to be in. It, it, I don't know why, with no social update, they don't think that it was going to end up this way, and you end up producing a bunch of women, men that these women are not attracted to, that essentially only know how to use that as a point of motivation. And then all of a sudden, you remove that, and they don't understand why these men in droves are disincentivized to do shit. If you want a functional society, having women as your end goal really isn't a bad idea. The, the, the issue is with the execution. <laughs> the, and the plus, the older I get, the older I get, the more I realize that there's no such thing as a quote unquote patriarchy, at least in the way we think of it. The only way patriarchy can exist is if you remove technology from your society and just enslave bitches. That's just the only way. Um, but the problem with that is when you do that, whatever country, the only way that this will ever work is there, if there was a worldwide government that was basically stuck in stone age. It's the only way because yeah. otherwise there's going to be a country that becomes progressive. They'll produce technology. Whatever patriarchy they have will fall apart. The new niggas will come through, but the new, the, the new country that has the technology will end up being the world power again, because primitive ass religious countries, they don't, they don't last. They're not conducive to any type of, world success or societal success most of the time when you have situations like that the only way to keep your population under control is, is threat of, of the people around them but you need people to make babies for that like for example in north korea people would rather kill themselves than live under that harsh ass law but however the threat is if you do something like that they'll kill like you, you, they'll kill your, your entire, entire bloodline, bloodline. Yeah. yeah just wipe the fuck out everybody and if you yeah. care about your family you won't do that that's how right. they keep their property. But, but I mean, that still doesn't stop people. Right. And, and right now, they have to hide the fact that they don't have a, quote unquote, thriving population. You know, same thing with a lot of these countries. So you, you can't. So so again, th those countries become weak just simply just off of, off of their, their crazy ass policies. Then the new country comes about, becomes technologically superior, takes over the world for a period of time. But then the people who have the babies that are still primitive and benefiting off of world trade, they come to your country, they immigrate to your shit, take over, do the same, then watch, rinse, repeat. Whatever the next country is, is going to be a technology, technologically superior country. They'll become the power. They'll take over. America will be a fucking Muslim slumberland. And then whatever, whatever country is making moves, people are going to go immigrate the fuck over there from here and then start the process all over again. That's that's that's. So me getting older, I realize that there is no such thing as a, as a patriarchy in the way we the way we think about it. There's more of just it's a temporary it's a temporary temporary re repression of, of of women's rights until you don't, and, and and then you get what we got. 
And the only way to stop it, the only way to stop it is to stop restricting their rights. Because so what if, what about I, the whole one second, let me close up. Let me, let me close up. The, the one the oh. one thing I found that 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 men are the most hung up on is whenever it gets to this point in any society, the, the problem is what I was talking about a few years ago, daughter niggas. Niggas with daughters do not want to see their daughters out here acting a fucking fool. That's the problem. We get we get to this level of technology, and then it becomes about protecting my daughter. Even though we're trying to find some magic dude, right? You want your daughter (laughs) to have all the rights you have, but you don't because you're like, I know what's best for you, and you treat all women like your daughter. You want your daughter to have the rights that you have, but you don't because. You and although you want to go out there and, 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 and slay all the hoes, all the hoes is your daughter. The, the, and this is the problem. You want your daughter, you, you don't want these bitches to have your rights, but you want your daughter to have them rights. You can't have both. You gotta unleash the beast. Your daughter is just like every other woman on the planet. So, and as soon as you unleash all of their rights, which which is what you want but don't want. The problem is you're going to see your daughter on the app, nigga. You're going to be swiping on the app, tens nigga. Tens on speed dial, nigga. You're going to swipe tens on speed dial. You're going to be swiping, swiping, swiping. And then your daughter face going to pop up. That's the problem. Shout out and to you Lawrence gonna Fishbourne. You're going to look like left, Tony nigga. Snow's uh, uh, avatar. Yeah. And all you got to do is swipe left, nigga. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> nah, if your mama nah, pop you, you up on it. the app. Swipe left, nigga. No, nah, you, you gotta block. You gotta block them, man. Up. You gotta block them. So, because yeah. eventually, if you if yeah, you just swipe them. left, they'll show up again. You gotta block yeah, them. Block them. <laughs> so you're block saying them. Daughter, daughter <laughs> niggas can't be trusted. Block them. You nah, block them. Nah, it can't be trusted. I, 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 it's deeper than it's not. It's, it's deeper than that, bro. And like <laughs> you said, I think what I think what <laughs> niggas is starting to realize, like you said, and us especially, I tell y'all, man, like, 80s, 80s niggas, bro, the last hope was like, you know, so I think, Jerry, you might be like, what, late 70s, right, or whatever. But, no, you know, us, whatever, nigga. <laughs> the generation of, of ours, bro, literally, dog, I'm telling you, um, trying to map this shit out and figure this shit out, the little bit of sanity that's left in society, fam. Fam, I did the shit, what, yesterday, Nigga, to where you know, uh, is there when we talked about this shit, bro? These Decepticons are are getting scary now, dog. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nigga. Yeah, nigga, crazy. you can't tell. Yeah, you, you, you nigga, the nigga, I live in Atlanta, here. bro. The full I stayed Adam myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga, no, no, Adam 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 Apple, nigga, nigga, they got they, yeah, they taking niggas calf muscles away. You understand? Yeah, man, that's my yeah, worst bro. nightmare. It's a, that's what I'm telling you. So, like I said, bro, we 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 are nigga screaming at the fucking from the fucking the 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 valley to the fucking mountaintop, nigga. Like nigga, it's danger, nigga. Like we fucking miss it, bro. Like nigga, it's danger out here. This some shit that you did. Some shit, bro. Imagine telling yourself, bro. Imagine we make the time machine, right? And you got to tell your little self, like, hey, look, man, hey, 20 years from now, it's going to be motherfucking niggas out here that look just like bitches. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to yeah. be able to tell the difference. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, get the at fuck all. out of here. That's some movie hey, shit, right? Hey, don't the government pay for some of them uh, surgeries that they be getting? That the rainbow yes. Be getting? Yes. Yeah. Because there was a dude at my job, a uh, warehouse or whatever, that left, uh, that took off for like three months or whatever. He came back. With that uh Chinese shit, like new titties, yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. I know bro. he ain't had the money to get that titties shit. no more, bro. It's not just the titties no more, bro. They chopped it <laughs> off the meat, bro. Yeah, they, 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 they getting they reconstructive meat. surgery. What did yeah, they call it? Conversion bro. surgery or some they shit, nigga. Yeah, the the, the the built. You know what I'm saying, nigga? They got the fucking Lego pussy, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> like nigga. You know what I'm saying? And so that's so I'm like, bro, the game is so crazy and so fucking rigged, nigga, to where it's like, bro, the only niggas at risk are straight niggas. Early, 
You know what I mean? Yeah, the only niggas that, bro, the only motherfuckers out here, bro, that 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 like that you got to do everything right. You got to play by these rules. You got to be chivalrous. You got to be upstanding. You got to be productive. You got to, you know, you got to, you got to be a man. Man, the only nigga, we the only motherfuckers, bro, held to the same motherfucking rules. And, and now fucking women is like, no. Uh, are you you like, like zero said no you're you i'm not gonna be your slave bro bitches is turning down housewife lives yes bro, a bitch a bitch that say she had a man that wanted her to be a housewife she had everything the nigga paid all the bills you know what she said i left <laughs> i was yeah, sick she it. wasn't comfortable yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. idea and not being I'm a not provider and having her boy. Own. that's why bro i can't that's not, why i'm not like, spooky nigga yeah, what do you, what do you, like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. And like niggas, niggas can't accept this, bro. And, and like that's why I'd be like, niggas, well, yeah, you just have to be the better man, bro. And you know, she has to be on your program. Like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Stop, please. I, my my thing, bro. I'm just to the point of where it's like niggas are mad at niggas for the shit hoes is doing. Yeah. And they keep blaming yeah, niggas versus versus they keep blaming niggas because they so out of pocket, or like it's not even out of pocket, is they're just so blatant and broad with it now the way they like like the the worst thing is that women understand we got the power you know what i'm saying like who's that fucking cnc music factory whatever the fuck mm -hmm. i got the power bitches understand that shit nigga yep. and it's like they and now they're they're getting slowly but surely more too that's why you seeing the dinner the dinner whore culture these bitches going out on bro it was a, a mid bro super mid asian bitch and now, is she telling the complete truth? I don't know, whatever. But the bitch said, bro, she didn't eat for like, she, she didn't have to spend money on groceries for two years. The bitch just went on dates for like five days out of the week for like a year and a half. There's a whole article yeah. on that shit. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, if she can do that, good for her. Niggas is, look. <laughs> Damn. You <laughs> like, know how much money she done saved, yo? She, yeah, she saved like, the hey, bundle. Bitch, like, she, like, the the she didn't buy groceries. Yeah, she because she saved a lot by switching to Geico. That bitch winning. That's an average it's, of four hundred to five hundred dollars a month, nigga. Yeah, nigga, even more than that. Shit, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Listen, fuck that. Depending on where you live, smooth. Yeah. Fuck that. The bitch, bro. The bitch. Let's say she said she said like dinner, dinner and lunch. So it's at sometimes twice a day, bro. This bitch yes, is spending man. motherfucking. This bitch is spending twenty dollars a day minimum, nigga, on a date. Twenty dollars a day. That's a hundred a week. Drea Michelle is thirty nine years old with a twenty two year old son. And Jalen Green and is she just signed. She just she just signed an eighteen year deal with Jalen Brown. Max contract, nigga. Yep. Better than any NBA deal you could get, nigga. And why you she just signed hold a on, max contract on. with Jalen Brown, nigga? For Not yet. Years. She hold on. She ain't signed a max contract yet. She got the entry level now. Oh, she got a rookie, she got a rookie deal. Yeah, yeah. The nigga still on his oh, rookie deal. Wow. So the bitch is gonna get a major boost, and I think it's like what a year and a half. Oh, so when she, okay, so as soon as she go up for free agency, she finna cash out on this nigga. Oh yep. hell yeah, even yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah, so now she gonna, she definitely gonna turn back to court. She gonna go back to court and get the fucking get her contract. Uh, what do they call that shit? Readjusted or re? Yep. Or what? What? They, yeah, reconstructed. They, yeah, she's gonna go back to court and get her fucking contract reconstructed. Yes, the, yes, indeed. The crazy part is she she'll be what, like maybe 44, 45. and if she if she anything like LeBron, she can keep playing. Because if she keep her fucking looks together, if she still look like her bird ass look right now, at forty four, she gonna be able to do this again. Absolutely, yeah. I can see her doing that again. Yeah, she'll, she'll be able to do this she, again. Yeah, why would she? Wait, wait, wait. So, 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 my question, uh, fantastic. Are hoes winning? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, <laughs> smooth. Come on. Listen, man. I, I, at, at this point, at this point, smooth. I, I, I don't know, man. From from the from the transactional standpoint. Yes, but like let's let's use let's stay with the Dre Michelle situation, right? Well, not Dre. Uh -huh. Well, you can't use Dre Michelle because she's gonna be able to afford maids and and she's not gonna have to take care of her own kids. Now, are the Dre Michelle's winning? Yes, the eight nines of dimes always win, bro. My thing is like the fives and below, which is like the I think we would agree to be like at least the eighty percent. Them hoes ain't winning, dog. 
them ho them hoes sure? out here, bro. She, a positive, I promise you. Again, the 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 five. You just said alone, a basic Asian bitch didn't pay groceries for two years. She's a, she's five. still an anomaly. She's still an anomaly. If you just look at Nick, bro, niggas not taking no hoes out on no dates five days a week, bro. Smooth. You you, you still in? You still in? You still in Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, I am. All right, so I so am. take the bitch that take the non stripper, non. Let's say the bitch that work at um, Mercedes Benz Stadium, right? She she's a concession yeah. stand person or some shit. That bitch not yeah. getting no date per day, bro. She not getting no no date five days a week from niggas in Atlanta or or anywhere else. That that we give we Depend give her on too how much credit. Is, but even if she's average, bro. No, nah, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Average whole bro. Niggas are desperate for pussy, but niggas not desperate to motherfucking get. Like just the regular schmegular pussy like that. Niggas is not going like that, bro. I'm just I'm telling you, it's just not happening. I'm telling you, niggas is not going all out and not doing a lot of extra shit. Cause the they can't get that we, anyway, though. Yeah, but that's what and that's what I'm saying. That's so so niggas it. already know. So a niggas willing to, like you said, zero, a niggas willing to, to go spend the five thousand for the fit if he's gonna be fucking with the bad bitch. He's willing to do that for her, right? Even though he know that shit is just whatever, and then hey. And then you get the excuse, like you said, man. Well, hey, yeah, hey, I can wear these clothes, you know, a million more times. I can drive this motherfucking Benz I really can't afford, even I gotta sleep in it, you know, until the motherfucking, you know, until I got trans transmission. But they still trying to aim yeah. for that for the, you know what I'm saying, certain holes. They're not going out here doing that in mind of that. Now, if that comes along, cool, fine. But what I'm saying is we give way too much credit to the regular to ugly ass holes. Like they were eight nines and dimes. I just that's just my my stance. Since or, you put it like eight, that, I agree with that on average. Yeah, no, I mean it's not average, that they're eight nines and dimes, but it's like for their level, they're able to get maximum benefit average for whatever are, level that they're is our way. You understand they don't what have I'm to saying? Go on dates every day, but average even average bitches are winning. Like yeah, the, the, the average Look chick. At the access didn't zero. Didn't you give an example of a model nigga in the DMs of yes, a, yes, of yes. a bad it, bitch? It, yeah, like like you go to these sites with cam with cam ups and shit, and it be niggas with legit get bitch power, and they trying to get an ugly bitch for the day. Like, and, and I get what you said. That's that's where like they, they can't maintain. But niggas only do that because they can't. They understand that they won't be able to maintain that. Women are not trying. Not, women are not into relationship maintenance at all. They're not trying to be with your ass forever because they're too busy looking around at shit. There's too much. There's too many distractions. And then you competing with all the other niggas who want the average bitch pussy. You can't even. Even if you wanted to have an average woman as a, as a girl, like you you can't anyway because it's gonna be some thirsty nigga looking at her and, and wanting to get on her, and, and the bitch gonna throw money, and the nigga gonna throw money at her. Mm -hmm. Listen, when when you got when you got niggas when you got celebrity level niggas, and I said this a long time, when you got celebrity level niggas hopping in the DMs of regular bitches, it is game over. Yeah, the game fuck, over. Game over. The, um, these are eight the nines and dimes. These are regular bitches with Not makeup. With the, um, the Home Depot girl. Remember the Home Depot girl? Her her green ass. She was so motherfucking like just. I guess, like you know, so naive that the bitch fucking pretty much exposed Shaq was trying to holler at her or some shit. You remember exactly. that shit? Yeah, that, Shaq. So, 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 remember yeah, Shaq. so, no, remember the bitch that 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 put Ben Affleck on blast. Remember the remember the thick white country girl that put LeBron on blast. Remember yeah. the remember the average bitch from the hood that put Chris Brown on blast. Remember, remember the, the that, nineteen year old Instagram? Drake. I shake my ass every day. Who put Omarion on black? On black. And she was nineteen. Like average bitches is winning out here. Like this shit is over with. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. only thing niggas can do now is really, like I said, they're gonna have to start approaching every situation like they're dealing with a prostitute. The only chicks you're gonna really be able to marry is chicks that's inside like some type of religious structure. It's the only way. And nine times out of ten, I'm sorry to be stereotypical about this. But nine times out of ten, them bitches are going to be unattractive. It's just how it is. And, and good luck, good luck getting your boner up long term, my nigga. You might have to resort to, to the blue ones for that. I'm just saying. 
Yo, grape tea news, yo. I wasn't even looking, yo. I, 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 yeah, I heard about that. We, 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 we saw this shit on Star Report, didn't we? Yo, yo but yeah, you that, know what's crazy? Nigga, and you know why I'm wilding out right now? He's, he sounds just like a nigga on a panel. He, listen, listen, um, Zero, this is a great point right here, right? So what you were saying earlier, too. Tyrese. Yeah, when, it's, when the celebrity niggas, no, no, when the celebrity niggas don't even look out for themselves. Bro, with the amount of celebrity niggas, black black niggas specifically, between um, you know, uh, entertainers and athletes, pro athletes, and all this shit, all these millionaire niggas, bro, there is no fucking way that these motherfuckers should not be able to put a lobby together for just child support alone, because the shit is ridiculous. They, those motherfuckers should be at the fucking forefront of child support reform, right? You know right. what I mean? And and because if there's no way. You shouldn't have a cap on child support. A bitch getting fifteen grand of of what? At what point in time can you justify any child having a fifteen grand? Not to mention going up to what he said twenty two per month. That's cr- and then, bro, that's tax free money that you it's unregulated. <laughs> How else do you take care of a child? Yes. Yeah. Tax free fucking money, unregulated, dealer, and bitches getting eighteen grand a fucking month, bro. Get the fuck out of here! But like you said, these how motherfuckers. How do you take care of a child? What they, do you they mean? Got, they got basketball practice, soccer practice. Wait, who? <laughs> nigga, Michael Jordan? Zero trolling. They gotta eat McDonald's. Like they need to go to restaurants. They got. They need. They who, need new with, fitted with, caps. What's the with the salt nigga with the you with gotta, the salt nigga with the fucking mustache and the glasses and the, you gotta the catch planes with mom. <laughs> get the you know? fuck out of here. They gotta private get plane. the venue. Yeah, but they gotta fly private. You can't be flying public, and your daddy is a superstar. You or at least be, business like, class. Niggas need bread. 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 <laughs> if I ever somehow, if I ever get fucking money, nigga, that's I'm gonna have a big ass paid fucking campaign, like fucking two minute long goddamn commercial, nigga. What are you fucking rich niggas doing, and why the fuck do we not? Like, what's wrong with y'all, man? What's wrong with you niggas? Like the fucking like the the black preacher, nigga. Why are y'all niggas not putting your money together to get this fucking child support shit, whatever? And then too, like I said, now shit may even be you know over with now, bro. Child support is a billion dollar industry, bro. Billion, billions of fucking dollars, dog. Mm-hmm. So I mean, mm-hmm. it's to the point now because shit can can even millionaires make a difference if these fucking states are dependent upon you know what I'm saying that big ass that big ass chunk of money. You feel me? So yeah. at this point, I think child support is a flex for rich niggas. They just basically like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. I can afford, yeah, yeah. I can afford it. So yeah, I just pay. That's stupid as hell, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a flex. Yeah, the total the totally wrong fucking way to, to, to do that shit. Yeah, but I think get off on uh, woman. Fantastic. They, do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Tony. Uh, that's good. There you go. Now I was gonna say, fantastic. Do you think? I mean, not up to fifteen grand a month, right? But but what do you think the average looking four, three, or five gets? Um, tax free money a month. I did a um total if you you if you fucking do um child support um uh, tax returns and all that shit and government assistance that qualify for it it depends on how much she's getting per kid so are we just talking child support or are we just, we talking like free benefits all together um child support child support um Threes and fours usually have more kids, so they got at least two of them. And I think the average child support is something like two something a month. So she getting four hundred a month minimum, usually. We 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 like I said, let's say one point five kids. So cut it down to like three hundred. Damn. And we know some you know of these, I mean? these 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 big backs be having like four five of them. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm I'm with you most on that smooth. Like I said, if you go into like, you know, what usually it comes out to be, you know, lower income chicks that use kids as a mean of means of yeah. um, you know, resources, yeah, they're gonna have two kids, definitely, possibly three, but I would definitely wanna go over that. You know, and then, you know, it's another crazy thing, bro. So uh, you know what, Zero, I wanna ask you. So Zero, have you 
uh, came up with the new, the little, little new nigga that looked like the dude from Idlewild, the bad guy. Um, uh, Media Man. You 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 been watching him at all? <laughs> Idlewild. Yeah, you, you remember the bad? <laughs> you see Idlewild? I don't even know what that is. That nigga looked like he bought the Incredible Hulk out his fucking suit. Yo. Yeah, yeah. So so y'all need to look at me. y'all know y'all know I yeah. never miss right. So there's the movie is Idlewild with Outcast. And you okay. look up, I don't know what the shit is, but there was like this bad guy nigga that um what's the hey man um uh Iron Man um Terrence uh, Howard so Terrence yeah, and they had this scene they had this scene where they like they they grabbed up um big boy right and this just big ass old country barrel nigga with a fucking um cigar in his mouth <laughs> was just you know he's just some strong nigga. I'll try to find a link and I'll put it in the chat so y'all can see it. But medium man looked just like that nigga, he cool as fuck though. Oh, I see media man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he started bringing these numbers, right? And but the niggas, uh, I think he's either like a he has a, a, a degree in accounting or analytics or some shit like that. So he he breaks all the shit down. So when you start looking at this shit, right, from the uh, mathematical perspective, and motherfuckers can't can't run from it, right? It's like niggas cheer it on. But then niggas will argue against it as soon as you get into the fucking discussion and debate and all this other shit. And I'm just like, hold on, fam. Which is it, nigga? You you want to agree with the stats or you want to turn it to the anecdotal so, you know, for the sake of this argument or just what the fuck we doing right now? And this what media did? No, not media, man. I said niggas that because he, he got a, you know, the nigga caught like he he hot as fish grease. He, he blew right, up, right, right. like, blew yeah. up fast. He blowing so up right niggas now. will quote him you know what I'm saying? But then the same niggas are coming <laughs> out and you're saying you have you really be hating on them. that's going against the numbers. You're, oh my right. God, listen, smooth, that, smooth. I, I that nigga know, was you know. reaching for the stars. Bruh, that, I don't know. Away. Yeah, man. I don't know. Like this, I said the nigga landed syndrome. If y'all say hoes is winning, nigga. The, the <laughs> nigga landed syndrome is undefeated, nigga. <laughs> but you know, I, 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 one thing I've noticed about you, Fantasy, is that you you're becoming more 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 compared to how your content was before. It's like it's almost like I can almost compare it to like pearly things. You know, at first she was more pro marriage. You know, people should get married. Not saying that you were pro marriage, but like your outlook on <clears throat> relationships or you know with with these chicks and all of that. You know what I'm saying? seem a little more positive like you still told the dudes to be realistic about it and stuff <clears throat> but now it seems like you've 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 gained more insight as to how bad shit really yeah is. nigga i'm out nigga i'm out here yeah nigga i know the reality nigga why, so, why I... so so my question to you is what chances does a nigga really stand with everything that you've realized right now, what chances do you think a nigga really stands? As who far has as a what? mindset, who has a mindset of, brother, I need pussy, I need it. So what, now, so let's, uh, what the chance think? of getting pussy and the chance of getting a relationship? What in house or just getting, all of it? Getting a chick in general. <laughs> get, get, all of pussy it. is different than relationship. Well, well. The nigga that, that's basing it, the dude. nigga that's basing it on, I I need pussy, but he's having difficulties. That nigga has a a bro, like you said, a it's 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 gonna be a hard road, bro. If you can't <laughs> command the shit, if you if you don't have whatever it takes, be it looks, be it status, be it money, be it whatever, however it is, you get it. If you don't have those things, you gonna be on the cold, my nigga, and you go, you better have a good lotion budget. You know what I'm saying? You you you, you said you, you better have, have a good lotion budget. Yeah, good lotion bucket. You you part that's, of the motherfucking Jergens and Luberdern clan, brother. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's very that's black field right there. Uh, uh, no, I've I've been saying that yeah. though, but like it's, it's, it's what I'm saying, niggas like to try to make this shit all you know, I just like mystical and, and mythical or, or whatever the fuck, and it's just like, um, bro, my yeah. I, like, bro, y'all, I was y'all know I was married, bro. When I tell yeah. you, it's not even night and day, nigga. It's like motherfucking. Um, interdimensional versus interstellar, nigga, of how like crazy it's changed from the early 2000s to the 2020s, right. bro. It's literally to the point now of like, bro. And then just even the, bro. I'm telling y'all, hoes are aggressive. Like, 
in comparison to what it was before. Hold man, like hold yeah. just looking to like they've always been that way. Like like the 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 sexual desire, like like Zero said, has always been there, right? But societally, it wasn't acceptable, so they couldn't just be all free and loose with their pussy. Now, nigga, that's hey, that's hey, that's 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 light. You know what I'm saying? You lucky she's not selling it or whatever. So, bro, if you if you a nigga out here, bro, that's just trying to get in a relationship and all this other shit, bro, I, I don't know, dog. Especially, man, that's why I say, listen, I'm not telling you not to get married, dog. But especially you talking about paperwork, bro. I just say you you a fucking fool. And that's when I do start agreeing with like Ty City. I don't I don't agree with anything you trust a woman is your fault. But if you decide to marry that whole nigga, that's your fault. I do yeah. agree. I stand on that. You decide yeah. to marry. You decide to go to a fucking state and have a court sign off on you being in a relationship, nigga. You being in a licensed relationship, nigga. Not, on, not only that, but it. any any kids you have are wards of the state, yep. which is why they yep. get to yep. assign them to a parent. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I have I have no sympathy for you because we've lit I we literally walked this shit down. Told y'all, I told you, bro. And that's what I was saying, bro. Like I said, my, my situation and niggas, you know, try to make fun or whatever. It's like, bro, listen, I got married young. I, You know what I'm saying? Shit lasted or whatever. It lasted a whole lot longer than it should have, you know, with me being in the military and shit or whatever. But, bro, she fucking, bro, she shot me a threat. She said, hey, man, you know, la, 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 what's going on? Um, You know, I could just, you know, I could do this. I could do that. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, You know what I'm saying? Is this recent? No, 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 no. This is about when okay. I that's why I got divorced. That's why I, I filed for the paperwork oh. in my divorce. Cause she cause she was she was mad because of you know the whole thing happened where we were living apart. And in her mind, I'm just out here fucking all these bitches in these holes. And I'm like, bitch, I'm on, you know, I started my YouTube. So I'm like, bitch, you can literally fucking look at me be on YouTube for three to four hours at a time. And then, you know, outside of that, I'm in the gym playing basketball for fucking four hours a day. Like, what are you talking about? Where what, where do I have the time to be out here fucking hoes? And this is your city where you're from. You mean to tell me that I'm, I'm going to be out here fucking hoes and where you were born and raised at and you're no one's going to see my big six foot five, you know, at the time, what, 290 pound ass? You know what I'm saying? You know, you I'm, 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 I'm a hard nigga to hide. But, you know, and then she, whatever it was, you know, she said the shit to where, you know, well, you know, I could just, you know, get a divorce. And you know, I'll be, I'll get this and that and all this other shit. And I said, oh, word. Okay, well, yeah. you know what? Let's, Rats. let's, yeah, let's, 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 let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, cut this motherfucking shit off before it even gets to that point. And, you know, hey, I, I got up <laughs> out of there. Got up out of there, fam. And and a nigga now yeah. I get I, bro I'm good Smart. I don't have to worry about giving up none of my motherfucking pension for the rest of my life and that's what niggas yeah. didn't understand you know I'm like bro that's oh that's why you got life, out of there nigga. before yeah. you retire yeah, before I retire before I retire yeah bro you know I bro niggas niggas say what they want to say about me bro bro I, I <laughs> bro I've never lost to a bitch in my life dog even when a bitch you, you might have motherfucking got got off a little bit but bitch nah, nah you didn't nah, get nah, all the way over jack, my nigga. You yeah, you, you might get off, but you ain't gonna get yeah. over. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, okay. Now I remember what I was gonna ask you. Okay, when y'all was last, so a nigga said, um, "What did he say?" I, I think he might have been directing that at Ty City, but he was like, "You made, you created a baby mama, and and because you ain't fucking with the girl you was with anymore, you got a kid by her." So that was another thing I was going to say. So, again, y'all got two. You were married. Ty City wasn't. So this nigga said, so if a woman gets, if if you divorce somebody, are you creating a baby mama? What's the difference? Well, the, well, women no, actually hold two different. Women, well, no, no. Women hold no, no, I understand. I, I, won't, I won't miss on the details. I'm just saying, if, if you split from your relationship and now you're no longer with the woman who has your kids, did you create a baby mama? Did you create a single mother? Did you no, create you could, the single mother? Well, that's what I, I and that's what I'm, that's yeah, what I'm no. saying. I don't, I don't like giving the man that. And that's what I say. No, and even the Ty City thing, right? I don't, I don't say Ty, Ty City didn't create that. His his bitch ass baby mama did the same way exactly. my first baby mama did and my ex wife did. So no, that, that I don't. That's that's what I'm saying. We need to change this narrative of of, of telling there's something wrong with the man, nigga. I told you, I told you my story, nigga. A bitch that I took care of for fucking 10 years, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying, bitch, but we on good terms. Everything's cool. But you know what I'm saying? This is my mind when I'm, you know, when I'm making the decision that like, hey, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I got to get a divorce. Somebody that I fucking literally changed your life and gave you the best possible shit you could have ever, situation you could have ever had. You know what I'm saying? You get so emotional to the point of where, you know what I'm saying? You don't have anything outside of your feelings to support the bullshit that you're coming at me with. You accuse me of some shit that I'm not doing, right? Um, then you got the fucking balls to fucking threaten me on my money for life that you've only been around for almost half of the time I've been doing it. Go, oh, bitch, I'm out of here. Fuck out of my face. Damn. What's wrong with you? How dare you? How dare you? How how dare yeah. you? You so, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's that's what I so I was driving home. I was I was listening and uh yeah, no. there was an SKC panel, they were saying, Well, y'all created y'all created single mothers. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I mean, know what the them just, with. just credit themselves, and that's that's what, and that's why I say men, niggas, men need to stop. That men need to get off men's dicks, man, for real, for real. <laughs> niggas, niggas, niggas always blaming niggas, and it's just like, no, what there did the bitch go. do? Oh, well, I look at it as a form of uh of, of coddling again, like you. Coddling yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like, no, no, what did she? Do? What did she do? What did yeah. what the fuck did she do? Why is nobody asking what she did? It, it yeah, but you're never gonna get that kind man. of truth out of marriage, niggas. Ain't no hamp is yeah, a marriage, I, nigga. It's just more day. like I don't even care what or she is. It's, it's, it's just, just don't coddle. Like I, I, you don't even have to. You don't even have to ask what her role. Is. It's just don't coddle. Just don't coddle a bitch. Don't 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 act like she ain't got no agency or decision making. You don't even have to question her. You don't have to, you know, run up on her and be here to death. It's just more, just don't coddle them. If they if they want to behave the way they behaved, then okay, okay, gotcha. You want to be this type of motherfucker, got it. So that's why I was saying, you know, just look if you approach them like what they what they behave in like, you win every single fucking time. And again, all these gamed up niggas talking about vetting processes and shit. You niggas still ain't figured out that vetting process, have you? Yeah, I'm still I'm so tired of vetting shit, bro. Again, I like bro, vetting is, is not real, <laughs> nigga. Vetting is not fucking real. When again, the, the, the day one, the bitch on day one is not the same bitch on day 10, is not the same bitch on a, a year out, five years nope. out, 10 years out. Nope. No, bro. Vetting is fucking pointless when again people fucking change just over time. And and most importantly, again, if you get into a Licensed relationships, so even a long-term relationship, a long-term relationship with kids or licensed relationships with or without kids, the bitch got all the leverage, bro. So this vetting all shit them. don't matter. And then yeah, and then she has she has society in her ear, she has her family in her ear, you know, friends in all the ear. Co- yeah, all yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Ear. Everything tell leave that nigga, leave him, leave him, leave him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like on some on some boondocks killer kung fu wolf bitch type shit. Yeah, yo. That was the perfect episode, yo. I'm telling y'all, bro. Aaron, Aaron Magruder, bro. I believe that nigga is like from the future. Really, really like if you, if you bro, nobody that's nobody that's looked at. If you have not looked at Boondocks, bro, go and look at all three seasons of Boondocks before they got into the thing or whatever, right? Yeah. And you will literally see like all the shit. A lot of shit we going on right now, bro. From like social issues to especially like the black dynamic going on, dog. It's like this nigga just. It's like he had the perfect vision. And, and I'm telling you, man, a lot of this shit, um, like niggas is living in cartoons at this point, bro, because it, it's just wild. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, in reality said pump and dump is a is vet. Yeah, yeah, that's a form of vetting. Again, you you, pro, you approach it like what you <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is. I, I have to agree. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because like, again, if you're not coddling the bitch, on that. If you're not coddling the bitch, then yeah, that, that's that's a form of it. It's just like remember, so I snitched on one MT, right? So you know, call a nigga the police. With oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The sassy lights. Yeah, yeah. I, I snitched on one MT. That nigga uh-huh. was on stream when during the pa- when the passport shit was in full effect, talking mm-hmm. about because niggas was asking him because he you know he get questions in the chat. Niggas was asking mm-hmm. him about you know a substantial relationship. Are the are the women over there worth marrying and all this other shit? And this nigga said. If he fucks with a chick that is on that marriage type shit and she wants a relationship, instead of being a straight up nigga and going, yo, I'm not on that. If she fall for his shenanigans, it's her fault. Now, again, I'm not for coddling bitches, but if you are, if, if, if that chick is on some substantial relationship shit and 
let's face it, you telling her you you about that life, which is why she fucks you. And then you go, nah, You're I'm lying. just playing. You're lying. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, nah, I'm just I, went, I, remember, I just wanted the pussy. I'm sorry. So so now, so you creating the bitches you hate. That, that, that was my issue with one with of T. It's like, if you do run into a chick that's cultured differently and all the rest of it, and then you you and then you go, nah, I I I want pussy so bad that I'm willing to create the problem that I talk about. And then you yeah. fuck it up for all and the rest you, of the niggas. And then, yeah, and niggas and then you're fucking it up for everybody else and telling yeah. them they should come over there and get like you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> niggas is fucking crazy. Then in the another five, five years, you start man. getting scoped and getting killed. These yeah, niggas that, is that, fucking crazy. That that nigga is overshared, bro. When that nigga was telling the fucking the, you know what I mean, the story he told about Thailand, nigga, I was like, man, what the fuck y'all got going on over here, man? Yeah, that shit was wild, bro. Yep. Yo, the Pat, craziest got, video what, was Pat, still Pat, the passport, passport MacGyver and shit. The passport fucking <laughs> survivor. Like man, these these passport stories getting crazy, nigga. Like, bro, I, I don't even understand that shit. But I don't that's know. all that's all propaganda. I don't believe in half of Yo, that Frank shit. Frank I mean, said you, that one you can point out you can point out select niggas that be getting getting their shit taxed or whatever. But for the most part, niggas is over there just fuck up You know, it, it, and it is what it is. I, Y'all I saw them old know. niggas. Uh, fighting with them prostitutes. Yo, that was WWE. crazy. The, 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 girl the, the, table. the girl broke the table. The girl broke the table. Broke the glass yeah. table. Yes. yes. Pay me my money. Huh? Yeah. You it see, was it was a like bunch five of... or six of them. Just geriatric. Yeah, geriatric. Like, bro, I like, bro, niggas. Niggas, niggas was mad because I said, "Look, bro. Sometimes, hey, in that situation, bro, you got, bro." Uh, what, uh, y'all remember fucking seven when fucking um uh, Morgan Freeman was like John Doe has the upper hand, bro. The bitch got the upper hand, nigga. It's five of y'all. Pay the bitch the money. She wanted two hundred dollars. She said a hundred, and she went up to like a two hundred or whatever. And the right. more you niggas argue, the more the bitch, nigga. Y'all got enough money between you, nigga. Pay the bitch the money and get up out of here. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. That's like fifty dollars. <laughs> nah, that's not bad. Girl, come on, zero. They couldn't go home. You, you got two people <laughs> between five Americans. Come on, man. It was Jim like, Rello hey. enough there. Yeah, but y'all think she, you think she upped it off the road down there to Scooby Doo Van? No, she, nigga, she did it real time. She purposely did it. It's like, no, nah, nigga, you inconveniencing me. You oh, so no, nah, it's like it's like the shit like the mob do with niggas. Oh, 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 you know, oh, oh, you're gonna argue with us, huh? You're gonna. It's not a bargaining situation now. It's 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 three fifty. It was two hundred. That's two fifty. Every time you say a word. You know what I'm saying? We go, we gonna bump it up, type shit. The bitch literally did that real time on video, bro. Damn. And then to see them niggas like like Smooth said, these old ass niggas, and that the dude that was wrestling nigga like Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior got Yo. his face rocked in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Locked and fucking come back. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Ring the bell. I'm like, wow. It, that wasn't no nigga though. That bro, that that was a motherfucking Puerto Rican or something, man. We, we, and we gotta stop. Do we gotta start making a delineation in nigga niggas, man? Like uh, y'all niggas versus pretending niggas. Like bro, motherfuckers be calling talking like fresh and fit. We, we, you remember, bro? We we call this shit out the fresh and fit shit out, bro. Like long time ago. Started. Yeah, yeah. yeah long, but you know, niggas, all oh, y'all niggas just hating. Like nah, nigga, we just saying it is what it is. You know, niggas gonna be successful. It is what who gives a fuck. But they pretended niggas, bro. These niggas got on like they, you know, they whole vibe is, yeah, we, we you know, we, we nigga this, nigga that, la la la. And both of y'all motherfuckers got, well, Myrie don't got no accent no more. You still got fucking the other nigga with this hard ass fucking accent. And you done been here for however long. And now, you know, and Myron is, is looking like motherfucking Jafar from motherfucking Aladdin <laughs> and shit. You know what that I'm nigga got a whole new hairline for the bitch. Yeah, yeah. yo. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame him. Can't blame. Got, you know what? He got though? waves for the bitch. Yo, yeah, yeah. He he really, he got his surfboard back. He that, that that nigga did the job. He got a surfboard back. But yeah. both of them niggas sound like robots. Yeah. And yeah, I it's, think it's they, a script at this point. Their audience is probably, I mean, their audience is primarily like mainstream soft niggas. And that's and that's cool. I mean, at some point, all the niggas are going to get hit in the face and they and they and they'll they'll wake up 
when it's too late. There'll be 30 something going on 40, trying to talk to motherfuckers, hopping on panels and shit, and starting a podcast, trying to get people to, to, to wake up. But then it's going to be a whole new generation behind them doing the same fucking thing. So, I mean, I mean, we're doing it now. You see, I mean, look, look what happened on your boy. Uh, I mean, I know, like I said, I like him, but look what happened on your boy panel. He had all the young niggas in there. And it took them four hours to get to the point, which was, you're not that nigga, so you finna be out here paying. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got, you got like, even the young niggas going through this shit where they, all of them want to be that nigga. You, you kind of don't want to destroy their hope, but at the same you time, spend my money on another just pair. Gonna keep I can it, another pair or, or they can do like these old niggas in my generation where they got the ugly ass bitch at home and trying to tell people that. You don't want to grow old. Oh, you don't want to grow old and alone by yourself. Be alone you alone. You live in the hospital bed and ain't nobody there to hold you. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> what you gonna do when you're sitting in the house by yourself and, and, and ain't a bitch walking around? It like this. These niggas, they want you to have the, the, the like same the life that they got. It, it's weird. And they, and they and they act like they helping men by replicating the same shit that 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 they have, which I can see if they were saying, you know, raising a family and shit, but they always resort to, you don't want to be old and alone. That's yeah, man. That, nigga. I, 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 if I'm rich, I'll be old and alone and, 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 and smash out until I'm out of here. Fuck out of here. End of story. Yeah, uh, I I just think selling, trying to sell the whole thing with families, right? Oh, uh, you know, well, you know, the nuclear family is the the way in a unit until you know successful societies and all this other shit. It's like, bro, bro, this shit is just too far upside down for you know what I'm saying. Um, again, practically is 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 perfect or whatever, but in practice, it's just unfucking realistic. These young hoes don't even want to deal with the young niggas. Unless they motherfucking, you know, in the NBA, in the NFL, scammer, got a bag, whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got a whole generation of niggas that's getting fucking jumped over because, like you said, the holes is hoeing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the holes is going and hoeing. These young, these, the, the sugar baby shit and these bitches want to be taken care of. They want niggas to be able to spend money, so on and so forth. So, you know, the nigga that's the, you know, the nigga that's just out here making a regular living, bro. You know what I'm saying? He he he's getting where he can get it. He can get it, but it's just so much shit, man. As to where, like, again, y'all blaming the dudes, but y'all don't want to get married. Y'all just out here want to fuck. Yeah, nigga, these hoes want to fuck too. Why the fuck would I? Right. Why the fuck should a nigga that's twenty? Who, who, in what world? No, no group of people are getting married in their early twenties. The the average, the earliest what marrying age I think is like 27, 28. So right. why are we even bringing up the fact that the matter with well, you ought to be getting married at, 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 as soon as you get out of college at 25. <laughs> no, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that's the real spill, too. Like, niggas, niggas think... Uh, it's just like, that's why bitches be on rental... Like, they be on the rental list until they, like, they late. You know, until late. Yeah, Everybody feel, you know, super free until they start, you know... Till they head into till they head into the 30s, but that don't mean that they want to settle for a nigga. That just mean that they not that mean that they just aged out of the fucking pool parties. That's all. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that don't mean it, they want to settle it, with a nigga. It just means that they, they start they getting not, the crow's feet. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and she understand. Hey, hey, I, I I got maybe a good you know six months to a year run left, so I got to get the best nigga I can get out of this situation and try to lock him in. Yeah, again, I don't think they're even looking for that. I don't think they try to lock niggas in. It's just so they age out of the pool party, but then they just start settling into well, well, let me let me slow it down a little bit and see what's out here. But they're not really necessarily looking for somebody to settle down with. Chicks be like 35, 36, 37, like and still out here. No, they're not, they're not. It's more because they hold they hold out wife. They hold out for like He's the. They hold out for like. They hold out for super nigga. They they hold out for boardroom pookie. They're not holding out for a regular nigga. They're not holding out for. They're not holding out for a simp. Yeah, they're, they're not holding out for the for the nigga that'll actually give them the the things that they say they're looking for. They're, they're not holding Black out any love. 
that is why I keep saying you might as well just look prostitute until deemed otherwise. Because, you know, niggas getting used all the way up until they 40s. Again, you know, and if you if you do got enough, if, you, if they can see that you have enough, because there's a lot of rich niggas that ain't celebrities. You know, truth be told, there's a lot of rich niggas that are not yeah. celebrities. If they see and they measure how much fucking shit you got, hey, might go ahead and, you know, shoot the club up. Yeah. And then and, and, and that's and that's over for you. Grape Tingo said they holding out for Drake. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, they here, yo. Probably. That's wild. Like I, I, our race in particular, we have a, a, a problem with uh perception and projection. God damn, that shit yeah. sound like a fucking seminar. But yeah, we do, we have a we have a problem with perception and another problem with projection is just like that whole Michael B. Jordan shit. I think we were talking about this shit the other day where niggas keep thinking that this niggas keep using this dude as an example of the the black male, whatever the fuck. I understand it. I, I get it. I, I understand it. But we, we got to look at this shit from a realistic point of view. Bitches was not fucking with him before with this nigga before. They're not really fucking with him now. We just keep hearing this shit in the in the media. It's just like when they were trying to push your boy um majors when they was trying to push majors on motherfuckers. Bitches weren't fucking with the nigga. Yeah, he played in the movie with the Creed shit. You know, he did the 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 the, the athletic boxer nigga in the movie, but that is not changing what's going on in real life. Same thing with, with old boy. It's not changing what's happening in real life. Get it. He's a celebrity. He got money. He's doing movies and shit. But it's not well, happening. He like union thinking. now. His nigga is not sought like after like niggas think it is. Like it's, it's frustrating, though, because niggas want that to be true because it's but a projection. Zero. But Zero, that's the, and that's the crazy part of it, Zero. So let this, and this is what I say, right? So that's, that's an interesting point you bring up. So this is the nigga. This this nigga is literally super nigga. Michael B. Jordan, nigga. No, no, like no. Said, that, that's a projection. They want us to think they bitches ain't fucking with that nigga like that. Yeah, but listen, this one's I'm I'm agreeing with your premise on that. But and, and that's that's the point I'm making. You're making the point. This is the perfect nigga. A nigga that's successful. He don't got no kids. He's never fucking been married. You know, he's not a divorcee or whatever, none of that shit that's on and yeah. so forth, right? The nigga is, is attractive on a world scale, at, according to the world. I'm he's not saying the nigga attractive. He's a movie star. No, not just he's a movie star. The nigga was voted the most attractive man on the planet, fam. Because he's a movie okay. star. They were going to do the same thing to Jonathan. And he was going to hook classic. This, 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 this one, they were going to do the same thing and to Jonathan wife. Majors. And the and niggas is, not the problem. well. John the Major's fucked himself because he's fucking with the white girl. No, so, no I understand John, that. I understand that. But all of the accolades you're talking about that went that Michael B. Jordan, they were going to do the same thing for Jonathan Majors. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. People Magazine was gonna give him the sexiest man of the year award and all of that shit. Yeah, it is a projection. In real life, we see, we see, we see, we even fuck. we we even see the bitches that's. We even see the niggas that celebrities. We even see the celebrity niggas that bitches chase. Nobody chasing this nigga. We just we yeah. just saying that. And that's what I'm and that's what I'm saying. And and this nigga is the quote unquote perfect nigga that they say they want, but they don't want him and they don't fuck with him and they keep no, shitting they don't on fuck him. With him. They keep shitting on him. Keep shitting on him. Keep because shitting on him. Media, because the media is lying. They propping him up to be this black male archetype of what what niggas are supposed to look like and all that shit. But no, he's not. Otherwise, bitches would have been fucking with him in school. Like mo most of the celebrities that 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 get that type of treatment, where they get put in the magazines and thrown all over the world as as this global heartthrob nigga, them niggas had holes on their dick forever in a day. He ain't had that, and, and that's why, like when I when I hear people talking about this shit on panels, is they always use him as this example. If chicks ain't fucking with Michael B. Jordan, then man, man, we got problems out here, nigga. Stop. Just don't fuck with him like that. 
So it's like niggas need to look at this in a more realistic type of way where you already know you already like I ain't got to get gay and, and talk about people's fucking facial features. But you already know the, the, the niggas and bitches is after. So stop projecting, especially on this nigga, because, you know, Jose fuck with him like that. And then it, it, you will have a more honest conversation, conversation, first of all. And then second of all, you will have a more honest way to move about your life. Instead of thinking that all you have to do is MBJ up and then you'll 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 get it. Cause, Cause some of that shit do work. It's just like when niggas dress like rappers or or basketball players. You had a nigga that looked like Dwayne Wade, so he so he steals his whole steal. He steals his whole steez. You had a nigga that looks like LeBron, so he steals his whole steez. You had a nigga that looked like Lil Wayne when he was popular, so he steals his whole steez. Or the nigga that looked like Future, so he steals his whole steez. Yeah, that'll work for a while when a celebrity's popping. And as soon as that nigga ain't popping no more, you ain't popping no more. Ask all the Akon niggas. <laughs> <laughs> where, them, where them niggas at? He's kind of young, Jesus. Where, where them Akon looking niggas at right now? Remember when hey, he was popping? They scamming. No. They, 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 Akon made all them fucking Nigerian niggas turn into fucking scammers, nigga. Hey oh hell no! Nah. Hey, hey, ain't, ain't hey, no fucking Senegalese gonna turn the Nigerian into a scammer. You must be all crazy. The African niggas niggas. Popular. You must be the the Senegalese gonna turn the Nigerian into a scammer, nigga. Really? Akon made really purple. Black so you mean to tell me popular. Robin taught Batman how to be Batman, nigga? That's what niggas, we doing. Listen. As soon as you Smooth. heard a kind of young Jesus, yeah. yeah. them niggas was fucking. Yeah. All the purple black niggas was out here fucking. And as soon as he lost his fame, all them Akon looking ass niggas went right back to the bottom of the totem pole. Where they at now? Right back. Where the fuck are they at? They, they back with the with, with the fat white hoes. Them purple ass niggas is invisible. It could be with the white girls. <laughs> white girls ain't even fucking with them no more. They, they, they on some new shit. Oh, no, they are. You know they are. It's it's they are. they they, they... <laughs> the rural bumpkin fat fat chicks that be on them carts at Walmart they are they are <laughs> like like I, I understand celebrity influence man but I'm, I'm fucking realist man I, I fucking like I, I get that and I'm not even hating on MBJ I'm not hating on that nigga I, you know he's accomplished a lot in his life I'm not I'm not gonna be the nigga that sit here and shit on his accomplishments because you know I ain't, I ain't did fifty movies. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and act like the shit that they're trying to push on the American black public is true. It's not true. Bitches ain't fucking with that nigga like that. Yeah, did you see the, the shit they did, the root with the, the three bitches, the three um, single mom? Yeah, the three and, of the worst bitches he could choose from, yeah, yes. The three of the worst. And, and that's why I say, bro, they, they, they purposely troll And that's niggas, how you bro. know they bitches ain't fucking with him like that. Yeah, they purposely troll troll niggas, man. Who's and, and why, why couldn't they throw a Zendaya at it? Nah. Mm -mm. Why can't not they throw one, that at it? Not, not one bitch under 37 or exactly. without a child. Who's told exactly. Oh, yeah. The root did a yeah. did a fucking uh, an article about um, who should uh, which one of these women um, would be a good fit or pick for Michael B. Jordan because he had an interview and he the nigga literally said loneliness in like less than a thirty second clip, bro. Dude had did an hour and a half, I think it was an hour and a half um, interview with some guy, <laughs> and the nigga just mentioned loneliness like. Just briefly, he didn't, he didn't go in depth or whatever, so they turned it into a whole fucking article. And the niggas' choices were Tia Maori, um, the bitch from Queen and Slim that that just got divorced from the white boy, and she got mixed kids, and then Lala Anthony. And Lala fucking Anthony with them sad ass titties. Lala Anthony. Well, they ain't sad no more. Zero. Remember, she got she had a she had a titty upgrade. Yeah, she she got them done. <laughs> she had a tough grade. She's, uh, she had a titty upgrade, right. man. She's trying to get it. Nigga, we were hurt. So, you know what though? I'm glad you said that shit though, zero, because bro, we were all bro. You know, like just like it's like when um y'all remember when fucking uh fuck fuck Halle Berry sh showed her titties for the first time on like swordfish. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Hmm. You want it was it wasn't it wasn't fucking like you know 
Like, oh my God, those are some nice ass cities, but it went like a complete total letdown. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. They look they like because they looked regular. Them niggas wasn't yeah. gravity yeah. defined. They was just regular. Yeah, and it, and she and she's like an areola areola list bitch. I didn't, I didn't yeah. picture her as an areola list bitch. She's like all nipple, right? No, no, yeah, no yeah. areola almost at all. But niggas was like, oh, okay, God. cool. But when La La, when niggas was like, oh yeah, since TRL, nigga, we've been trying to see these titties, nigga. Oh my God, on fucking power. And them shits dropped down to her knees and they had I know, yeah, and all this yeah, other yeah. shit. And that it was like, nigga, they drop girl, down and get to you your long girl. Look, Nick, bro, niggas were mad, bro. We yeah. we literally shamed fucking Lala into getting fucking a titty job, bro. Sure did. Titty, like, there's no motherfucker, sure there's no way. And then she had to get, she had to do a second titty scene to show that she got the titty <laughs> show that she got them done. Yeah, to show that she had them done. Bitch, don't know how dare you. But, but back to this nigga for briefly. Homeboy had to get with an industry hoe just to keep the gay rumors off him. Yeah. You know how fucked up that is? He had to get with a freaking mercenary. He had to get... He got, a mercenary, <laughs> yo. He's a mercenary. You know what I'm saying? He the went hoe for hire. He to keep the, to keep the gay Future rumors off him. He didn't. And that, that alone should let you know that hoes ain't fucking with you when you got gay rumors on your body. Yeah, that's that shit the right there, bro. Don't have gay rumors on them like that. And, and this is, and that's what I'm. That's why I be talking about. That's why, I, like, it's like niggas just need to be careful what they believe in. Is is all I'm saying. Like, you know, I get it. You 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 want a successful nigga to be recognized for it and maybe you want to emulate that success you're right he's not a baby mama maker and all that other shit but at the same time just careful <laughs> be careful you know because because that's when you fall into the naive nigga trap you know because you you think that's what bitches like and that that ain't that ain't how it's going look at the clues they didn't pick up the blues clues everybody fucking would do like that you know <laughs> So sorry, that, that, and, that's, yeah. and that's why. But that's why, and that's why I'm sick and tired of niggas saying, "Just be better, just be better." You know, go get out, go out here, get your get your money, get your body together, get this, get that, and the holes will come. If you build it, they will come. No, nigga, they yeah. won't. No, no. And and a lot of it has to do with again, like you said, the nigga archetype. Try to SKC the nigga juice, bro. You nigga, if you ain't got that hood fucking shit on, you nigga, you know, hey, it's gonna it's gonna be a little little tougher road. Well, it's definitely just, you know, nigga. if you're not the the jock nigga, the fucking you know the the extremely extremely handsome nigga, if you fall in anything outside of that, bro, like I said, bro, it's just like you know you have to to, to work to be seen or whatever. And it's just like, you know, bro, niggas, niggas is, is understanding this shit and not giving a fuck. That's why I don't think a lot of this shit to where men are getting the credit for niggas being like, well, fuck it, bitch. Hey, it is what it is. It's what you get, what you get. I'm not finna go out here and do all this extra shit just for you to fucking, you know what I mean, to get the leftovers of another nigga and, you know, he done nut, nutted in you, gave your kid and you're fucking 300 pounds and all this other shit. Like, nah, bitch, hey. Nah, fuck out of here. I'm not finna do all this shit for you. Not saying that that should be the motivation. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you should be doing shit off the strength of bitches. But in reality, like you said, from a society we're built and motherfucking made for bitches. Okay. All the life. <laughs> the, the, the future is Boyce Watkins. That, that's what yeah. we all want. Oh, come on. Yo. 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 That is how, how you're going to have Yo. a happy situation. You better get, get your ass into a friend zone situation and wait 30 years after all the piping is done. Nigga, I'll build, I'll build my own Android first, nigga. The fuck out of here. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't do that. You gotta, you gotta get in the friend zone. Fantastic, fantastic. With some content, yo, watch his wedding. Yo, yo, fantastic. Watch Watch the wedding. We watch Watch the the wedding. wedding. The wedding is online. His wedding, his wedding was on Facebook, dog. Willie Bro. D did a speech at his wedding. It was like he sunned him at his own wedding, like the body language. And his was bitch crazy. was going too. <laughs> well, no, we we covered that. We covered that in the. I, I covered that because just off the steel picture when like the oh, wife was, is looking yo, at that, Willie D like. If you see the video, nigga, I'm still hurting from last night type shit. 
No, nah, I never saw the speech. Yeah. I'm a, I'll look this shit up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit was hilarious and awesome. But yeah, that's it the was future, Luke man. Kinda, kinda, what for a country-ass, goofy-ass nigga like fucking... I, ain't no way, bro. Nigga, we would have been scrapping, nigga. Willie D? Yeah. Fuck out of here. W- Willie D got one of the greatest songs ever made, Ball Head Hoes. So I understand the appeal, you know? Mm. <laughs> I can't tell if you a boy or girl. <laughs> I can't tell because the shit on your sides are gone. You remind me of that monkey looking fish dress joke. Fucked up is how you look at Willie D. I just gotta have a bitch that has more hair than me. So... <laughs> Damn. And that ain't hard. Some try to cover up by weaving it through. You ain't fooling nobody. We know you bald headed too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> And what's so crazy is, bro, this nigga is like the fucking black bitch motherfucking advocate now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to swing back around. Oh, man, you you, like, bro, nigga, you don't, nigga, nigga, do you know those fucking, the nigga, cassette tapes out here somewhere, nigga? You got cassette tapes shitting on bitches. Not CDs, nigga. You on cassette, bro. When you get to that age where you know that you're not going to be out here like that, you have to settle into a mode where where you you just you're you're, you're more flexible than you used to be if you understand where I'm going you're, you're more malleable than you used to be you're more open to different types of situations if you understand what I'm saying you're more man fuck that listen man the boys <laughs> before the boys rock walk his route go nigga I'll turn into the fucking the the man version of fucking Christian Cares and nigga. Fuck all these go after all the white bitches and Mexican bitches you can, nigga. Fuck out of here. No, I I, I refuse that shit, nigga. I rebuke that shit. Hey, Dirty, I mean like that nigga, that is the worst. Like boy the, and the, boy. It seem it's seeming more and more like that because like I said, this the stream I did is called social circles, and that's what most people that's how a lot of people meet. Through social circles and even now with the online shit people meet through social circles but what happens is a lot of people most of the niggas on the bottom of the, of the friendship hierarchy the niggas who are basically orbiters they end up these are the niggas that have friends as girls for the most part and then they wait they wait they play the waiting game yeah they wait like boys watkins was a waiting game and, and sure they might and sure they might get he some waited pussy for 20 every, years or more and, sh- and sure they might fuck some of the friends at different times but they wait i used to like skittles they wait starburst like i said social circles ain't even designed for, for, for social circles are really designed for women to pick the best man out of whatever group because the social circle is always it always has a hierarchy. Men always get into a hierarchy. And the top niggas is usually one or two. Top niggas can fuck any bitch in the social circle at will. Whenever. Doesn't matter when. And they fuck them bitches like handshakes. And they just cool. But your orbiting ass, watching movies together, cooking <laughs> together, going to the park. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah, Taking hey man, yeah. Can we say this? Listen, man. Hey, my nigga, don't be out here being thirty <laughs> plus with pussyless activity, nigga. Fuck out of here. Listen, bro, bro. Listen, bro. <laughs> all this interpersonal shit, y'all niggas, y'all, y'all, y'all just uh, listen, dog. Listen, I, oh, zero, I know. No thirty. You can, you, you can, you can live without pussy, nigga. But your life's gonna be a lot more miserable without it. You're not gonna die without pussy, nigga. But you're not gonna be a lot happy. Listen, you oh. niggas out here. Yeah, you niggas out here spending time and money, and money is time, and all this other shit. What the fuck, bro? And this bitch, bro, this bitch is playing with you, dog. Stop it. Get some help, my nigga. No, no. I, 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 so. I agree yeah. with that position where you're saying like if you <laughs> if you spend time with, with that warm relationship activity, then you should get some uh, you should get one aspect of the relationship activity out of that because you you're giving her all the other relationship activity. You might be the nigga she turned to to, to brainstorm. You know? Oh you hell get, no! I'm just saying like niggas is. All of this friend shit. And, and, nigga, and most of these player-ass niggas who would game will always be like, yeah, man, you niggas don't know how to be friends with women. I know. Whatever, nigga, whatever. 
for, but for the most part, you're doing relationship activity with a bitch you're not a relationship in. And the reason why is because she's using you. And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. If you're okay with that, I get it. But you're, pro- you, you're better off staying outside of the friend zone. You really are. So you you should, you should, you should shoot your shot all the fucking time trying to get the, you should, if you are a friend, you need to let her know that you, that you are a fucking friend in need. Yeah. You have yeah, needs yeah. that only a friend can help her, can help you with. Yeah. With you know? a vagina. Yeah. Yes. With a vagina. Yeah. You, you, and it doesn't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be a big deal. And to be honest with you, some of you niggas can go ham. You can remind her of the fact that she fucks the alpha niggas. The alpha niggas in the group. You, you know the niggas she fucks in the friend crazy. circle. You already know the niggas she fuck in the friend circle. You already know the niggas at the top of the hierarchy. But you you already know who they are. Stop playing with yourself and pause and just, <laughs> just let her know that, look, yeah. we don't have to end our friend zone situation. Just help a nigga out sometimes. I'll fix your fucking car. Help a nigga out sometimes. Listen, man. Like when I'll I come first pick got... you up from the bar. Help a nigga out sometimes. Hold on. When I first got back out here, here bro. You don't hear first got back out here, right? The first bitch I dealt with was on some, you know, I forget how I ran into her or whatever. Um, but you know, start dealing with her and shit. And then she started trying to be on like some Steve Harvey type shit. Like, you know, well, you know. What? Yeah, yeah, bro. The bitch tried the first, bro. First bitch I get back out here with, bro, try to hit me like, well, you know, I'm, I don't really believe in sex, and sex is a big deal, and you know, I just know a person, <laughs> so you know, cut, yo, cut that bitch, bro. When I tell you, I cut that bitch off, nigga, like a motherfucking samurai warrior, nigga, cut her off, and she was offended, and I was like, hold on, Shadi, how old are you again? Yeah, we we both in our fucking like mid to late thirties. You mean to tell? And you got a child. You have a child. You think I'm finna fucking do this shit out of the kindness of my heart? Like, bro, I had to be. I had to literally, bro. Sometimes, bro, bro, you, bro, do not let a bitch, dis, di, bro, downright disrespect you, my nigga. Right. You better than that. You too good. For that shit. And like Zero said, I, you, bro, a lot of these times, bro, if you let. Bro, that you know what zero? You can turn from the beta nigga to the alpha nigga just by telling her, bitch, who do you think you playing with? You don't try me like this. Like, so I, don't, I don't think I don't, I don't think you can that. graduate the alpha status by doing that, but I do think that you can change the situation that you in. You might like Bro. I'll put it this way. And no, I'm not telling niggas to crash out. Somebody said, yeah, yeah, Mule, I'm not telling like look. This is what I'm saying about niggas being able to negotiate and speak their fucking mind. This is not a crash out. If you let your friend zone ass friend know that you that you got friendship. And, and again, you can just put it in terms of like, look, I'm not saying I'm not going to be your friend. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying a nigga got just friend. Let a nigga hit. Let, let, you, like, you gave what, him what, some. Can I get some? Yeah, just just tell a bitch. What am I fucking change? you off real like, what, what, like, like, so it happens real quick. What, what, what changes yeah. tomorrow? What changes tomorrow? You gonna hate me tomorrow? Cause I ain't gonna hate you tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good ass conversation. Like, I'm not trying to follow. You. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna suddenly start Stand acting like a puppy dog, cheeks. following you around, sniffing your drawers and shit. Just help a nigga out sometimes. That's all. <laughs> You you go to the bar every week with your guys. You niggas have me come pick y'all up at two a.m. so you don't get raped by an Uber driver. That's cool. Help a nigga out sometimes. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's crazy. I Help a nigga out sometimes. Too. That's that's wild, bro. When that exactly. shit is like that, you you, you didn't you didn't want to pay for the fucking plumber to come fix the toilet, but I already know how to do that shit because I've been doing it for a long time. Hey, I'm helping you take a shit. Help a nigga out sometimes. <laughs> That's all. Like again, Every, it ain't gotta mean poops. shit. All you doing, I come over, I'm like, yo, I fixed that toilet. That shit cool, cool, cool. What you doing? Shit. Yo, can a nigga before I leave? All right, yeah. Do you knock it out? It ain't gotta be a big deal. Yeah, man. I, Transaction you know, you know, now. I, I, somebody I, said, of, well, bro, hold, hold on, fantastic. Strange, somebody yeah. said, hold on, so, let me see. Somebody said you might as well pair. Nigga. If you're doing all this shit anyway, hey, that is you crazy. are paying her. You're already paying her, dumbass yeah. nigga. 
You already I, paying he, her. He ain't known for that. I, I get where you're coming from. But you already what, what, paying her. Bro, nigga, do you, it's, bro, it's $100 just to have somebody come and tell you what's wrong. <laughs> it's, all I'm saying is, that's your all you gotta, like, working, it, your lights don't come on, and you can't figure that shit out yourself, nigga. It's a hundred dollars just to have somebody come to you and say, Oh, it's this nigga. I promise y'all, this is not this is not a crash out. If you niggas are really friends with the bitches y'all say y'all friends with, this is not a crash out. It's not you because if y'all actually I'm, friends, she will understand where you're coming from, and all you gotta say is just help a nigga out sometimes. You know, I don't know from what I'm seeing in the chat. From, the like, <laughs> from what I'm seeing in the chat from Mule, Frank, uh, New, it seems like they don't believe in the transactional nature of you transact in any this fucking way dynamic. It's like, I mean, you're not trolling with the help in the gal sometime, uh, uh, zero, are you? No, no, I'm not. I'm not trolling. I'm, you know? I'm being straight up honest. Like, listen, if the chicks that you if, if the yeah. chicks that you hanging around are actually your friends, and y'all and, and I, I didn't seen this before where people have people have better conversations with the chicks that they friends with than they have with the people that they interested in. They talk about real shit. Like when like when a chick is getting shitted on by one of the one of the alpha niggas and she come talk to you about it, and you tell her straight up, well, this is the type of nigga you're dealing with. Well, if you like them that much, you're gonna have to do it. And, and bitch, will listen to you. She'll listen to you because you're the friend, nigga. You ain't gonna steer wrong. <laughs> At the same time, hilarious. You can if because she's your fucking friend. Listen, a nigga do have needs. Like I ain't trying to change our relationship. I'm not. And if you really think I'm that weak of a motherfucker that I'm gonna start puppy dogging around you after I fuck, then we probably we might as well not be friends. All I'm saying is help a nigga out sometimes. It's a fucking <laughs> handshake. I know your fucking schedule. Most of the time, you sit in the crib in your pajamas watching fucking movies. You don't do shit. Yo, smooth. I ain't doing me? shit either. Help a no. nigga out sometimes. It's hilarious, yo. What's hilarious? This, that ass. This. <laughs> Wait, I said, hey, said, said, I, I, would, I would say, hey, help me help hold you, on, bitch. Hold on, you said I'm the only I'm one that, 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 uh, <laughs> that call it all tricky. I, I get it, man. Niggas, no niggas, I niggas do. Think, I do. I, I understand this that, that a do. lot of people with, with friends that are girls think that just broaching the conversation <laughs> Use is gonna me. fuck everything up. Like they, they think they think the bitch just gonna stop talking to him. Oh my god, he came at me. He, he shot his shot. I can't fuck with him no more. That's bullshit. If you actually have friends that, that are that are that <laughs> are women in your fucking friend circle. How That's the conversation, nigga. Them. You talk about everything else. You talk about everything else. You talk about the nigga's dick she fucking, but you can't ask the bitch to help you out sometimes? Man, get the fuck out of here. I wish I would be in a friend zone ass relationship and I ask the bitch to help a nigga out sometimes and she say no. I'd be like, well, okay, well then, hey, I understand. Uh, well, I need to try and find someone that'll help me out sometimes. Damn, fast in his life. Maybe, oh maybe, maybe I'll maybe I'll talk to you know, maybe I'll go talk maybe to Nikki about Bongo. this shit instead of you. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell Nikki your business. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go kick it with her. Yeah, she seems like she'll don't be mad if she's she, she thinks I, if, she if, seems if like I start she might be willing her, to help a nigga her out lights sometime. and not yours. <laughs> Who knows? You might be able to fuck all the bitches in your friend circle. You know, you gotta, you gotta be able to have that conversation. I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, or at least play wingman, bitch. Something, goddamn. That's why goddamn when I hear these gamed up ass niggas on panels talking about how smooth they is with bitches, and I guarantee you ain't none of them had that conversation with a bitch. You know, <laughs> man, you can't have sex with every woman that you know. You right, nigga. I've been you, doing all the same work. You, you, you like you struggle with bitches, and then you try to talk to her about it, and she like, yeah, I'm struggling with this other. The bitch ain't trying to hear your problems, but you hear her problems. If she help you yeah. out sometimes, y'all can pillow talk about both of y'all relationships. Y'all can improve yeah, each yeah. other's lives. Looking at. Hey, man, take it back to the Next. 70s, baby. I'll be the ass, best friend ass, you ever had, grass, bitch. Baby. 
Ash, you cash, or grass, goddamn. I'm not, this is not a one way motherfucking situation relationship where all you get all the benefits, bitch. No, I need some type of motherfucking kickbacks, motherfucker. Something. Niggas be talking about all this fucking game they got, all this, all this, all this bullshit. And I be hearing these niggas talk about they, they sit, you know, I, and then if you ask, oh, so them, wait, wait. So I don't, I, y'all, I don't, my, my, I, since I got back, man, my fucking YouTube, like, Shit is shrunk a lot. So game niggas still alive? Game niggas yes. still going? Fresh yes. Fit, man. Okay, so I don't know. Fresh and fitter. I had no idea. What are you talking about? I, bro, I, I, I literally do not. Nigga, not you know, talk man. to game niggas every day. Who? You. Who? 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 Who's the game nigga I talk to? <laughs> nigga, we've been playing our games. We'll never know. One, two, three. Yeah, no, I, I, I no, like you don't talk to game niggas every day. What game niggas do I talk to, Zero? Fantastic. How many licks to get to? You know you, you, you're right. You're right. I'm not for, <sighs> That's game. I, I, I actually want you to blow up. Yo, fantastic. I'm not for the shit on your friends. You, I'm not you need to tell me that black saying. Jesus, you do, that you black do Jesus game, fucking everybody. Hebrew Israelite slash neurosurgeon nigga is you, not you a do, You do talk to game niggas every day. But I'm saying, I, I get it. I'm not I'm not trying to shit on the niggas, especially uh, DJ, because he, he, he actually, well, I like the way you run his panel. But... Oh yeah. shit, well, they you, you talk to game niggas. Every day. I'm not saying you agree with these niggas and nothing like that, but you, yes, you talk to game niggas. <laughs> oh god, I don't, I don't look at the niggas. As game no, fantastic, niggas. fantastic, yeah, black Jesus yeah. nigga, the neurosurgeon. Remember the neurosurgeon? Yeah. Who, the neurosurgeon? Who? On, on Hamps, on Hamps thing, the one that be wearing like weird ass uh, fucking Arab scarves around his head and shit. Oh, yeah, come on, bro. Oh, that's yeah. See, I don't even count. That. That's what I'm saying, but listen, neuroscience. that's what I'm saying, right? So I can't, yeah, neuroscience, nigga. Listen, I can't, I can't count niggas that. Uh, that hold on now, now hold on now. Go, this same nigga, this same nigga admitted that his baby mama was five two two seventy or some crazy. Nigga, shit. what? Whoa! Damn, you heard me, nigga. Whoa. This Whoa. nigga, this nigga yeah. went on. This nigga Boy, went on. Mr. Palmer. No, nigga, pounds. Uh, 250, 250, 270, some shit like that. 250, 270. We'll say 250, right? Only a light skin and had it. This <laughs> nigga was on. This nigga was on Mr. Palmer's, I guess, like early on when he started out or whatever, telling the story oh. about this shit. This is the same nigga that says he's also attractive. He get all the baddest bitches and la la la. Even though this nigga has See, nobody, that's a good nigga. In, that's a game nigga. And whatever. But that's but I don't again smooth. So can't is he a game nigga for real or is he a game nigga in his head? Both. It's the same thing. It's, it's all it's game. The same thing. Game it's in your just, head. Remember, it, it starts in your mind. Of, Ain't that yeah, they, they, they just got the rhetoric of being like this. All right, I got you. I got you. So, of being so, the type of guy that knows women and knows how to maneuver. Yeah, so my bad. And, you're right. So you, no, you, so you're right. Because it, just but you know what? Though, I, I, talk I, I, I discount the kind of voice. I discount the the slow niggas. Cause then you got the other nigga. You got the fucking the the fucking <laughs> Dollar Tree Marshawn Lynch nigga to do the same <laughs> shit, right? The nigga Who's that, that? get Wait. nothing but funky pussy. That nigga. <laughs> whoa, 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 the J Prince nigga. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I, say, I like I, if you look at it like that. You get the operates from a sense of urgency. Yeah, man. Yo. I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I guess y'all right, man. Yo, Patrick, but, listen. So one day y'all was on the panel, right? In the in the old in the old Chicago gangbang nigga, right? He was he was uh y'all was having a car, I forget what the conversation was, but it was this young ass nigga that was on, on the panel with y'all, and he was like disrespecting the living shit out of this dude without like he was like kind of not talking to him but talking to him he was like hold on see what y'all gotta understand is that when we we, we gotta understand that we talking to a nigga that don't know what it feels like to get to the bag so we gotta adjust the conversation <laughs> <laughs> and he say he said jay prince i don't mean to disrespect you i don't mean to disrespect you but you see niggas like jay prince they operate from a sense of urgency so their mind isn't really there on building i'm like yo Slow slow niggas and hoes, man. Niggas niggas make the most excuses for slow niggas and hoes. <laughs> Yo, he was disrespecting oh. the fuck out of dude and then telling him that he wasn't disrespecting him. Yeah, exactly. 
I don't mean to disrespect. No, no, no disrespect, J Prince. I'm just saying. I didn't mean to disrespect you, brother. Brother. I don't mean to disrespect you, brother. But you see, <laughs> when you're operating from a sense of urgency, you know, your so mind. You, so you will never know what it feels like. like. You know, to be and they say, say, hey, if you can't keep talking to niggas that don't get to the bag. <laughs> Yo, yo, he shit on J Prince so much, yo, J Prince. That, so I say, nigga I had two hot dog trucks and I had good businesses, <laughs> and they was making me a lot of money. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, no, that smooth, cat will be smooth. cracking, yo. That no, shit no, no, funny. smooth, smooth, smooth. No, no, no. See, and this is what this is what y'all niggas let the nigga hit you with the fucking snake or. The nigga didn't say it was making me a lot of money. He always projects what I could. I could make, you know, I could make, uh, you know, $10,000 a day. I could. I could. <laughs> nigga nigga, lying what, to that, that nigga's in, uh, where the fuck George Floyd got choked out at? Where that nigga at? In Minnesota? Yeah, He's nigga in Minnesota? in Minnesota some shit, nigga. Ain't no motherfucking. I I there's no. Hold on, man. Don't put that nigga nah, over he here. Nah, he in your neck of the woods, my nigga. Damn. Nah, nah, the fuck out of here. Don't put that nigga over you here. You got to hold Jay that Prince? L, damn. That's a Chicago nigga, ain't it? No, nigga. That is a Minnesota nigga, nigga. Hell no, nigga. a Minnesota born and bred. Damn. No, no, no. I, I, I do not accept this. Damn. Claim that There's a Minnesota. No wonder why. Nigga, I thought I was like, I thought, I was like claim oh, that nigga. You said Chicago is a whole other nigga. I do not that's accept. That's a Minnesota this. nigga, bro. I do not accept that's this That's a nigga, Minnesota no. J no. Prince. No, you know, no, 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 Damn zero damn double Yo, double whammy. Order, so we double got whammy. so in order for niggas to qualify CEO lemonade stand. Okay, fuck it, man. I, I quit. Damn. Okay. Yep. I yeah, quit. man. That's that's your people, man. Hey, I hey. Quit. You know what? You know now zero. You know My what? You can bring this full circle. Zero. Zero. You, need find, you, need find this, you need to find. You need to find this. You need to find this grown ass man, and you need to mentor him. Zero. Mentor this mentor him. Mentor this grown ass man into being no, successful. The fuck I don't. Just like, just like we need to mentor these <laughs> badass little bastard ass kids that ain't ours, nigga. Do hey, do your part. <laughs> fix, fix, fix the black community, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Create, create a, create a football I am all program. All effering good, good. Create a yeah, football man, but that, that's, that's, that's what I said. I was like, bro, I, bro, and I, and I, y'all, bro, I really yeah, don't you. be, you know, I try to keep shit, but, bro, niggas keep coming at you, and it's like, fam, what are we doing? Like, bro, stop it, dog. It's just like, you know, like, bro, it, it's certain, <laughs> like, zero to high. It's like, like, the nick, the nigga that can, the nigga that can hoop can talk shit. Like me, and you can go back and forth. We can, we can go back and forth. But the trash ass nigga, the nigga that's got the fresh, like, he literally just walked out of fucking champs. Or a Foot Locker with the full Jordan sex, sex everything <laughs> matching, headbands oh, and wristbands and all. Like nigga, if you don't shit your lame ass up and shut the fuck up talking to me, bro, get out of here. Don't you, don't you speak to me, nigga. That's that's what I feel Damn. like when that nigga's trying to talk to me, bro. Like stop. Damn. Yeah, fuck that, man. I, I would never, ever, ever mentor. The hell no. This is a grown ass man with a lemonade stand. Yeah, the hot the glizzies, man. The glizzies, man. I'm selling. Yeah, I'm selling yeah, you were hot selling dogs. glizzies. Yeah, yeah, man. I could, Damn, I said I lemonade could, stand. I could make a ten thousand dollars every time. Bring them out. Bring them out. So I, <laughs> I could. Yeah, dumbass so nigga. Damn. And y'all know I said all this shit to this fuck nigga face too. So don't act like it ain't nothing. I ain't already said to this nigga. Y'all know how I get down. <laughs> Lame smooth. ass nigga. Yo, glizzies. It's hard to yell. <laughs> it's hard to yell with the barrel in your mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bring him out! Bring him out! Bring him out! Bring him out. <laughs> Glizzy. <laughs> that was just my thing, man. You know, it was like, come on, dog. Wait, what are you doing? Damn. Yeah. Nah, man. It's 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 over out here, man. I see how them niggas on Hampy fucking 
the 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 saliva be all over the screen, yo. When when fucking what's that girl, Lauren Mac Mac Lauren? Or that something be up there, here. yo. You know what I'm saying? She only show like everything from the neck up. You know what I'm saying? Because once you start seeing them shoulders, it be filling up the camera shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you think she be looking crazy. I'm like, yo, okay, I see, I see what it is. But she has a very beautiful face. No, but damn, dog, really fuck, face. man. That nigga can't be from here, man. Yeah, hey, man, loud and proud, man, loud and proud, bro. He, hey, he flying all the stanky pussy bitches out. That's that's why y'all. That's, <laughs> hey, blame him. Yo, that's blame the nigga him, man. That you go to the store. The... You go to the store and all the Masson Gill sold out, my nigga. You know why? Yeah. Yo, Damn. yo did you see that screenshot? I think I think it was some kind of screenshot floating around where he DM'd uh, this chick called Robbie, and he said, "Yeah, turns me on, Robbie." And he really wrote "turns" with an S. But I told you, bro. It listen, turns me on, Robbie. Smooth, he smooth. Do you know, smooth? Do you know how this this nigga is a non-slave nigga talking like a slave? Milwaukee wasn't even a slave state. How, nigga? How's how was a, tw- a nigga idea. in twenty twenty four that's not even from slavery <laughs> slavery areas using all this slave diction? Yeah, I don't know how he got that. Like that was that. <laughs> And y'all niggas know, I, bro. I would, yo, can, now imagine, nigga, you've been locked up on a naval vessel. Immigrants in Milwaukee. A naval vessel for a year. You come back, <laughs> and niggas is throwing this nigga in your face, and you've been doing this shit. You know what I mean? And you like, bro, oh. y'all got y'all play on me, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all, this is like. Like Ashton Kutcher is on YouTube, and this like y'all. I'm the first victim, right? Like, you know, one of these days, oh, we got you, fantastic. No, man, niggas was throwing this nigga. Like, oh yeah, man, he's he's better than you, and he's this and he's that. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? So wow. and this nigga so dumb, he bought into it. So this nigga made me like his arch nemesis. This nigga made what? me his rival. Wow, I don't know you fight. Are you serious? Round one. Dead ass. All right. Look, you know what's crazy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get off these niggas. I, I, I um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Zero. I, I had, I'm I had sorry, my, man. I had I'm my sorry. say about that shit when I came back. Cause, um, I was, cause I heard a panel y'all did where everybody was on this tough guy shit. So I'm, but I'm going to leave that shit alone. I already talked about that. Um, I, tr- I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm staying. Away. What did Roger do? Because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to be a, a bit less incendiary. That's why nah, I don't you remember that's why, why, that's why I, stayed, last I nigga? stayed away. That's why I stayed away from that raw B shit. I stayed away from all these fucking manosphere affairs because one of the things that we used to talk we used to talk about this a long time ago. Shout out ago, to my nigga Antio. We were, we're, we're, we're talking about how man. these niggas be fucking in the back chat. You get your channel up. You get your channel up and popping. And then you start fucking with these with these YouTube hoes. The problem is, these YouTube hoes they record everything. They just like y'all. Well, they got fifty terabyte hard drives with with every fucking piece of data ever made on them bitches. Also new, not even on this. this Tip for Tuesday should have been some manosphere shit. We should have talked about the shit that's happening in the space because. One of the things I suspected was I suspected that niggas was check niggas. <laughs> Tire gate. Suspected that, found out that that was true. I suspected that the reason people were getting docs because it was a lot of niggas that worked for the government risking their jobs to expose people's information. Found yeah. out that was true. <laughs> what? Found out that found out the niggas in the back chat fucking each other. Found out that that was true. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, niggas, not not niggas. Well, you mean people? <laughs> okay, okay. I was like, whoa, 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 Damn, yeah, man, left me with a wit ass, man. If she was crazy, then the motherfucker, man. I could get up in the bitch, 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 back down with the script. The nerdy bitch, man. She had me in a wrestling move. She, 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 she spun a nigga around, man. 
<laughs> that is a wild ass story, yo. Bro, yeah. proudly, proudly that's, the fact bro, they like, feel comfortable yeah. telling it is it, it bro, beats me. Not like, oh. bro, I talk like, bro, but that's what I, bro. It, it was just nigga. I, I was like, man, Lord, thank you for this deployment. <laughs> Nigga, that was to see a, 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 a grown, <laughs> that grown, nigga, grown, grown, grown nigga. Wow, a grown, grown nigga hop on like and and probably tell this story and and, and, and hey, let's not talk about the what, I don't even what was it, what was what was that nigga going by the um the dom, oh the dom dom game society or dom the, 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 the dom game the fuck did you get domed? The Dom Game Society. You got in the you niggas got was dumb, cheering dumb. in the chat, nigga. Nigga, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Dom Game. Yo. She, put, she, put, she put the Dom on your ass. Yeah. I, 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 like, bro, I, I never miss, man. I, that that yeah. shit right there was like. <laughs> it's been getting so suspect around this motherfucker. Where um, hey, yo, niggas had, is wilding in the chat, yo. Well, you you had the you you had the um the saucy lawyer nigga telling the story yo. about telling the story about how he met a white dude and went home with Listen. him. Now, while he was telling the story, oh, not one time did he say that he was there to f- he he told the story in a straightforward way where he met the white dude. Decided to go home with the white dude, went into the white dude's house at the request of the white dude. There was no bitch mentioned at all. They get up to the bedroom with the white dude. Okay. What the yeah. fuck? Who the hell is this? They get into the <laughs> bedroom. Tila. And then Tila. only then is the wife sitting on the bed. And this nigga, his first reaction is, what's this? I thought, like, like, as in What's some, going on I thought here? it was just going to be me and you, head ass. You're like, no. Yeah. Wait, and, where did I miss this? Nigga. Where is that? <laughs> nigga. Yo, you <laughs> surprised with his voice? <laughs> listen, look, bro. Listen, nigga, I'm, bro. When like, I yo, tell y'all, nigga, I was literally I in limbo, yo. in a vacuum. It was so much shit. Y'all, nigga, <laughs> nigga I came back, y'all told me, y'all told, nigga, y'all told me Obsidian was gay. Nigga, and I was like, yeah. nigga, I was like, Mr. Mr. Krabs meme. I was like, what? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sitting there saying, don't do business with niggas that have trash dick. Pause. So, it, yeah, I just you said, know what pause. I mean? there was a whole bunch so, of shit that happened you. while I was gone, man. You know what I mean? So, it was just like, nigga, I was lost. No, the Tila thing was, 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 was no, you no, no, already out. This was like recent. a few months ago. That's yeah, recent. Recent. What the fuck? Yeah, I definitely didn't see that. Yes. Yeah, so I'm yeah. guessing this is like a this is like a a man a Mandingo story thing. It was like you know, hey, nigga, fuck my wife. It did not shit. start off. It, okay, listen. It did not start off that he, way. He, he was, so this nigga was like, I met the white dude. No, no bitch was mentioned. I went home with the white dude. Mute somebody oh, zero. Was, somebody got yeah, down. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. Didn't somebody make it. moving, nigga. I went into the bedroom with the white dude. No bitch was mentioned. Oh, wow. This is wild. Then when they get to the bedroom. No, no, no. Zero, zero. He said he said he he met him at his house. He met him at his house. He met him at his house. Dude opened the door and he walked in. He walked. Mm -hmm. No mention of a bitch until he he follows the white dude to his bedroom. Upstairs. They go Mm -hmm. upstairs. Okay, now there's a bitch sitting on the bed, and his reaction is, "Who's this?" Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be me and you here. That, like, oh, God. yeah, yeah. Atlanta no, yeah, niggas this, never this, gonna this beat these wife. charges, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Atlanta niggas never gonna beat these charges, man. Atlanta. That ain't so TLA. They never go, nigga. Beat hey, charges. he's the one told the story. Okay, his audience. You know, I'm not even gonna say dick riders because oh, I have to say pause. They his audience listens to the story and they don't see a problem with it at all. Because at the end he cleans it up and says, he's, all of a sudden the white dude goes, Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna fuck your wife. Yeah. And then and he the puts the whole down the Marco thing. It was like it was crazy inconsistent. So this <laughs> nigga told you to come to his crib, led you to the bedroom. Mm-hmm. But then he tells you 
his wife is on the bed, so obviously now, now you, you you gotta fuck her. And then you and then when you go to do it, he goes, "What are you doing?" Yeah, it's like nigga. That that story should have been locked away in in yeah, a, yeah, in a it, fucking you even told that. chest. You know, you know what? And it's zero. That's all. So that's what. How did niggas? Because TLA older than us. TLA like TLA like <laughs> mid 40, 45. Like How that. did niggas lose the art of taking that shit to the grave, my nigga? <laughs> nigga some shit y'all, y'all we don't do niggas. that no more. As transparent as I am, I nigga, because of all that money we would never ever here. We don't do, we don't do that no more. We don't do that never no more. Here. Why the fuck would we take it to the grave? We don't do that no more. Why take it to the grave when you can fuck tell that. people and get it off your chest, so to speak? Nah, fuck that shit, nigga. It's it's some shit that nigga, my 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 kids, my kids and nobody. The only the only thing people that know is me and God. Shout out to the hey God niggas. <laughs> look at, listen, look at um like when I found that shit out about uh I was watching some recent shit. Uh 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 damn, what's his name? Rude. Bro, this nigga has the most traumatic childhood ever. Like, get off the platform. Oh, that weirdo ass nigga. Another weirdo. I told y'all. I, like, it, gets I, again, to never where, it, it gets to a point where I can't make fun of niggas no more because it's more it's it's more sad than it is funny. I only yeah, make fun of people. Really I only I, I try to make fun of people who can handle themselves, who who knows. Like this, this shit can because when niggas talk shit about me, I don't care. It, it bounces off of me. If, we, if we're gonna roast, we can roast. We can do back and forth shit. But there'll never be a situation where I I put the link to that T video in the where chat, where everyone. Or I can be mentally where I'm mentally off balance. So if somebody comes at me, that's fine because I'm not mentally off balance. It's okay. It's not a big deal. But I don't want to go at niggas who are mentally unbalanced. So that's why when I heard about that shit, I was like, okay, now I understand this nigga has a crazy traumatic childhood, sexual abuse and all that shit. But at the same time, I'm like, get off the platform, my nigga. Ah, man, like you said, then like you said, bro, that's these motherfuckers literally live through this shit, man. This this is like where they're cool at. This is where they have command and, and, you know, some type of leverage, power, clout. Popularity, all this shit, you know, you know, couple that with the niggas, the niggas 13th grade um disease. And bro, YouTube is the, the place of dreams and wonders, my nigga. And yo, you know what I'm saying? They just said it in the chat. What's up with Ru- Rude M, yo? He really had that that case, like and nothing happens. Like Listen, what, what well no, he was a kid. It, of course, it happened yeah, when he was yeah. a kid. He was, he was, he was a kid. So listen, you know. I don't think these niggas can take fame. Like, if one of these niggas got rich off of YouTube, dog, we're gonna see the most epic crash out ever. Yeah, yeah. ever. Facts. I mean, ever. I really believe that. Like, no, I don't think niggas is built for fame like that. Niggas, niggas, niggas gonna fuck somebody from this motherfucker. One of these mentally disturbed ass niggas is gonna come up. They're gonna start. Look at what's happening with the full gazy nigga. Yo, ever he got popular, he can't handle the fame. Niggas started wearing indoor sunglasses and getting twisties. Yeah. You know, it, it wearing outfits, trying to try, try to talk holes just into tr- trying to life. SB he owes and be a, a player ass nigga at the same time. Yeah, like niggas oh, yeah. can't hey, handle just... niggas can't handle fame. Hey, so I, I was looking for that. He said somebody did somebody get arrested on his shit. Oh shit! I think he kicked somebody off. He kicked some chicks. He said so. He had a thing saying it was a premiere, so I couldn't see it. I, and I guess it just didn't get to the point. But he said police mm-hmm. call on some some bitch or whatever or, or unruly three hundred four or some crazy shit like that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah. So he not okay. So this nigga is not built to deal with Keisha. See, this is what I be saying about these <laughs> player ass. This is what I be saying about these player ass niggas that think they players. He not equipped to deal with Keisha. Nah. You know, nigga Ke- Keisha started around Ke- like a rag. Keisha started Keisha out on this motherfucking panel, and he didn't know what to do. He trying to kick the bitch out, and he can't kick her out because she like nigga, hey, you ain't finna do shit. I beat your ass. Like she, she, she going ham on this nigga, crashing oh, out wow. on the show, and he can't do nothing oh, with it because these niggas is not equipped to deal with Keisha. You gotta be the type of nigga if you gonna have Keisha's on your show, and you t- and you trying to make everybody think you this real ass nigga. If you really that type of nigga, you got Keisha's on your show. 
you really gonna have to be willing to grip a bitch up like that. Oh, no, 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 not well, not you. But again, that's why you gotta have them, 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 them. No, no, no. Bull daggers you on, on standby. No, no, you. Your reality you said he tried to, to smash. Up, apparently, or or if you really that nigga, you gotta have some cousins on deck. That's what I'm saying. The burly bull daggers. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have women that are capable <laughs> of beating the bitch down, like yeah. on camera. And that way yeah. you don't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they were just, you know, guests on the panel too. I don't know why they they <laughs> called this poor woman. I have no idea. So basically, this nigga got fresh and fitted. Because remember, who was the hood bitch that went on fresh and fit with the hood niggas in the background? Had Myron going back and forth talking about I would have pulled this and this and all that. I would have shot you niggas. And you know, uh, he, he was talking about um castle doctrine and all he's like, nigga. You <laughs> nigga, you was getting pumped on your shit because she had them yeah. real niggas literally talking over y'all niggas on camera. That nigga went yeah. full sexy red on that nigga show. That bitch jumped up and was like, "Yeah, you gonna have to beat that bitch down." <laughs> yeah. no, on the Fugazi <laughs> nigga shit. Yeah, yeah the Fugazi. Wow, yeah. I got a bro. It had to be a permit, so it, that it had to be to the point of where I could get. I gotta watch this shit now, man. Cause mm -hmm. I was like, you know how it's so much shit on YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, since you're overload type shit, you look at some shit. If it's taking too long or it's not, you can't find. It, you just go past it, and I think, but that's wild, bro. But and then you, like you said, this nigga is the ultimate alpha nigga. It, you know, alpha. I I don't have no issue problem with women, and you know, a uh, Kevin Samuel fucking. I coach men um, and women. Yeah, a, a, a Kevin Samuel fucking expert, you know, doctorate level fucking repeater and shit. <laughs> with no and it's like, nigga, what the f nigga? Come on, bro. And now and now you getting whooped by bitches on your pet. Come on, man. I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> that's how it happens. A reality what, in the chat what, actually why, said bro. that he tried to smash. So and you know what's crazy coach that can't handle Keisha. Yay. And, but it's happened to, and that's why I don't ever want to do the whole in real life in studio shit like that or whatever, bro. Bro, it's with especially with if your main demographic is hood bitches or black women, bro, they gon' try you. Yes. And then, like you said, zero. If you if you personally don't fucking put hands on the hoe and Uncle Phil her ass up out of there, uh, -uh like literally throw that bitch out the door and get it on yeah. camera. Or have your people stomp her ass out on camera. Now you pussy. Yeah. Now all that like, shit you like, talk about is out the window. Niggas need to quit talking. Niggas need to quit trying to prove that they these gamed up Keisha handlers. Yeah, man. It's nah, not you, they, nigga. You got to be willing to give your channel up if you're dealing with Keisha's, nigga. You got to be willing to fucking. You got to grip. Because again, if your people do it, you still going to look like a bitch because you ain't gripped the bitch up. Because you're not going to call Makisha. To, once Akisha go into feral mode, nigga, it's raps. You might as well just, you know, call it. Just call it, nigga. It's over. It's over with. So, like, these niggas, they're they not built for Keisha, man. But they keep trying to have Keisha content. And then the crazy part is, they think the white girls ain't Keisha's. Oh, yeah. Remember Absolutely. when the white girls acting up on Fresh and Fit? So I'm saying like now them niggas they they trying to move on to different type of content they they trying to have on nicer bitches yeah they, more more, they, they more many of hoes sound a lot nicer now man they they don't sound like and then, yeah because you know because niggas running from the red pill is is different nowadays you yeah, know niggas running, running from that that's shit. why when they got called in this shit they try to shut him down with the quickness yeah but, but yeah it's uh it's different now everybody trying to have this more like them niggas even teamed up with Pearl. Yeah, they cool with Pearl now. Before it was fuck Pearl. Yeah, they first went, it was fuck her. Yeah, they went. They went out. They went out to London, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she rented the studio that they did their podcast in. Uh, if them niggas want to keep their bag up, they need to quit fucking with niggas like Sneeko. The Sneeko is low key trying to undermine them niggas. That he be on there like he'll he'll start going agreeing with the bitches. But then again, yeah. they kind of nah nah. I take that back because they kind of they moving over the Sneeko side of the fence. So. So yeah, man, all these all these niggas are goofy. Like this this content is not like nobody. All these niggas talking about this male centric ass content. They they they're fucking liars. Yeah, you know, and 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 that's the reason why the and that's the reason why the women get so successful so fast. Because then it's like if you're gonna lie to me, at least be a bitch. 
Yeah, yeah. At least have some titties and, and, and have some give titties. me a dream. Yeah, give me a dream that I could possibly fuck one day. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm. Well, I want to hear your robot sounding ass. Dream really that I can possibly fuck one day. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. that literally explains the whole motivation why these niggas be on, be be loyal, fresh and fit followers, yo. Yeah, they, they they literally bring the hoes to the same hoes, like you said. They 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 chastise and you're only fans three oh four. You're this, you're that, and all. all, all. Them bitches drop their channels. They drop their fucking what's the name? And bro, we gave the formula on this shit before them niggas was even. I think a hundred well a hundred k strong. I only think they were they right at a hundred k strong. Bro, we did this as soon as we got on here. Remember we did yeah. shit, you I don't, you, didn't, you was talking about Mike Rashid on something different um uh zero but we walked that shit down bro remember they used to have two shows where they just do the shows with just the dudes that they were interviewing at the time and then they said with mm-hmm. girls the niggas right. literally with put girls. with girls and then yeah, they yeah. said oh shit this shit is working with five girls with seven girls with eight girls <laughs> <laughs> the higher the girl number was the higher the fucking you know the view count yeah. And, how and to buy, like, oh, we have Eureka. How to buy 12 <laughs> Bitcoin with we 12 <laughs> girls. <laughs> yeah. And get girls. That, that was good. With girls. How to be financially successful and get girls. <laughs> with seven girls in studio. All caps and How to pay 30K a month for a, for a rental car. When that nigga first said, oh, four digits, nigga, I was, I, I was, nigga, Anybody believe that shit is crazy. I was a car guy in my anybody, anybody who believe that it's over with, it's really over with. It's really over with. When, when Kevin was alive, them niggas was all about the tricking. When that nigga died, they was like, no, because you'll hate women. Because like, you will have you genuine desire. Bro, genuine desire. Any, that YouTube bag must be crazy. That YouTube bag got to be crazy. I remember I turned my monetization off for like a week. And... um. I got paid a little something. So I was like, damn, that YouTube bag is crazy. I, so I know if niggas is getting way more more like more views. I know that this is why them niggas get like they quit their job. This is this is it. This is it. I'm out on the limb, it's nigga. It's this is it. <laughs> they ain't no going back. And, and one of the biggest problems with a lot of these YouTube niggas that I've seen so far. Is that when they start making a lot of money, they don't save a fucking cent. Them niggas be out here spending. Hmm. Riding, cars, riding, hoes, get clothes. It. Cars, hoes, clothes. Because they know all they got to do is get on that mic, stream up the next day. So so I see it. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's like that, this shit right here, bro. That's what I say, bro. Everybody's that's why everybody got a microphone, eh? Yeah, I, I know everybody that YouTube bad crazy. Now. I know that YouTube bad crazy. That's just why. <laughs> but, but Yo, the YouTube is... bag made made O'Shea not finish that 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 degree. Oh, or become yeah. a doctor. <laughs> I doubt that nigga was if, in if he ever, you know. But yeah, that YouTube what bag is crazy. It gotta be crazy. I mean. It's the only thing I can think of why niggas like really go all out and give and just give a whole world to that shit. And then obsidian. But the crazy part is when they do start making money, the easiest way to to keep your shit going is to just save your bread. You know, Rumble pays, right? Rumble mon- Rumble monetizes you no matter what. And I found that out the hard way when I switched to Rumble. I'm still going to be over there. It's just that they wouldn't let me. Uh, they wouldn't let me schedule 48 hours in advance. So I went over there. But I don't even I don't even cash the money out because I haven't hooked my finance up to I haven't hooked any financial information up to Rumble at all. But so you they, already got they, money sitting there. They act, yeah, it's just money sitting in that motherfucker right now. And I didn't even like I wasn't doing gangbuster reviews. So I know Fresh and Fit getting paid from two different directions. They getting paid from YouTube and Rumble. Yeah. I think they cut their monetization off on. I don't know if they got remonetized on YouTube though. Oh, okay. They they got cut off on you. Okay, so but that's what they, they just all they did on all they did on YouTube though is um now you know PayPal and Streamlabs or whatever. So it okay. still ain't that changed. Okay, okay. Yeah, so change. now I understand. Uh, now I see why they they'll do half the stream and go. Okay, guys, we're gonna flip over to Rumble now. Yeah, they on the fucking now. um uh, on the what's the Steven Crowder shit. Yeah, because Rumble has uh Rumble will monetize your videos no matter what. 
and they got super chats over there on Rumble too. So yeah. yes, they're not. Yeah, they yeah. rumbled and turned that super chat on. That shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rumble is some them niggas. Them niggas gave the bit like them niggas right there. I one when it, business moves, whenever they thought, you know, when Myron again did the whole, you know, I don't know how the hell you with a Sudanese KKK member. I have no idea how that's ever been possible. But and then then too, the same thing. He did that for nine niggas. Uh, Fresh and fit and fucking Abba and Preach are the same niggas. Yes. A Caribbean nigga and a fucking and a no, no. you know what East African nigga. Smooth. What are we saying? Fresh and fit is 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 fucking Springfield. African preacher and Shelbyville. Shelbyville. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah same shit. Springfield and Shelbyville. The same yeah, niggas. Same the same niggas. And then you somehow you offend real niggas, but between two pretender nigga fucking beasts. Yeah. A, a nigga, a nigga in Sudan or fucking um, has never seen a man in the K. It literally never happened. There is no KKK mask in, on the continent of Africa or in the fucking Caribbean, motherfucker. It, it's not there. Nah, but Myron, Myron was born here though. The nigga should have collabed and did a twin Everybody stream. Everybody still be thinking he came. Dead ass. The nigga should have collabed and did a twin stream. They could have did like opposite streams, like uh. Preach hosts the Fresh and Fit in the studio, and then Fresh and Fit do, do they reaction content on their channel. They should have, they should have did it. They should have, they could have made so much fucking money. They, they could have did a fucking um, what, what do you call it? The the what, what do they call them when when sitcoms collide the universes together? Well, like damn, man, I forgot what it's called. Oh, like a mashup, a mashup, or no, a no, not a mashup. It's when uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like when one one show and another show blend their stories together and shit. Like yeah, that. like well, like like a guest appearance or some shit. Are right, you talking about yeah, yeah. Term. crossover? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they could have been a crossover yeah, crossover. Episode. Though, yeah. <laughs> but that's what it was, man. They like they felt like them niggas. Them niggas was was they was fucking like you said, the, like you saw my earlier, like you know the niggas popular at the time. They thought they was you know they was encroaching on their motherfucking territory, nigga. We got the motherfucking pretender nigga bag already sold up, and y'all want to come in here, and y'all niggas getting hot too fast. So we gotta, you know, what I'm saying we gotta shut this shit down. You know what I'm saying? But they, we gotta, they just we gotta, reaction content, and plus them Canadian ass niggas, niggas really not built for beef. Uh, I they're mean, not, yo. They, they're they, not they, built for beef. Oh, gosh. they was up there. They, I, mean, I remember beef. when Fresh and Fit first got uh, demonetized and shit. They started talking that shit, and then them niggas ended up with the same amount of viewers over at Rumble, still making the yeah. same bag, and then it was like. Y'all niggas, like y'all was better off shutting the fuck up because y'all was doing some high high pointing and laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. niggas got the last laugh, and it's like, yeah, it's better off staying and out. Then of they it. roasted them even better. Yep, so. Then and and then them niggas roasting hard. Yeah. Bit, they try to have them bit threatening the shit out of Abba. Like I beat your ass. <laughs> Yo, let me get in the ring, and I, da, da, da. I sound like a robot. I will kick. I was that. You don't even know. Get your ass. I have 14 years of police training. I will fuck you up. I will that, fuck that you nigga, up. That nigga don't have that nigga one does not sound little little bicep, all, yo. yo. I don't understand how he is fit. He's just tall and skinny. Yeah, he's just tall. He, he got the Kevin body where you just look like you're in shape, but you're not. But you're not. I dare that nigga to do 20 push-ups. I dare it. Dog. I need, I need, I'm gonna need to oh, see that right. shit to believe it on, on camera. I'm, I'm gonna need to see that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I need to see that shit. Bruh. They totally abandoned the whole fitness thing, right? Because at one point in time, they were trying that, and they just they just got away from that altogether. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they kind of did. Niggas, it, niggas ain't, niggas ain't, no. And you can kind of no. tell it as well, because it's funny, fantastic, because um, uh, he he he, you could tell he went to the gym a little bit, right, before. But now it's like all that shit don't went away. So it's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, bro. Really? Come on, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, stop it, yeah, this dude, niggas. Like, Fresh niggas and fit is, is just a tag. It, it don't, it don't apply to them niggas at all. Listen, here's what I know from interviewing twenty five thousand women. The thing is, <laughs> women want the top guy who makes hundred thousand. I can be asking these bitches extreme questions like, um, what was the question they asked these hoes? They said, you got four attributes to choose from. And it'd be these these traps, these gotcha shits. And they know their audience fall for this goofy ass shit where they'll say, 
you only get the pick. You only get to pick two of these four things. Yeah. Height, height, money, unattractive, poor. You only get yeah. two. Ugly with money or pretty or, or good. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that was my reaction. Fantastic. <laughs> just you just start laughing. It's stupid. And then the yeah. crazy part is here, here's the craziest part. So so the women will say, I'll take attractive and broke. And then they go, No, you won't. No, you won't. You see what I'm saying? So 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 the bitch will the, the, she'll give her preference, and the nigga just argues with her and says, No, you won't. And then if they and then if they go, Well, I'll take tall and rich. Of course you will. Of course you will. I'll take <laughs> I'll take ugly and rich. See, all these girls care about is money. And then one girl's yeah. like, and then it's like, well, I would pick fucking good, but you're gonna argue with me. And then they're like, well, no, no, you don't have to agree with us. Just just tell us what you want. And then then the bitch say, Well, I'll take the broke fine nigga. Uh, no, you won't. You're just, you're just <laughs> You're just saying that. You see, now you see, guys, this is what we always say women are capping. You see how they lie? They can't even tell see, the truth. This is why I know women. I talk to over 25,000 women, and I know that she's lying. And the reason I know that is because all the women I interview, they all say the same thing. They want the top guy who makes the most money. And stats. Man. <laughs> and that, that's the problem with this shit. Yeah. You, a, you, go can't get a speech with, right. you argue with bitches about what they want. If if you give these niggas the choice, they instantly go to looks and height. <laughs> they don't give a fuck if the niggas broke. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll argue, and then, but if the woman says ugly and broke and give them what they want, then they go, well, look, see, she's a whore. She only likes money. Yeah. It, it's weird. She's a whore. That, that's why that content is so fucking laughable. And then, and and then, uh, then you got Fresh, who, who's new, who's trying to be more, um, I guess, he's trying to man up on the show and get his nuts back. So so he ends up using nigga wrong. Like I, when this nigga say nigga, I feel like nigga. a white person says it. Hey, tell me nigga. He calls nigga. everybody niggas. White, the, the women on the panel, everybody. He... It, <laughs> Stop lying, nigga. <laughs> that shit, that shit make you flinch. When that nigga say, when he says, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, that, that that's what I'm saying. That's the, that's what fucked me up. It, Myron is just as bad because that motherfucker, is, is like like we know this. When he's saying nigga, he mean you know hard R pirate. Okay, so when 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 fucking Myron says nigga, he's fighting his urge to actually say hard R, and then Fred. <laughs> Like you said, he just doesn't know. What he's trying to fucking fit in. This uh, again, the pretender nigga shit just really just pisses me off, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Their whole their whole fucking thing is like, damn, bro, you still in my whole style, nigga. God damn, you trying to be us so bad, man. but you you can't stand. I think Myron's like Mar- Mar- trying to make up for it. He has to. Yeah. It's like you see, Myron Mar- is one of them black Arabs in in, in Sudan, where it's like. Nigga, you mixed with, with with a nigga, so you will never be one of those 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 Saudi Arabian Arabs. You will never be one of us. And he mad yeah. at that shit, so he takes that out, you know, because he has to wear the nigga suit to get money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he he makes up for that by hanging out with Nick Fuentes and the motherfuckers. And then, and then they <laughs> and wear Ku Klux Klan hats. Yeah, man. But the, but these things like we so a guy had this plan right to so we wanted to we wanted Ramil to just blow the fuck up because he could have did it that nigga would have been a superstar and everybody yep. knows it yep Ramil would have been, been a fucking here, superstar yo. that nigga would have been, been bigger rich. than Kevin Samuels yo fuck. huh I think he would have been bigger than Kevin Samuels oh yeah yeah Ramil 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 got star power dog that nigga yeah. got he got whatever it is he has it yeah. so. We wanted this nigga to blow up and then go on Fresh and Fit <laughs> so he could, he could dismantle their fucking show. <laughs> Facts. We, we wanted Ramil to blow up and then go on their show. Man, he the fucking took that shit apart. You saw what they did to um, Satan Center, right? They, they locked his ass out the conversation because they knew that he was going to go at Rolo. So it was basically yeah. a five versus one. All of them niggas kept taking turns talking to keep Satan Center from talking. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Every time they let them talk is when they lock the conversation in on, on a bitch 
that was on a panel or something so he could say something about the bitch. But as soon as it looked like he was about to focus on Rolo or, or one of them other niggas on the panel that be on that goofy shit, they would yeah. hurry up, interject, and, start, and just take turns, just take turns running this nigga over. But, yeah, but man, see, yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even know rough. that. I saw the damn, I, I saw um, uh, Saint and Center on the Fugazi nigga shit, right? And that was a, like a gobble fest. Like, yeah, I, 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 I can watch that. I, I knew that was going to be a cuck off. I, <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I had that again, man. You know, that, that nigga. But yeah, I didn't even know he was on for too fit. sassy, yo. And the crazy yeah, part y'all saw when he, he, when he argued with them the OnlyFans bitches and they pulled yeah, his whole card yo. whatever podcast and fucked them hoes up, right? He made he made niggas look real good doing that, right? And, and, and helped himself to a nice little marketing promotion, like made himself look real pimpish. He goes on his show, invites the whole back. In the background, he's trying to get with the bitch like a dummy. And then he goes in the giggle box mode the whole time he's talking to the bitch. Which and, and he he acts like this nigga that's real comfortable around hoes and, and and has these old ass pictures from from the nineties you know yeah, bitches oh that, that is it's, it's like but you but you still acting like a child are you supposed to be used to being around bitches but you acting like a child in the presence of a bitch and this nigga could be acting be like Michael Sartain pimp. around he, yeah yeah he, he acts just like a Michael Sartain nigga giggly he claimed- he claimed to be a pimp back in the day, and you know, I know all about yeah. the game and all this other shit. Exactly. And you know, I'm You're just you know, fans, being there on paper. The only fan and, bitch told him, like, all, all you got is, is, is a video of, of teaching guys how to hump. You don't even have a real company. What's your IP? That damn. nigga kept dancing he, around. Up, this is the only fans, bitch. Then oh, he fucked up and had she two. said that. Yes. Yeah. Then he fucked around. And he and don't even two. have a real company. I did my research. Yeah, yeah. She she fucked him up. Then because he fucked around Damn. and put two of the nigga favorites on his show. He put two <laughs> of the low key nigga favorites on his show. The nigga hoes, Jasmine Jafar and the other OnlyFans bitch. Yeah. Everybody knows that Jasmine Jafar is a nigga favorite. That bitch is. Yeah. She went and got the black girl surgery, and she out here busting out the clothes. And no nigga finna. Not only that, but the bitch is kind of smart. She, you know, she was on her attorney shit for a little while, but it wasn't making enough for her. She couldn't make partner in a year, so she took off. <laughs> and yeah, so she still oh, has that skill of that, knowing how to do that's research. The, that's the bitch that sunned him? Yes. 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 It, yes I'm guessing he took that part. video down immediately. It's no longer up. It's not? It's not up? I'm asking. Get the fuck out of here. You sure? Oh, no, I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. I'm oh, okay. learning all this shit from y'all. Oh, okay, okay. No, no. He probably still got that shit. Up. Damn, if he would have taken that down, then then yeah, that right into crazy. the wall, you know? But right yeah, so you, you got the nigga favorite on there. And and it, like, dog, ha- having that bitch on your show is just a bad move. It, it's a bad yeah. move. She yeah, It turned out to be a bad move because he was sassier than her. Yelling, right over talking to She's too hot right now. Yeah, see, y'all, I don't even know who this. I don't know who this bitch is. Jasmine Jafar, never heard of her. Yeah, I yeah, just got to know from that, that thing, man. That that bitch is right, petite. Yeah, don't even tight, bother looking man. for her. You don't, you don't want them type of problems. Yeah, yeah, so, don't go down. See that bad of a bitch? Okay, I'll right, take your word. Yeah, yeah, bad and petite, so, my nigga. Woo! So anyway, he had two of the nigga yeah. favorites on there. You know the the um the the ethnic the ethnic looking white bitches on there that that were formerly in the in the uh, in the uh, you know the right culture, the culture that niggas is trying to run to, to 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 to, to get with a bitch, the Islam. <laughs> B- right bitches with bitches with families, because there's this myth. There's this myth that's been in the in the space for a long time where niggas think that um, whores or thoughts come from broken families. It's not true, and I've been telling niggas this shit for years. And I remember niggas used to tell me on panels, "You don't know what you're talking about, zero fuck out of here. You don't know, nigga." Every bitch that, that that gets into the whole industry does not come from a bad family. In fact, a lot of these bitches come from families that you think are straight and perfect. They just like to fuck. It's real simple. They got access to the niggas they like, and this is the easiest way to get access to more niggas that they like. So, so then they do that job. But you know, niggas can keep being mad. So anyway, 
he got two of those bras on there, and they and they from the right culture, remember, from the right culture. And they grew up with, with, with upstanding parents, and they still turned out on the whole on the whole stroll. So man, this information is very, very difficult for niggas to 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 digest. Yes, it is too difficult. <laughs> You know, look, look at your boy Nate Dog still searching, tr trying to save the one percent. Nate Dog, Nate Dog, a big little big Nate. Oh, 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 oh. You know, damn, damn, he's still on YouTube. That nigga, that nigga still on the channel. He on Rumble. He's on Rumble. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I'm well. I'm not surprised about that. Yo, <laughs> so, so so real quick, fantastic. Uh, you need to go make an account over there. Just you don't have to do any videos. Just make an account. No, I got it. I got, I got, I got okay. a Rumble account. Okay. I do, I do um, most of my 10 for Tuesdays over there because YouTube usually knock them bitches yeah. down. But they're not giving me, they're not giving me strikes no more. But them niggas, hey, bro, hey, we found something, la, la, la. It, may, it doesn't break guidelines, but it's, right. it may, it's borderline. It's borderline. So knock your fucking video out, yeah. Yo, because yeah. after after this election. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yo, I already see it, bro. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, but you know, you know what, though? Election. That shit. And you know, the good thing about this, though, the good thing about this shit, though, is if and when, it, more likely than not, all the writings on the wall for fucking Trump to fucking win this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? It, um, they're not going to be able to pull the shit they pulled before. And these yeah, yeah, they, 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 can't, they can't fudge the numbers this time. Yeah, and they can't, yeah. The, the, lawsuit, the lawsuits ain't working. Yeah, um, and um, hey, furthermore, again, like I said, I, I feel like, bro, they go yank the fucking the rug from everything um, right before the election, flip the table right after the Game of Thrones shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All this they shit might... has been held up. Like you know, what I'm saying the economy, the stock market, all this wonderful fucking bullshit going on, bro. As soon as Trump fucking get in office, all right, motherfucker, you got it. Now, now, you know, what I'm saying try to make make it out of this type shit. Yeah, yeah. So, kick the yeah, whole man. shit over. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I said, bro, I I just. Like everything that we see now, niggas. I keep telling y'all. I said this shit before, man. Have your shit in order, nigga. All right, get your get your shit, get your get your shit. Be prepared, bro. Because like they, they um, Biden was supposed to not knock all this shit down, bro. You know, but in in the ideal situ situation, like they saw it, they supposed to get. Hey, the guns taken, fucking um, you know your kids, motherfucking getting you know surgeries and. All this shit was supposed well, to be. Well, let me able ask you a money. question. How do you fix anything by spending all the tax coffers? But that's the thing. Well, you do that and you launder the money in, you know, in um conflicts, unofficial conflicts. Right. Mm. That, nigga, so, that nigga got on TV and snitched on Mexico. Uh -huh. Remember? This was the other day. He he got on TV and snitched on Mexico because they got to deal with China to do to to, to manufacture cars. But they're trying to do it in Mexico so they can slip them bitches over the border for free. Yeah. And he said, fuck no, nah. you niggas finna pay a hundred and some percent tariff. Because first of all, electric cars don't go that far. Mm -hmm. Remember? Electric cars mm -hmm. got like a 300 mile limit. 300 mile, max. Yeah, 300 mile fucking limit. So you're not finna do no road, no road trips unless you buy a gas car. So you're gonna have to own two cars minimum. You, you know, you're going to be locked into whatever city you live in unless they put and, and on top of that, even if there was electric charging stations all over the United States, just live, you know, with the same proliferation as gas stations, you still got to sit there and wait fucking hours for your car to charge. It, yeah, you got to wait for a whole full fucking charge. Is that at least I want to say 30, 45 minutes? Is that feasible? Nah, it's not. At it's all. Like, at is all. that feasible for long distance travel? You know, no. It's, it's not feasible for long distance travel. It's not feasible for um, mass use either, especially when you have also, it. And <laughs> also, those it's batteries been... are crazy toxic when they get old. Yeah. And the disposal, we usually dump the disposal in another country's backyard. We usually fuck and, other countries up with the waste from, from a And it will be, and, and that's how we strike the deals for the immigrants to come over for some of it. Yes. Exactly. Well, no, another another big part of that niggas not looking at, right, is that like those the the um the life, the battery life is gonna be the same for the most part, right? 
So now every 20 years, you're going to have to have a major fucking overhaul or just, you know, buying of a fucking brand new car or brand new electric vehicle for everybody because the whole car is the battery. Motherfuckers don't even understand, bro. These electric, fully electric cars, the whole foundation of the car is the battery. Yeah. The entire fucking car. Oh, so also, battery, also one, one, one quick note. They're fully hackable. <laughs> That, yeah, that, yeah, that's the, that's why you. That, I'm, t- I'm telling y'all, man, y'all crazy as hell, man. Listen, this <laughs> niggas is hackable. Yeah, somebody can push yeah, a button bro. and your car just stop. You ever see the or movie go, where, or, or where the nigga was in his electric it. car and, and then he got killed? It was a show called Upload. They killed this nigga when he was in his no. What was it called? Upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah. Upgrade. Nigga, I yeah. Killed it. I keep yeah, telling they, niggas watch that movie. Zero. They hacked his car, me. made his shit go full speed into a fucking wall. God. Damn, and you couldn't yeah. get out. You couldn't nah, get out. Nah, nah. Lock the doors and everything. They no, hey, um, uh, what's the name? Override. He tried to do um uh, manual override. No, nigga. Nope. <laughs> you sit your what? ass right here. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, and and hey, and they unbuckled the seatbelt on him. Right. Um, <laughs> took the <his> seatbelt off. <laughs> yeah. Unbuckled so the seatbelt on the nigga. Yo. No, he, no, yeah. bro. He, he like broke his. He bro. He broke his neck because some crazy shit, bro. It was to put it put a AI fucking program in his like you know interlocking in his body or whatever, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Watch upgrade, man. Yeah. That ten four two Z shit, bro. I'm tell I'm telling y'all, I think nigga just be talking shit. He, but well, hold on, we go go ahead to this, right? So now that we here zero, so this wanted to say, right? So the part of the what buddy was talking about earlier with like transhumanism and shit, bro. Do y'all understand, bro? They have authorized Elon Musk to put motherfucking Neuralink in bodies in humans, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I know. Human trials are running, okay? No. So now, nigga, you got to compete with cyborg niggas. So, okay? so real quick about about, that, about the Neuralink <laughs> shit, right? And this is my this is why I keep telling people we are going to have to be more academic in the future. We we have to. We simply have to. One of the reasons people are so scared about technology and shit is because they don't know what it is. They don't know how things work. That is the problem. So one of the things that the, the, the Neuralink does is it, it connects to specific parts of the brain, depending on w- what the purpose is for. Just very basic shit. Basic shit. So, for example, let's just say your motor functions are fucked up. Because ALS or something, so you got a disease that affects the, the the neurochemistry in your body. Well, now you can maybe fix that. You, you can have a helper, or maybe you have a, a degenerative disease, or or some type of or some type of affliction that can be cured by just putting that processor in there and sending signals out to to zap the bad shit that can help. But, but again, because we don't understand the technology, instead of Looking into what the technology does, we just assume that it's bad without looking into it. And then you had a lot of scare shit online where people just lie about the technology and say, well, it does this. It does that. You have no fucking idea. You don't even know. You don't even know. Nigga, you can barely operate your own PC. And that's not even technical. You you refuse to read the literature of, of the things that you talk about. And that's that's our biggest problem. Not reading the literature. We can talk about other shit all day, but when you start getting into hard science, hard science never lies because it's mathematical. Mathematical doesn't math math doesn't lie. So if you know how something works, you can actually build it yourself. That's the point of technology. If you know how it works, you can replicate the results, and then you don't have to be scared anymore. So the Neuralink shit isn't really scary. Now, government mandating this shit is scary because they can put anything in that shit. (laughs) Well, I'm going to have to disagree, bro. Same thing with fucking what's the name, right? So the the thing that makes it scary is, again, you're going to have some type of upload, uplink or whatever, and it's linked to your brain. And like you said, it's it's mostly to help like the initial people he was asking for were people with any type anybody that had any type of motor functional thing or yep. specifically they were asking for people that were paraplegic or you know what I'm saying had some type of paralysis, yep. right? Yep. To help them try and get back their um function, functionality, right? So the thing is, of course, the same thing they was with you know the other things that they said would never do that, right? Is the uh, beginning stages of everything is always simple and you know, hey, it's just for this, 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 and this. 
Mm-hmm. But like you say, once it gets, you know, as things progress, the 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 best, the two best ways to monetize is to fucking militarize or sexualize, right? Yeah. So now, you know what I'm saying? You have this fucking thing as to where in your brain you're getting um, you know, just a at basic, basically, like you said, just sensors sent into your body and so on and so forth. But like you say, now you're up you're you're linked to some source of um you know, satellite data, something, so on and so forth, right? And then, too, it, reading the literature is saying you will have, um, be able and capable with that to operate and interlink with other, um, you know, Tesla stuff and yeah, yeah. other things and so on and so forth. So that's where it starts getting crazy because you now you're really on some, like, you know, not necessarily superpower shit, but it's, like you said, the yeah, interconnection between... Shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The cyberpunk shit. So yeah. that's the part of it where, um, like you said, niggas not reading it to even know. They just think, oh, you know, oh, you know. I guess like you know, you gonna be. We're not saying you gonna be no control robot, robot zombie, but once niggas are, have literally access to now, you're the computer. You know what I'm saying? You Google, nigga. You Google. You know what I'm saying? And fuck Google shit, because you know Elon working on Starlink. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, so I, I think the issue would be so there will be a competition factor. If you're rich enough to afford the good shit, congratulations, you have a leg up. Your children have a leg up. Yeah. All the people who are not privy enough to afford the good shit, they're at a disadvantage because what? So in the future, they get good at it, right? It it keeps iterating and it gets so good that you get the upgrade that gives you a IQ advantage, a literal IQ advantage. Well, that's a problem. That's a fucking problem. That that I can foresee is a problem. However, fortunately, uh, there are no genetic uh, markers that, <laughs> that that indicate IQ. But what you could do is speed up people's synaptic processes. That might help. Well, that's what I'm and saying. If that, and if that does show a, a, a actual boost to your to your intelligence, that might be a problem in the future. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, you you literally have access to. Or not access to, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, the functioning, right? That it's linked to. So my thing is that eventually as it, you know what I'm saying, not initially, but like you said, as the uh technology progresses, you you become one one in, you know what I'm saying, inside with the thing because um it wasn't Neuralink, it was another one as to where the person was able to, you know, think the words and then it gets sent to the yeah, what's the name screen. for speech? First, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, you know I saw all that shit. I saw the I saw the one where you can control a prosthetic. I saw the yeah. one where yeah, I saw the one where they uh you could actually uh send signals to an animal. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's a lot of applications. Yeah, man. That niggas nigg- regular niggas got about 15, maybe 20 years left, man. I mean, I know, I know y'all, you know, doom and gloom and winter is coming. That's our problem. And all this niggas shit. are anti-intellectual anyway. It's just the way it is. We don't we don't study this shit. I mean, think about it. I can't repeat the same shit how like even looking look, let's look at the social problem, right? The social problem is biological, it's philosophical. It's, it's and it's psychological and, and anthropological. Oh, and not let's not forget the fifth one and the biggest one. It's economic. None of those five subjects are studied by niggas. Yeah, niggas hate niggas, niggas well, don't know history. Just, they're, they're, niggas don't know detested. anthropology. Yeah, yeah, they detested. Niggas don't know math. Niggas don't fuck with. I'm talking about niggas don't fuck with real economics like that, like math. Niggas don't fuck with anthropology or the, or the study of humans we, we don't we don't fuck with history or what what has happened before that keeps repeating we don't fuck with that either we don't fuck with the well, only way we fuck with philosophy is when it's um conveniently metaphysical or some horoscope shit and then the psychological aspect we don't fuck with that either unless oh, we're talking about all. our fucking problems you oh, know like getting this. touched when you were a kid or or saying or saying narcissistic on on the internet, calling every motherfucker narcissistic. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. To- toxic not to- toxic narcissism type shit. Niggas be using it. narcissistic like they just learned. Oh my that god, damn word, yo. That shit yeah, brother, crazy. listen, that they shouldn't have never gave you niggas a thesaurus. Goddamn, I'm sick. I'm sick of it. That and what? Um, uh, what's the new one? 
Um, it's another new one that these motherfuckers is using, bro. These terms, and and then come to find out, all of the fucking, all of the um therapists and and psychiatrists hate niggas. All these hoes that purposely going to school to get these psychology degrees and and yeah. these therapy fucking uh what's the name? They they fucking misandrous. Yes. <laughs> yes. The simplest thing to understand oh, about what bitches is that they, they don't want to go back into the into the slave bag. It's really that simple. Yeah. I mean, to be, I mean, to be quite honest with you, you know I really don't mean, think I really don't, I really don't think they hate niggas. To be honest with you, it's just that the thought of going back into the slave bag is horrifying to bitches. That, that is not going. They, they will do anything in their power to never let that happen again. We got to understand that. We, we have to. Bitches will never give up their freedom ever, like ever. That shit is over with. So the only thing we really they can't do at die. this point, they rather die. But like, what do you think would happen if, if tomorrow they just turn the freedom off for bitches? You will see. You you think you think we win in that suicide? Bitches will be winning that suicide. They'll cut their fucking wrists. They'll, they'll swallow all the pills. They will give you any, any box. They will swallow all the pills. They, they will. They will. They will kill themselves before they be with niggas they don't want to be with. It's really that simple. <laughs> I, I mean, I I know it hurt. I know it sounds bad. It sounds you know harsh. But that is the way it is. They would. They would rather die. They would rather fucking die. And, and, and once niggas understand that, they'll they'll really figure out how to solve this shit. You know, if you if you want them to stop or, or get to a point where they can be more reasonable and, and calm the fuck down, then you gotta give them you gotta give them they you gotta give them every you gotta give not when I say everything I mean give them the full range of their equal rights under the law. No more coddling. You gotta take the training rules off and yep. give it to them. And once they have that, once they able to, because really to be honest with you, and I know this sounds. And, and I say this all the time, and I know it, it's, it's all it always like man, you know, fuck how it sounds, man. It always Just boils down it. to pussy. It always, but that's really what it is. They want their sexual, they want their full autonomy. They want the right to sell their bodies. And and I know how simple that sounds, but it's not more complicated than that. It's not. It's not. There, there is no grand conspiracy of, of things that they want. There's no list of demands. The, the only thing they want to do is to have the the ability to not. Have men in control of their bodies. That's it. That, that's the only thing that's in their way. Once they get that, that's when you get all of the things that you want. That's when you get your families back. That's when you get the real relationships. That's when all of this shit that traditionalism, that's when that'll come back. Because not every bitch in the world is going to be able to sell their body. Because it's an economic problem. Only the only the top of the food chain bitches are going to be able to really realistically make a living from this shit. We already, if, if people know yeah, their economics, that only fans. you already see that with, with only right. fans. That, yeah. yeah, right. But even with only fans, the bitches that don't make the money on paper on only fans, their booking info is on the page. You don't think they're getting under the table bread? I mean, they're making money. They, they're making money. It's just not only right. fans. Oh, they got this You're shit on team. Twitter. It's the people, yeah. people, I know people kind of like they try to, I know people try to run with that stat where it's like, you know, these chicks are making four hundred dollars a month. Sure, yes, they are, but they their booking info is on the page. They're making nigga, way more. They, than can, they can make four hundred per trick, nigga. Yo, yo. Right. They make way it's, more. It's five hundred now for an hour, fellas. Five hundred yeah. on average. Yeah, yeah they, they make. They, 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 whoa, 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 like, wait, wait. no, I'm, no, he's right. But I'm saying, like, we, we keep. Making it yeah, seem like they're not making any money, and they are. They so the, the chicks that make a hundred dollars a month on OnlyFans, fine. She's she's making a hundred dollars a month according to OnlyFans, but her booking info is on her page. No, nah, no, nah, bro. So check this out, right? So I, I, I don't I don't think I don't know if Shorty does uh, OnlyFans or not, but it's a chick on uh, Twitter. She went viral. The bitch, bro, the bitch is doing um, naked retwists, right? The bitch is just naked redoing niggas' hair. Like, horn, niggas got to be super horny to just, you know, need pussy and, and titties, you know what I'm saying? To yeah, get she's selling the fantasy. Done, right? That's the, so, that's not, but it ain't just that, right? So, the bitch had a whole list, like, bro, everything from 
you know what I'm saying? Pussy, the head, to anything you want. Nigga, literally, like, anything you want is on the menu, nigga. Foot like job, her. hand job, fucking massage, naked, all this other shit. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, that, that shit right there is proof of what you're saying, Zero. Like, bro, more of these hoes are getting on the, the selling shit, right? Just outright selling it. Like, hey, this, selling this, it, this man. is what it is. This is what it is, nigga. If you want it, you know what I'm saying? You got the bread, come get it type shit. And it's just like, and what's even crazier, bro, is that niggas will allow her to double up, like you said, on content, because now the bitch, you you pay for the retwist, right? The the mm-hmm. naked retwist or whatever. Then the bitch post that on her fucking whatever page, you know what I'm saying? And that that gets her fucking revenue. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So, so yep. hoes is winning. Yeah, I mean, bro, look, was yep. you was you on was you probably watching that day when uh we were showing there there bro there cuddling services. Yo yeah, bitch. Get a bitch to come over and oh, cuddle you. Oh God! Just damn. spoon you to sleep. I remember you, you don't you don't get to spoon her. her. You don't get to spoon her. She spoons you. Nah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. They got they pay thousands services. for that shit too. Yeah, texting yeah. service. Services. I pray for you, niggas, man. Texting <laughs> services. Yeah, texting yeah, services. Fact, here's how wild the market is. If you a tall, beautiful bitch, niggas will pay to have you step to pay for. They'll pay to... somebody. Somebody cleaning the gun. Somebody playing around in the toolbox. Bitches will pay you to step on their chest. I mean, I mean, b- bitches will you 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 pay a bitch so she can step on your chest. This is how what crazy the market is. There, there is a market for texting services. So you you pay a monthly fee for for an avatar of a cute face bitch to text you good morning and how are you doing throughout the day? Like these are services. Remember on stream we, we MOT was there. We looked all that shit up. That nigga was flabbergasted. We we pulled the services up online that day. Nigga, texting services, cuddling services. It's wild out here, and that's why I say, man, I, I don't ever fault the tricking niggas, man. So I, just, I don't agree with it, but I, I, adult tricking niggas are getting the best deal of everybody else. At least that Thank nigga you. is actually getting. He, he's actually getting the fucking product that other niggas is either too, too afraid or too ashamed or whatever to actually go out and get because. Bro, I refuse, dog. I refuse to be paid to be teased by a bitch for some shit that's just free. Oh, oh no, no, no! Check this out. So, so you know, like all all the niggas' favorite, uh, all the niggas' favorite celebrities. You know, the niggas that everybody think is cool. You know, the, the future niggas and shit. So, a so, well, psychologist broke it down a bit. Same shit we've been talking about, though. So, rich niggas with, with too much money, it's it's not worth it. Like, let's just say your time is worth three three to five thousand dollars an hour. You know, you you fuck you a celebrity nigga. You making too much money to be going out here and trying to game up a bitch, then taking her out on a date, trying to get to know her, and all this other shit just so you can get some pussy. And just and that's just the the um, not a definite, just more like a you might get some pussy if she likes you enough. You know, why would a rich, successful nigga, rich, successful, status stuff ass nigga waste that much time? So. For the rich, status up, successful nigga, remember we saw this when, when Kevin got famous, and all of the celebrities started jumping on his dick and and and, and agreeing with what he said. The rich, status up nigga, when he it's not it doesn't count as tricking because he's he values his time more than the pussy, and he makes too much money to be trying to court a bitch. So you know you know the, you know the cliche saying I don't I don't pay for the pussy I pay her to leave. Yeah. That's what happens when you're rich. So it turns into Ooh. tricking when you're. Not rich. When you're broke, when you so pay forty dollars. Future doesn't trick. You do. Leonardo doesn't trick. You do. 
that's the that's the whole thing about this because most of these niggas if, if they if they got rich if they had that type of money they do it too first of all because your 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 bitch options your bitch options open up that that's first that's number one you know you when you when you, when you become a super rich nigga there's no way you finna turn down an opportunity to fuck a bitch with a flat stomach. Remember what we talked about earlier? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> if you've yep, been yep. dealing with that goddamn hill your whole life and having to arch your back backward to get in there, you're not finna turn down an opportunity to knock a dime down with a flat stomach. You're not finna do that. You know? We already discussed how niggas can't turn away pussy in the well, first place. I, you think you're so you turn down the not? highest quality? No, you're not. But zero. Why is it when I say that I'm just this wild, outrageous nigga? When I tell niggas, you know, uh, you know, let's just say prime Amber Rose, or even like we said, we mentioned like Lori Harvey, right? Nigga, if Lori Harvey pull up on you right now here today, nigga, I don't give a fuck what type of hoe you calling her or whatever and all this other shit. You know what Going. I'm saying? Brittany Renner, um, you know, hell, Drea. Hell, some of you niggas even right now, pregnant pussy. You 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 going? When I say that, no, nigga, no, it's just you. You just pussy all very fantastic. The only thing I had to say about that is is that celebrity bitches. So celebrity bitches are special. So like when you, when you say that, and then somebody says no, they wouldn't. I mean, that person probably wouldn't like. Because what's the difference between a celebrity bitch and Club Walmart? Who remembers Club Walmart before COVID? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Five I, 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 used, I, yeah. I, call, I call it Club Walmart. You walk into Walmart at one in the morning when them shits used to be twenty four hours. You will see some of the baddest bitches you ever seen in your life. They not on TV. They don't have albums. They don't have movies. They don't have anything. Them, in fact, them bitches got like seven, eight kids with them. But these is and, and, and still got a flat stomach and still fine as a motherfucker. Yeah, so, but I'm not saying it. I'm not just talking about saying, from the the, the point that, of that, the bitch being a celebrity. I'm saying okay. that the bitch was a certain level of attractiveness. That's okay, what I'm talking okay, about. I got you. I got you. That's my niggas level that of that celebrity shit is like, yeah, I would turn down a bitch that I'm not interested in. I don't give a fuck if she's a celebrity or not. Yeah, yeah, not. I'm not. I'm not saying like just some like some what be some own ass bitch. Yeah, no, nah, anybody like, come on, yeah. But I'm talking about the finest of the fucking fine. The bitches that at some point in time was like, yeah, you know, it'll, what I'm it'll saying? be pretty hard to say no. Yeah. That, that's all I'm saying. Niggas be acting like, oh yeah, man, I yeah, fuck that shit, man. And then you know, I get, I get, I had badder bitches and such and such. And it's, all right, nigga, you got it. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it, pretty hard to say no. It, it would be pretty hard to say no if you got the baddest of the bad. Because like I said, I seen niggas shoot their shot in Walmart like hard. I seen nigga ask a bitch, "What do I have to do to be in your life?" That he literally asked that question right in between the orange Her juice and the milk. No, no, we was at the checkout line. We was at the, she was in front of me at the oh, checkout line. Also, and in that between nigga was, the, 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 the chocolate and the, and the chewing gum. I up on that bitch and said, what do I need to do to be in your life? Yeah, man. And and and, that's, and, and zero, that's why I be, bro, I've seen it, bro. And, I, and like I said, bro, I've literally seen it all. I've seen the bitch that's so bad, man, that every nigga is just like, you know, Almost on some starstruck shit, and like you said, this this ain't no celebrity bitch. This is just a local fine bitch, and you're like this is like pre pre um you know social media age, to where like nigga you get you got the baddest bitch in the city type shit, right? And and you yeah. didn't have to really you didn't have to worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying, and nigga? If you didn't live in an NBA town or a professional team town. And the wor your worst thing was when whatever you know R and B nigga or rap nigga came in the city. And that's like the only time you had some shit to worry about. You know what right. I'm saying? Now though, like you said, bro, these niggas dip down, bro. And like you said, every, you know what I'm saying, every baddest bitch in the city is, you know, if she got a fucking, you know what I'm saying, this bitch hit over, I'll say 2,000 followers, nigga. Oh, nigga, you ain't no telling who you competing with. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wait, did I talk exactly. about this? That's and you could you could be competing with Drake. You could be competing right, you with, Drake. with Drake now. Like you that's, could be that's about that this yesterday. So I went, I went to um, I went to Applebee's to grab one of them uh, them uh, the chicken wraps, right? And I right. pull up, I pull, I pull up to the Applebee's. They got the, oh, the cashier yeah. window is right by the. As soon as you pull up, the cashier window is right there. So 
the one of the, the I mean, talk, this bitch was a like a 10, 11 out of 10 on the physical beauty scale. Face and body out of motherfucking controls. She couldn't have been more than 20, 21 years old. Now, the first thing I thought was this bitch kid, like, again, she's she's early 20s. I'm talking about like, like 20, 21 years old, like a fucking baby to me anyway. She's a baby to me. Now, <laughs> I, and, I, and I thought to myself, this is like one of the baddest bitches I've ever seen in my life, and she works at a Applebee's. This bitch, she can she can jersey chase if she wanted to. She could be one of these hoes on the boats easily. This bitch had a, a chronic case of, of movie star face, but she was serving tables. She was giving niggas food. And, and, and my, my, my thought was, this chick has the world at her feet. She can have anything she wants, but she would rather take a job as a fucking server before she gets up under the rule of a nigga. Do, do, like, do y'all understand that? That's the and one percent you got to save, though. This is girl. a 20, 20 to 21 year old girl. She would what rather. You say wait. I said, that's the one percent you got to save. Right. That's the one percent you got to <laughs> save. This, this chick would rather work a shit job than get with a nigga. Because again, this is the this is the physical beauty that gets you the the millionaire, especially at her age. At her age and her beauty, this is the chick that can get you the millionaire. She, she even got like married a millionaire. The niggas just give her the money. She, yeah, just, she, 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 she could just gifts, have like, niggas on payroll. Yeah, like. but, <laughs> but she would rather serve food. Before she engages in any relationship that means anything, y'all understand. Again, the younger generation, I feel bad for you niggas. I, I really do. Because to be honest with you, y'all got better bitches than previous generations. All you, most of the chicks that y'all got are mixed. They are just way colder. Y'all got the Blasians, the fucking Wasians, the the Blights, the Blendians. Y'all got all the bitches, all of them. Y'all got mixes I ain't never seen. You you niggas got mixes that that don't even make sense. This nigga cool and put me on to this site on Reddit, Mixed Girl Reddit. I don't know why I went there. I ended up taking, I, 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 I defavorited it off my browser. I don't even fuck with that site. No Five more. hours later, yo, you're still scrolling. Five Never hours later. Back to that motherfucker, nigga. You got to understand. Yes, nigga. Yes, move. Five hours later. You got to understand. Y'all generation, you niggas have no chance. I'm just be I'm be honest with you. If bitches look like that in, in my generation, we'd already be done. And hey, we'd be and, finished fuck, and it's cool for them to be hoes and fucking. And it's cool for them to be hoes. Y'all got the baddest bitches that has ever existed in the history of mankind, and they all hoes. Yeah, probably. You niggas have no chance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Um, you know, 18th birthday plus one OnlyFans. Busting it all open. Yeah. Everybody. All you young ass millennials and Z's, y'all got the baddest bitches that have ever existed in human history. And they're hoes. Probably. It's over, get up in there. It's over, nigga. <laughs> and you niggas is worried about tricking and shit. If you don't get the fuck out of here, you niggas better join the fucking party. Listen, I'm going to give you niggas something y'all can work with. What, what What is this? It, it's March. It's March. Hold on. Let me, let me grab my phone. I think it's the 23rd. 23rd. It's March 23rd. Okay. In, a few, in a few months... Minnesota's gonna have a pride shit hot popping off uh, you know, around June. Now, our pride shit takes place in the the heart of downtown Minneapolis. This is a rich ass city. Nigga, when I tell you I've never seen so many bad bitches in one spot in my entire life, ever. In fact, 
This year, I will take pictures for you niggas and post them on a community tab. You don't understand. All you have to do is be a liberal nigga who believes in female freedom. All you got to do is be a gay adjacent ass nigga. You can, you can be the dread wearing cool player type nigga as long as you get along with gay niggas and believe in these hoes. You can fuck a dime. You can fuck an 11, nigga. You can fuck a 12. In fact, you can go up to 15 if you want to. But you just got to get on board with this bullshit. Not actually, not if you, but you got to be able to be, you got to be fake enough to pull it off. I might, I might pull a one, I might pull a one MT on that one, man. Nigga, you know, I, I, don't almost, fuck with the brother I almost dropped my son off at his mama house to partake, nigga. Smooth. I'm bullshit. I was on the phone with y'all. Yeah. I was losing it. I was losing it. This nigga was ratting for 30 minutes straight. I was losing it, nigga. Because traffic was thick and I couldn't get through the traffic. So I'm stuck by the park at, at Loring Park. If you, if you know where this park is, it's like right off the freeway. Like right when you finna get on I-94. That park is right there. And then you got the Walker Art Center across the street. You got all of this artsy fartsy gay adjacent shit. And then you got the park itself, which is a giant fucking fuck a palooza of everybody fucking everybody. You had the you had the thug niggas pulling up in their whips. You had all the cool gamed up niggas. You had every nigga imaginable pulling up to get at these hoes. Bro, bro, and I tell you, I'm gonna repeat, I have never in my life seen so many willing bad bitches in one spot. Ever. Baddest bitches on earth, nigga. I don't even know where some of these hoes came from. Bro, and again, I live in the most mixed city in the United States, pretty much. For, I mean, outside of California, because California just has a big ass population. We got the most mixed hoes per capita, though. And I mean, we have all of them. Again, we got we got the Blendians, and them bitches is on the rise. Blending Blendians is a new wave. Them the, the, the fucking the, the white and black Indian mixed bitches, they they on the rise. You know them. them Y'all got a half. big um. Was it now? Is it Somalian or yeah, what's Somali, the name of this? Somali, year? Somali, Somali, uh, yeah, Somali, Somali, Ethiopian, yeah. Eritreans. They all running from their countries. Oh and my shit. god! Yeah, bro. Listen, that shit alone, nigga. Listen, nigga, that alone. Nigga. Oh no, no, no! Listen, Fantastic. Nigga. No, you. It gets worse. They're mixed now. Oh lord! Like oh, a lot my. of them Eritrean hoes. They got damn. White hair. They got oh, a lot of them rich girls got white Damn. fathers. Damn. No, no, oh, like dead God. ass white fathers and green eyes, nigga. They got motherfucking. Yeah, these nigga, bitches running that around with illegal. the fucking. Yeah, nigga, should be illegal. That should be illegal, nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go to Minnesota Ethiopian this summer, Ethiopian. nigga. Fuck out of here. We got, we got, we got white being any finer, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, man, that shit, that ain't fair, man. That ain't nigga, fair, we got we got white Ethiopians out here with gray eyes. That's what we got. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. It ain't number mixed bitches here. And again, so flat stomach with a with a fat ass, nigga. All the guaranteed flat stomach with a fat ass and the Bro, gray eyes, green eyes. These are the coldest bitches <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. And like I said, hey, you young niggas are the most spoiled generation I've ever seen. Like the, the like nigga. Oh my god, yo! The whole generation is is just filled with with horror adjacent bitches. That like, all of them hoes or wanna be hoes. Yeah, and, and, and all you, I don't want to pay niggas. Okay, just go up there and get you get your. I nigga, I, I want to pay. You can laugh no, at me just, all you, you want. No, if, if you don't want to pay, just go up there and, and, and laugh, you laugh have to be, at me all you, you want, nigga. You gonna have to be friendly with their gay friends if you don't want to pay. You cool with that, right? Go ahead, hey, hey, zero. Go ahead oh. and get it off the strip, nigga. <laughs> zero, when they when they start selling uh playoff tickets for fucking the Bucks, man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to come. I'm like, not even one year. I've been living man. in Minnesota for since like 2009. Well, two thousand nine. Oh, for the for the Timberwolves. Yeah, I've been I've been those. here for a long time. Oh, that's now. even better. Yeah, shit, both of them. Shit, fuck it. Yeah. Milwaukee not mixed like that. I'm in Minnesota. I'm in Minneapolis. Oh, Minnesota. Nigga, okay, well, shit, fuck it. Minnesota then. Fuck it. No, I'm, I'm, right, from, I'm originally that. from Milwaukee. Then I went and lived out okay. in San Diego for a while. Then I moved here. All right, cool. I really well, didn't shit, live Minnesota in San Diego like that though. I, I I traveled for like seven years on my, but that my shit, job. What what damn? What y'all shit be cold for like seventy five percent of the year though, right? It'd be cold here, but it's a lot of shit to do. It's a rich city. We we got a bunch of restaurants and clubs and all types of shit. 
Yeah, Mini- Minneapolis is man. Minneapolis is quite popping, my nigga. It's my man, Ant Man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. North Loop. Yeah, J three know about the North Loop. Uh, so I used to date the bartender at Psycho Susie's. That's the blazing that uh that went activist on my ass. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, yeah, that's the one when when George Floyd got killed, he fucked my relationship up because then she wanted to be a a fucking Black Lives Matter <laughs> bitch. <laughs> A dead nigga took your bitch, nigga. Dead nigga oh, took your bitch. And she was bad as a motherfucker. She do some other shit now, but yeah, I used to fuck with her. But yeah, the North Loop is the shit. They got them, um, they got them Thai, re- they got this Thai restaurant called Hi Hi up there. Nigga, that's where everybody go on date night. You want to see some bad bitches go up there. I know all the hot spots here. You niggas, you niggas hey. hop in town, hit me on my community tab. I'll tell you where to go. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yo, fam, um, gotta and, and, and you got to be in shape because that's also the most people in shape yeah, yeah. in the country, we got, too. We, this is a very fit city. We have lifetimes and, and L.A. Fitness is all over the fucking place like McDonald's. We, I'll be we, good have by been voted, we have been voted the most fit city multiple times. So you, you, you better uh, not be uh, uh, Just so you know what your I'll competition like for the regular Degler Manosphere nigga thinking that. He can have himself a little so su- su- over here. Nigga. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be at two fifty by face. by summertime, man. We'll be good. Anyway, so nigga, if you if you oh. come in, I, I'll let y'all know exactly when that when that pride shit is happening. Stop thinking about the gay niggas, okay? Stop thinking about them. You will never see this many bad bitches in one spot in your life. And and again, this is you young niggas. That's y'all generation. This is mm-hmm. y'all generation. I, I'm telling you, last year, I almost dropped my motherfucking son off at his mama house. Nigga, I, I was going to get the fuck. And I'm glad he was with me because because I just went to the gym. Fuck it. I'm going to go to the gym. I, so I went to hoop. I, I'd rather go hoop because that's all I do. I go to work and I hoop. And, and I kick it with my son and his cousin. That That's it. That, that, that's that's my life in a nutshell. I, I try to I, I stay off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga trying to force himself into the square. I, I, I stay off this shit, y'all. You, you, you young niggas, y'all. You, y'all have no chance. The the first time I saw a blending, the the first time I saw a blending with green eyes, nigga, I, I was like, this ain't real. And again, she's like maybe 23, 24. You niggas is finished. We didn't. Nigga, we didn't even have that breed when I was growing up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the nigga. thing. It's some breeds that 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 you know that shit yeah. exists some in my generation that hadn't sprouted yet. Yeah, concoctions that hadn't even been thought about. To yeah, mix yet weren't even possible. Yeah, like 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 the parents had to meet first. Yeah, that shit even, like, didn't exist in my generation. Yeah, it was being created. Yeah, it was being created. I ain't know nothing about Blendians, nigga. Like you niggas, man. No, I knew about Blendians before though in in, in the UK. I didn't. But but they weren't they weren't a lot. They weren't a lot. And and it's not like they were that fine. Nigga, them fucking Blendians is crazy. But hey, speaking of the gym, man. Shout out to y'all niggas, man. This shit was, you know what I'm saying, nostalgic or whatever, bro. Um, it's whatever. Get my ass a little nap in before I go to this fucking gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to get the fuck up out of here, too, man. This, this is good, bro. Do that, too, yeah. Me, too. Right, I appreciate sure. you for coming through, though, man. Yeah, for sure. Always, bro. Yep. All right, have niggas. Yeah, have a good one. Peace. Yeah, man. I'm uh, going to stop thinking about that shit. The motherfucking nigga. Yeah, yeah you, you young niggas, y'all, bro. I swear to God. So, hold on. My, my analytics was I had. Give me a second. Give me one second. Uh, welcome, Spawn, and I'm not who, whoever got the the Japanese or or Chinese lettering. I'm gonna let me just grab my analytics real quick so I can. Trying to check one. I came in a little bit like halfway through the stream, maybe like two hours ago. I can only say this though. Like the main thing is, man, niggas just need to stop trying to save women from themselves. They want they want to hoard themselves out, man. Just <laughs> let it let them do it. Like you're not Yeah, you're not for sure let them do it. Don't don't, don't yeah, never stop. Like, it. Niggas is 
trying to save these women from it's just like it's just it's silly hold on i need to go to my last video to find out what my yo what's good what's up you sound like you're being kidnapped in somebody's trunk. Oh, for real? Hold on, bro. Yeah, that's what a lot of niggas be doing now, too. Oh, like, yeah, I got the, you know, to hang out with this community to get closer to the women. And it's just like, Yo, if you gotta do that, that's just letting you know you fin you it's it's over. It's done yeah. out there. Like <laughs> if you gotta do that to get close close to the baddest bitches, is all right. I found hang, it. Hang it up. So like, <laughs> 32% of my audience is Z's. And 30, 30 well, actually, if I combine both of these, 25 to 34 years old. That's 32%. 35 to 44 is 50%. If I combine them two together, Z's millennials and extras, that's that's like 82%. If I just go by millennials and Z's, it's 32%. So for the 32% of you didn't listen to me, yo. <laughs> you niggas cooked, yo. Yo. <laughs> you, you millennial and Z niggas is cooked. <laughs> Y'all not surviving this shit. You're not finna, you're, you're not finna fucking you're not finna get past the, the, the wave of blendians and, and, and blazes and, and, and fucking mix them ups out here, nigga. You niggas is done. No way. Ain't no way. I don't see it. You niggas gonna have to prove it to me. I'm gonna have to see this for myself. If you niggas make it through this next generation, I'll believe anything is possible. You niggas not getting through this shit. <laughs> it is raps. It is fucking raps. Like, like I said, it can be done, got... bro. But it got you got to be set up to do that, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to be set up right to do that. Like, you you, you a young like, nigga? Yeah, I'm like 25 type shit. Yeah, you yeah, know? you finished. You out of here. <laughs> nah, I ain't finished. A lot of the other niggas gonna be finished. Don't nigga, nigga. You, you just talking finish. right now? Nah, Listen. Nigga. I have never seen an Ethiopian mixed with a Pakistani mixed with a nigga. Ever. Nigga, I don't care what race mix bitch this shit is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. nigga, I'm going to have it my way, bro. I, I, like, I believe you. Ten toes down, nigga. I don't really yeah, care, ten nigga. toes down. Yeah. I mean, yo, if you, if, if, you got, if you got it like that, then you got it like that. It's cool, but a lot of niggas don't got it like that. The numbers say that niggas don't got it like that. That's why Not niggas good. is either doing the the poly life, the the you share my girl, I share your girl life. Niggas is doing the the, the paying for it like profit. That nigga the, just talking. Yeah, look, look, yeah, at yeah, like the, the, look, look at Devin. Look at Devin. He another young nigga. He think he he think he got a chance too. The, <laughs> the numbers is saying otherwise. <laughs> numbers is saying otherwise. And that's you're not, that's you're that's not, more than just one individual experience. Go ahead. Nigga, you're not you're not getting past these big bitches. That nigga, stop. Devin phone probably full of mix em ups, and, and the nigga can't even concentrate. <laughs> that, that nigga texting the bitch right now. It's over with. It's over with. So that what? Nigga, that's the only reason why you say it's over with. No, 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 no. The, 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 the bigger the bigger theme is the fact that, like, bitches got the ball as far as, like, society goes. Like, they, they control the laws. They control the, the sexual dynamics in America. So anybody that wants, like, a meaningful relationship, like, you know, like, in previous generations where you can raise your kids and actually have a, have a life that means something outside of just fucking, that shit's over with. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's gonna be a, a, like a hard uphill battle, bro. A nigga really gonna have to put in some work for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, that's, but, but what kind of work? Gonna, how, how do you get past like a generation of women that are working on whole time? Yeah. I mean, like you said, bro, you gonna have to, 
mess with like more conservative type of women, like women in, like in religion. But even in, even in religion, religion, bro, it kind of iffy. Especially like Christians would probably be better with an Islamic bitch, but like it, it, it's also iffy as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta go to the right place, bro. Show Christian. me a group of conservative chicks that's fucking with these liberal broads. I, I, I need to see that. I need to see the group of of traditional cons conservative value ass bitches that's that's fucking with these liberal broads. You show me. You show me that. I, I mean, I need bro, to see, you I need just to telling see. niggas to go fish at a, a dirty pond, bro. Yes. A gay parade? Bro, that's a dirty pond. Why would I go yeah, there? It, it really is. It that's really what, is. That's what it, that's it, what it really is. Because there are no clean ponds. But that's some terrible games. There are no that's clean ponds. Out, Show bro. me the clean bro. pond. Where's the clean pond? The church? Definitely. I mean, not really not the church. church is a dog. Okay. The gym? Not the gym. The gym is a dog. Yeah, the gym's a dog. That's what I'm saying. saying. Show me the clean <laughs> pond. Because we, we can try to, so we can try the clean pond approach. But, but there are, I'm trying to explain, there is no clean pond. No, no, no. We, we're, let's we're, let's, we're, let's, we're let's see him since he's a young nigga. If there's no let's, clean uh, pond, you go to the dirtiest pond? Nigga, no, that ain't the answer. What's a clean, what's a clean pond? Yeah, show me a clean since, pond. Yeah, since you, you know, you, you really, really out there. Like, you 25. Conventions, really you know what I'm saying? Anything to do with, like, whatever you're interested in type shit. Like, that's probably, like, your best bet, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you into type shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you really are new. Uh, we talked about the conventions before. The, the cons right, are you give the me the game. The conventions are dirty parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah them, them hoes is getting ran through too. You, like, you ever been to the conventions? Yeah. I've been to a couple. Okay, you been you been to the big ones like like Comic Con in San Diego and shit. Uh, not the big. I used to ones. go all the time. So what what have you been like your experience type shit? Hoes. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same as all the other things. So, like the the the, the pride parade I'm talking about. It's the same at the conventions. In fact, George Floyd, when that George Floyd shit was happening, that shit was Woodstock. And I talk, so I talked about this on stream too. And and the crazy part about it is nobody cared about that part of it. The news never reported on it. But if you were in Minnesota at the time that shit happened, those Floyd get togethers and, and protests and shit that shit turned into woodstock niggas was it was just drugs smoke and this was supposed to be people coming together for community activism over a dude that got killed by a police officer and everybody was on a black power on a fucking pro black on a community shit but it turned into a house party outside niggas pulling up with fucking jogging pants and and, and t-shirts on basically fuck clothes because they know the hoes is going to be out there giving up white good pussy there's no clean pond. I, I get what you're saying. You you'd like to have some more some information that'd be worthwhile. Sure, I could get that to you. So you could you could search culturally for a woman. The best place to do that right now is not in the Christian church. You're not gonna find that. But if you are a Christian, I don't know how that's gonna I don't know how that's gonna work out with you and a chick that's of a of a different faith. But you could try a woman of faith. But if you have a beauty standard, you you might have to take a dip on that. Yeah, you still have to take a dip on that. Yeah, and if you take a dip on your beauty standard, if you got a baseline, don't, your baseline don't got to be an eight. But let's just say your baseline is average. Well, you might have to take a dip on average. And then what does that do for you biologically down the line when you don't want to fuck her no more? Like, it's it's... There's a lot of things to consider, but like I said, you you can shop at a different. You could you could do the passport shit. You ain't gotta join the fucking gang. You ain't gotta <laughs> join the pass. You ain't gotta join the street gang. You ain't gotta join the passport, bro. You ain't gotta do that. You can move silently. You can move. You you could, you know, take your talent somewhere that niggas ain't infested. You know, I mean, the passport shit cool though, but you know, I'm more like a gun person type shit. So you know, like okay. That's my big thing. Do, like, you, do you want I a family, more... or are you just you just trying to you just trying to mash right now? Because if you just trying right. to mash right now, I mean, like... at some point, I want I would want a family type shit. You know what I'm saying? Family cool. But, but right now, you good. right now you good on that, right? Yeah, I'm good on. Hell yeah, I'm good on that right okay. now. Okay, sure. then why you why you complaining yeah, about yeah, the dirty yeah, pod then? Yeah, yeah, like this this mash man, like. <laughs> <laughs> like... 
I'm I just. Thought saying, wanted, I mean, I thought either you way, to either like, way, though. Just... I mean, either way, I'm not going through a game pass raid. Oh, no, no, we. I, 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 I can't be seen out there. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't what he was. He was just. He was stuck in traffic, and he saw what was going on. He was oh, just saw. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he oh, wasn't yeah. saying, "Yo, you should be out there and do that." Nah, that's not what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not even in that in that in that category for that shit. I'm just saying, like, but it's like, it's, look, that shit had that festival was probably the biggest festival we have here every year, and it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you you can. You can do whatever you want to do. You can you can try and find better outlets for that type of shit, but eventually you're gonna end up going where the holes are. Because what else are you gonna do? Over here, the holes is like. But if you are, but if you are, but if you are right? all I'm saying is for people that are serious. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop shit. joking for a second. For people that are serious, like that are serious about about their life when it comes to like a relationship with, with, a, with a woman or whatever, you're gonna have to start seriously considering what it is that you have to do versus what it is that you would like to do. Because everybody has this idea that they that nigga and they can just make it happen through some type of willpower. That's great. I'm glad you got the confidence. <laughs> but what it comes down to is what realistically the, the people that you're trying to attract, what are they doing? You have to pay attention to that. Yeah. If you don't, you're just being naive and then it's just going to get you pissed off after a while. Yeah, you know, when shit fall apart, you ain't gonna be out here doing the Chris Benoit or some shit, like right? Because right, I mean, you can be out here fucking until you die. You can be out here fucking until you're seventy, but that doesn't mean that that's gonna be something that makes you happy or fulfilled. And I'm not saying you need a bitch to be happy, but if that is a goal, like if if you do want to have a little nigga that's your son and you, you fist bump this nigga and watch him grow up and shit. You know, teach him how to play. You know, all all that shit that men like to do, which we shouldn't be ashamed of liking. If you want to have that type of shit, you, you don't want to have it be dysfunctional. Ideally, you you want to be, you'd want to have your kid with somebody that you love, and then you can y'all can like raise the little motherfuckers together. Yeah, like you don't want no like it's ideal. Oh, no shit like that. You know? well, right, it's ideal, but, but again. But if so, that like, is, when you feel like the norm is like just what we got right now, like niggas just having broken families and shit like that, you feel me? Yeah, that is the norm. Yeah, that's been the norm. But if but but you but but if you want that, it's not your fault that you're not getting it. It's not because you're not that nigga. It's not because you're not competing hard enough. They ain't got shit. To do. What it got to do with is look around you, my nigga. Yeah, culture the, and the laws. The whole culture has taken the fuck over. Yeah. And we, we and we can't sit here and act like it is. We can't yeah. keep acting like you know it's <laughs> this is out here doing it. it. It is what it is. Yeah, you're right on said, that, I, bro. Like that's what like certain niggas can't really be too hard on themselves, bro. That's where like that fake black pill shit come in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas really be feeling like a type of way about how they look and shit. I mean, sometimes these niggas do be ugly. But I mean, at the same time, though, I understand like how like females move and shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, ugly nigga gonna struggle, okay? But handsome niggas struggle. I was talking about this earlier. I don't know when you got here, but handsome niggas just struggle in a different bracket. No matter where yeah. you are on the totem pole, you gonna struggle. Whatever totem pole you done made it to, that's the totem pole you gonna struggle at. And the yeah, reason man. why, the reason is really simple. Bitches got the ball. No matter what totem pole you in, they win it. So when? if if it's a bad bitch and she fucking with top of the food chain niggas, them top of the food chain niggas ain't finna lock that down, and and they probably ain't trying. The, them niggas is struggling on struggling with like sevens on IG, man. Like right, but if they want, but but even even the top of the food chain niggas, whenever they decide that they want to have something serious, they not finna get that, or they'll get it temporarily. They'll get it for a little while, and then a the bitch will cash out with their shit. So, so it doesn't matter who you are. It, it doesn't matter if you if you're ugly, attractive. It doesn't, doesn't matter. You still gonna lose until 
until we can find a way to mediate these laws. But but really, the, the only way I see out of this shit is to give women all of their freedom. Like, and, and again, I keep repeating the same thing, but they want the freedom, the complete freedom to, to, to basically sell their bodies. And it sounds like a very simple thing. Whatever okay, how giving them all of their freedom is going to do this, bro? It's basically well, human rights. Well, again, it's, it's an economic thing. It's an economic issue. So every, every woman on the planet can be a hoe. So all the chicks at the top of the food chain are going to make all the money legally. Chicks at the chicks in the middle and bottom of the food chain, they're going to make regular ass salaries. Now, if that salary is not enough for them to live a comfortable life, then that's when the laws change. Now, the way it is now, the, the way it is right now, the reason why all these bitches are able to get away with it is because the shit's illegal and men are starving. <laughs> it just is what it is. So whenever a product is illegal and, and you're starving for it, you pay more for it. And, and, then, and then you end up still starving because you're getting it in scarce amounts. And even if you're getting it from multiple people, you're still getting it in scarce amounts. If you want the normalcy of relationships to come back, the, the shit got to be soda. You got to commoditize it. Yeah, kind of like, like when that like uh, alcohol and shit when they yeah like coffee, like alcohol. No, nobody goes to buy Grey Goose every day, but but, you, but you'll go get the go get the nice bottle or the special edition every now and again. But you won't. You're not finna buy that shit every day. It's a commodity. You gotta reduce. You gotta reduce pussy to a commodity, and then niggas will stop fiending for it. And that's when you get your relationships back. Otherwise. Niggas is stuck in thirst mode forever, and it's gonna be like this forever. <laughs> yeah, you can I go through, on that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I fuck with yeah. that. Yeah, other, other uh, look at right now. You can go on. You can go on your social media. Go to the go to an average to ugly bitch page. You are gonna see all the likes. That bitch probably what, what, what time is it? Six thirty five. Where I'm at. Bitch probably woke up, didn't even brush her teeth, took a selfie in the bathroom, and said, "Woke up like this." You are gonna see another you know, bunch of niggas in the in the in the fucking DM. Some about, oh girl, you look good. They, they're gonna be they're gonna be all over the post. Putting heart emojis on that bitch. It's gonna be a, a, a ugly, no makeup in the morning bitch. Right now, you go, you go, you go to your social media right now and check all these hoes putting putting their morning pictures up. It's thirst mode out here, man. Yeah, but we already kind of moving in that direction, though. I don't know if some states like legalizing like prostitution and shit like that. Yeah, that I'm moving shit. there fast enough. That shit should have been legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then again, that's the problem. But you know, again, people people think it's a uh, people look at it funny because it seems like a very simple thing, and then it, it looks it looks um it doesn't look complicated enough to be something that is viable as a solution. Niggas well, want things to be very complicated. They want think they want things to to not be simple because then it looks like it it, it means something that is worthwhile that it work. But no, it's it, very simple. It, it's that, and it's also this fake, like, morality, like, superior mor morality about trying to, like, save women from themselves. And it's just like, no, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, let, the they, they want basic human rights. They want to sell their shit. Let them sell their shit. Just legalize it, tax it, and we'll move on from there. Like, right. And, and to fully explain it in their language, what they'll tell you is that they won't mention the sexual part of it. They'll mention the fact that they want to be able to have the same rights as a man. Otherwise, they're a second class citizen. You know, it's the same way I feel about the, the, the 14th Amendment. There shouldn't right. be an amendment to the Constitution to allow us to be free people. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's why white people have equals. a yeah, that's why white right. people have a superiority complex because we have because we have to have a piece of paper that tells us we're equal. And that's bullshit. Why the fuck do we need a piece of paper to tell us that, that, that we're equal? You see what I'm saying? Why do we have to amend a constitution that originally said that all men are created equal? It already says it without the amendment. But then we need a piece of paper to say it. I think that I shit don't feel do good. The they had to do with the precedent of like the three fifths and all that shit. Right, so they, the just, they, 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 amend, they amended the constitution because it's just it's the the supreme law of the land. That's right. 
but but it's still yeah it's just like you shouldn't have to. but it's ridiculous we're because be yeah because we're I mean, it, should people. Be, it should be removed now at this point in time like right so understood. this is the same this is the same type of argument that women have concerning their rights it's not just about being able to sell their bodies it's more about they want the they want the choice they want to be able to be i'm a i can do whatever the fuck i want to do you can't stop me because i'm a person like you right now is you're standing on my fucking neck and i can't do it Th that's the problem you know, and again, it, to compare it to what I was talking about with the, with the civil rights issue, we shouldn't have to have a we shouldn't have to have a piece of paper to tell us we humans, and they don't want a piece of paper to tell them that they that they humans. They want all their shit, and I'm willing to I, I want to give it to them because again, what happens when a woman does not have an advantage over you in the, in the way of like some type of uh, law that says that a company has to hire a bitch before they hire you? What happens? She gotta compete. <laughs> she, she gotta, gotta compete. compete for for real. Like, and this is why men be, and men beat women at jobs because we don't give a fuck about vacation time. We we don't care about having a month of PTO. We barely use that shit. And if we do use it, the job don't care because they know we gonna come and work the most. We work the most. We work the most, and we work the longest. That's and the employee that's gonna get hired. Babies. Right, that's the point. So, so if bitches are competing with men on a level, if they get their equal rights, fine. Most bitches ain't gonna choose choose the job anyway. Most women are gonna choose prostitution, but that's only gonna last for so long. That's that shit ain't gonna last but about a year, because once them salaries start playing out, the first thing they're gonna do is start going, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need our office jobs back. No, can't sue anymore. You can't, you can't bring, you can't do the sexual discrimination anymore. That shit over with. Uh, and I feel I feel weird talking about this shit because I know bitches listening because I, I got like three percent female audience and they listening to this shit and every time you tell them shit they upgrade their software collectively. Yeah. Then they go, "Oh, this these and niggas they, trying to trick start us. making better arguments and shit." Yeah, and then they and, and, and niggas still trying to talk about man, 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 my dick, my dick, Fanny Willis and all that I, shit. I, I, just, I just need great Britain ass, ass niggas. What I really need though is for men to understand this shit and just get the fuck Fanny on board. Willis. Get the fuck on board. It doesn't, you know, all all of this, you know, I'm 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 better than a bitch. Talk is crazy. How you gonna yeah. be better than a bitch? And they beating <laughs> our ass in society. They they whooping our ass in society, but we better than bitches. We, we better than bitches, but we the ones that can't say no. No, no, we gave them the power, though. We, we gave them the power. We, I know we gave them the power. We, we, we can't take it back, though. But we gave them the power. We better than bitches, but they can be alone, and we can't. We better than bitches, right? We, we better than yeah, bitches, but they'll but but they'll fuck a robot until they die, and and, and, and we think it's whore, atrocious. We better than bitches. <laughs> we better than bitches, but they beating us. We better than bitches. That that be my main argument when niggas start talking about that shit. It's like, nigga, we losing, but we better than bitches. So strong. And, and, and then and the crazy part is when niggas start grandstanding, the first thing they say is, "Well, I'm out here getting at these hoes." Yeah. You proving my point. You, what did you say again? Repeat it. Oh, I'm out here getting at these hoes. I'm moving. Yeah, I'm doing my life like this. The holes, I don't really yeah. have whole problems like that. Right. You're getting at these right. hoes, right? Because you don't want to say you're not fucking. You're not. You, you're fucking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy for you, right? Okay. Is that is that the value in your life? Yeah, you know. Same game. We losing. losing this whole time, bro. I'm telling you. Yes. Oh, game niggas? Oh, yeah. Them niggas is cooked. Those are the worst niggas. Those are the, those niggas yeah. are the niggas in the way. Like, most of the most yeah. of the game niggas are in relationship plus anyway, so who cares? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, in the poly shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the Lucario. Them, them niggas, them niggas living with bitches, getting piped down by new niggas. So I, I, yeah. I can't really take none of that shit serious. Niggas kissing their wives in the mouth after the, she wipes the, them niggas. Else them niggas brag them. about. Them niggas brag about and being with a celebrity. You gotta give act. us something. Gotta you know how something. crazy that is. To, when you bragging about your 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 bitch being with a her ex because her ex was a celebrity, oh, I was fucking the same girl that was with old boy from, from the from the Chargers. That's a that's a flex. You niggas you bragging, bragging about the same hole in the uh, in the you, film, niggas. Oh my your, god! Your flex man. is that your bitch got piped down <laughs> by <a> celebrity <laughs> <laughs> niggas sharing DNA with NFL niggas. 
but, but this, and this, this is flex. You got it, oh bro. We got God, it. Yo. <laughs> We losing like a ball. Yo, you know what it is? You know what it is, yo? Given that social media has changed everything and we're stepping into this new age, I think one thing that has to change is that stereotype that we all grew up with, that whole thing, that Homer Simpson, men are dumb, men are simple, we just want our beer and and just want our uh, a Playboy magazine and watch sports and you know work and you know all that all all that typical you know I'm a traditional man 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 type shit. I smoke my cigar, drink brandy, and I don't know how to use a computer, ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit has to die off, yo. That stereotype like, has to change. Like a motherfucker, like it's niggas you know? your age, boy. That got the world at their feet, all the money, fame, and power they could ever ask for, and they'll get a forty-year-old bitch pregnant and sign a max contract. Exactly, right? And you're like, you know out. what I've been noticing, you, bro? You, like you, you got two homies, niggas bro, like that already. I'll say this right. My like, bad. A lot smart, of my homies, bro. bro. Like they dating, like like a lot of older women, like with jobs and shit. Like they double dip down into the dating pool type shit. Like they'll fuck with like a younger nigga type shit, bro. So like all this hit the wall shit, bro. Man, throw that shit out the window, man. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, like, the was, walls a joke. That shit yeah, a, a joke. But holes hit the wall when they get ugly. That's it. The, the, yeah, the wall is just she can't get the the top the toppest tier nigga that she could have got. She can't go mind. to that's the pool all. parties no more. Yeah, that's the wall. Yeah, She's I used to think going. that wall shit was real too, yo. Oh, I don't yeah. believe in the wall. The wall shit. The, the, there, there is no because there's still there's still niggas that'll marry her. Right, real spill. I'll bro. put it this way: Bo- mm-hmm. boys, boys married a a a. a a, a bitch that that went through a whole marriage of piping down thirty years. This nigga waited until she was completely the fuck out of this bitch. And she just had a baby age. too. She grandma just had, age. She just had a baby too, bro. Remember, she had like an infant. Grandma age. I'm talking That's about That's when he boys? married this bitch. Fuck out yeah, of here. Moist Watkins. Moist Watkins. There's yeah, no wild. wall. There's no wall. There is no wall. <laughs> this would be 72. <laughs> what wall? Yeah. yeah I mean, as long as, you, as long as he maintains her stuff and shit like that, but nigga gonna hit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if she older, nigga not gonna pull out, man. You feel me? He's just gonna do his thing. Bro, you know what I'm saying? bro, it's a video I seen on Instagram where this young nigga is talking to this lady. She must be like 58 or 62. And she's saying, I'm married. You tell that to my husband. Say, what that got to do with me, though? Blah, 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 blah. The next thing, she's giggling. She said, let me put my number in your phone. And she hands him the phone. That was the Walmart <laughs> shit, yo. That, yes, she must have been married for at least 38 years, bro. Yeah, so you, so and yeah, like... <laughs> she has oh. on the phone, you a young nigga. Oh, <laughs> a, a, a young, a young weekend dreads having ass nigga. You know the weekend dreads having ass nigga. Yo, like when he had. Can, can you imagine meeting a chick at your age right now, going into the friend zone, waiting thirty years, and then going? Damn, we we should uh we should get together. This bitch to raise kids into adulthood. <laughs> she been getting passed out for the last thirty motherfucking years, raising kids, going on vacations. That's some spineless ass shit. That man is finished, bro. That's some spineless ass. That nigga shit. was 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 telling stories that you could tell on her face. He couldn't even remember that shit he was talking. That about. brother stopped. Nigga, please. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> never. <laughs> nigga, never. <laughs> Niggas out here talking about genuine desire. Oh lord, lord. 
But hey, man, they they, they they don't wanna they don't they don't wanna pay for services. So never. It's cool, it's bro. Cool, man. Let them let them go ahead. And... Black China mama still out here fucking. There is no yeah. Wall. There is no yeah. law. She, I think she just said she bisexual or some shit. It don't matter. There is no wall. If she can be bisexual, uh, there really is no wall. Yo, this nigga, what's his name? Wayne Brady changed his whole sexuality so he could get at the bitch. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> Princess' girlfriend. There is no wall. <laughs> oh, shit, yo. Your oh, fucking God. wall. <laughs> <laughs> now I no, but but real talk though. I mean, we we used to think. I mean, at least I did. You know what I'm saying? That there was a wall. You know what I'm saying? So because I mean, yeah, that's the them, them TikTok first, videos be like, hilarious as fuck, huh? Yeah, but like when you really like deep dive into like the talking point, it really don't make sense and like what you see and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that. Yeah, the application yeah. like it's 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 one thing to get introduced into, and that's the like the the red pill is, is good. It introduces people to stuff, but people gotta apply it and see what's going on in reality. And it's just like okay, maybe 60, 70 percent of this shit is bullshit, and some of this shit is real to a certain to varying degrees, right? Like, so it's there's this there's some truths, and then it's just like shades of gray with some of the information man and 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 dudes just be taking these talking points from like the major the major red pill people and just running with it and it's just like no like these hoes don't care about your morality they gonna do what the fuck they want to do niggas is clearly paying like like they trying to well you're, you're gonna lose. Tricking, man it they, is what they, it is yeah. You want to lose your value, Mike? You know, I, think, I think people. I think people that had the, uh, the 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 time for rage. If niggas still raging now, they it, it, they cooked. Like, oh, it's, yeah. it's over. It's over. Yeah. If you like, if you still raging at this point, it's, it's kind of over. For you. <laughs> niggas like, raging like, for yeah. red pill raging for five years straight. I mean, you, had, you, had a good, you had a good run for the rage, my nigga. Like, uh, only, yeah, the only people that should be raging is like. 18 year olds, niggas in high school, like high school. Yeah. Like, those, yeah. those, if you, if you're sure. above the age of 30, it's over. Oh, yeah. You, you fried. Yo, y'all see what Ivan said? What wow. is that? He said, Priscilla still has a husband and got a side bitch. And niggas and will niggas still go. go. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Remember, remember she was yeah. on, um, I forgot whose screen she was on, but they got the trolling and talking shit and she whipped the calcium cannons out. And niggas was in the chat with yeah, the eyeballs. Yeah, that was on Sister George when, yeah. she, when she had. Yeah, that was Sister George's panel. panel. She was on. The, she was in, niggas was in the chat with the eyeballs. <laughs> uh, yeah, niggas is crazy. Like there, there's no wall, nigga. Nigga, I saw a picture with that bitch. She pushed all the way back to uh, Madagascar, nigga. Priscilla without makeup would scare your child. I swear to God, yo. But niggas is going. Like, like, matter, like her niggas face going, is a yo. mask. Like, niggas is going. a mask. But niggas, niggas still niggas going. Niggas is gone. <laughs> Past it. See, already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 like uh, that hairline don't recede so far back. The hair look like a koofy, uh, nigga. It like, shit. like, it's funny, though. damn. Yeah, she, got the, she got the Murphy cranium, yo. Murphy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Robocop Robo bitches. Cop bro. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> God. Perfect. No fucking, no fucking wall, nigga. What are you talking about? Ain't no wall. It's just it's just slightly lesser outcomes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just can't get the aging out. She, she can't get her apex anymore. That's all. <laughs> That's yeah. all the wall is. But it's still it a pool you. of niggas, right? <laughs> it's always gonna be a pool of niggas. Shout nigga, out. look, yo, fam, look at the Shout freaking out to man, fear, nigga. The, 
the bottom this of this bag of dicks. Bag, the bag of D's, man. The bag of D's, <laughs> bag of D's and STDs, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Just pick D, one, D, man. Yeah. Pick one. You know what I'm saying? And it I said STDs bad, because girl. it was, I heard, I, I, I seen one video of Dusty. I heard some shit about Dusty. You know what I'm saying? Giving a chick like some kind of you know, STD package delivered and shit, man. I think he sent that shit through Amazon. Yeah, and, um, yo, a lot of you on stream crying. A yeah, lot dude. of you content creator niggas are nasty. You, you, yeah. you niggas, you niggas done. Yo, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finna, I'm not finna blast nobody, but you niggas, you content creator niggas in the back chat, blue pillow talking with these hoes. I don't know. I, I don't like. I understand. It, but like, I don't Stream y'all the new day in that, bro. Yo, niggas, niggas is buying tires and everything, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You. that. Yeah, it's fine. You right. Uh, about that. Oh, y'all niggas talk about tight. Yo, nah, nah. nah. Yo, yo, shout out to. On- Shout out to the purge, man. Shout out to the purge, man. Like you hop on streams talking about the black male image, tire gate. You you, you, you hop on stream talking about the black male image and how we need to move, you know, and look good as a unit and all this shit. But in the back chat, niggas hate the black pill, man. But they live in it. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) (laughs) Like that shit. That shit gotta stop. Like that shit gotta stop. Bro, I, That's a fact, yo, Blaze. Yo, another, Blaze. Like we, I, I, like I got a feeling we're gonna have another scandal before June. It's gonna be a, a another motherfucking content creator. I don't know, too many scandal. niggas don't set examples, man. I think they 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 kind of get the message now, man. Now they nah, 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 from, from, nah, from nah, stove nah, changer nah. to freaking. Yeah, uh, 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 anti with the tire, even though fucking sexy no, red did the stone dirty, changer is a nothing. That's out. a nothing burger. That's a nothing burger. Yeah, yeah, Same actually, thing. That actually, yeah, the, the, the stove gate. That that shit is what you supposed to do. You, this nigga, you did, this nigga got services rendered by a bad bitch. That ain't the same no, thing. No, 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 right. no, no, no. Y'all don't understand. I just call them stove changer just because of the name. <laughs> but y'all remember there was <laughs> y'all remember there was something attached to my man's yeah, yeah 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 the scandals yeah, yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah the scandal we, we got that scandal we, we I mean gotta, I would have done the stove thing myself man yeah I, used to yeah, I get what you said that would be yeah we gotta stay yeah. off of this scandal shit you niggas gotta stay yeah okay let me put it this way if you gonna embarrass yourself. Please let it be a bad bitch. Like at least if you're really gonna go out like that, go out like that for a bad bitch. At least uphold the reputation you niggas is trying to, you know, cultivate, so to speak. You, you want to cultivate this 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 cool nigga shit? Then at least go out like a bitch for a bad bitch. Don't don't go out like that o- over these fucking creatures. Troglodytes. Fucking Ogres. monsters eat, nigga. Eat like monsters. <laughs> Like don't 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 do that. That's the problem. Like if 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 you know, because then like you can't sell your product. You you can't. You can, how can you sell your product? I think it's going out like for that? more locks, dude. Right. <laughs> Damn. They gotta make sense, bro. They gotta make sense, bro. Niggas crashing out over bitches with areola face. Like you can't do that. <laughs> that that's the problem. Uh, what would that uh the little squid from uh My Little Mermaid, the little big one? I don't forgot her name. Type shit. Talking about Ursula. Ursula, yeah. Oh, like, Ursula, y'all nigga crashing out for <laughs> Ursula, man. This is so <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. Don't don't um don't fuck yourself up over this over these chicks. Like just like just. Do better. <laughs> do better. Do Hold better. on, bro. So you don't feel like there's a healthy way to do it, or like it's just a no way. Like no, nah, because they're gonna do it anyway. So if you're gonna do it anyway, at least if you're gonna embarrass yourself, go out like a champ, nigga. Yeah, you exactly. gonna crash. You're the grown ass crash. Money. You can't stop a nigga from crashing, but at least if, if you're gonna do it, if you're, if you're gonna, gonna do it, it, go out in style, my nigga. Damn. 
Yeah, make sure the crash has a like an explosion, you know. Yeah. Yeah, put your body parts flying everywhere and shit. Put put your sunglasses on while you catch on fire. Yeah. Yeah. You know, know, put your fucking fire shades on. Or a people on walk. Make sure you got the, the, the outfit. Put your glasses back, back on. Yeah. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's all I'm saying, man. Just don't, don't, don't go out sad, man. And then y'all giving these bitches ammo. They come online talking tough like they the baddest bitch in the room. You hear them bro, on panels later talking about all these niggas is like these niggas they shit. I get all the money for these niggas because they pay my phone bill. It bitch sound like her nose stuffed up with, with, with plaque, semen, and boogers, and, and, and niggas is actually doing like how bro, how can you let how can you make it so an ugly bitch can hop on panels and brag about her life? Like this, this shit. That's why niggas be looking at us crazy. <laughs> that bitches with a, with a whole list be talking shit. That's why niggas look at Talk us about crazy. How niggas in the DMs, yo. Niggas in here, in 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 fucking in this fucking space, yo. Like nah, man, niggas son. be gassing their head up, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Same. Yeah, the, the that, that that is talking why... crazy and shit, bro. Like nigga, you bitch, you look like a sea monster on God. Right, but that's why we get looked at like we crazy because we we going out because we we going we crashing out over sea monsters, and then that that's yeah. Making us, and again, these niggas look, these niggas hop on here talking about black male image. They hop on here talking about what we what we need to do. All these you know c- community pill niggas. Like, okay, if if that's if that's what you believe, then you, you niggas representing the community pill need to stop going out so bad. Stop going out like that over, 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 you know, monsters. You know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I already said, but, but I said this million, plenty of times now. I but I don't pay believe me or not. <laughs> Nigga, believe me or not, I would rather die. I would rather I would rather give the fuck up. I don't care if if it gets to the point where a nigga is 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 on is, is on a table trying to collect scraps, nigga. It's raps then. Then fuck it. Then I quit, nigga. <laughs> shit, <laughs> won't be me. Won't be me. Oh, when, I, when I heard shit. about that shit, but um, with the with the um the old nigga who who actually used to be everybody's favorite. Who? The nigga with the ticking clock in the background in his videos. Who are you talking about? Oh, David Carroll. David, David Carroll. When I heard that nigga was in oh. the back chat trying to get at the bitch, I'm like, see, this is what I'm talking Crystal about. Crystal and Carrison. You talking all of this shit? Yeah. You're talking all this shit, and you in the and back. He wanted panty pictures from Crystal and Carrison. Right. Man. That's what I'm saying. Like we, we can't do this shit. Like any nigga. <laughs> Damn. This shit is hey, WWE, is man. Like that, that's all it is, man. It was it was talking about the script, man, backstage. Yeah. We go out. Yeah, that shit just look bad, bro, on your image and shit, bro. You feel me? Yeah, because you in the back. Like, especially mind. like this your business, bro. Me, like mind, you you like? like a business, bro. You can't be, you know what I'm saying, getting that all the females and shit. Cause once you get that one, bro, man, she gonna spread your business and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it really ain't no good way to go about it, honestly. Yeah, no. there is. Don't do it. You're in the back chat trying to get at the same bitches you're talking about. You got, you got to stop. Like I said, if you're going to go out like that, at least make sure the bitch is bad. Like, at least. And, and please don't let it be. <laughs> yo, Grape T News, yo. <laughs> Send minutes to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yo, minutes to Jeff don't call Bullets for these monsters, nigga. Yeah, this nigga they call bullets for bitches. Nigga, this nigga Yikes. got knocked out on call. Man, yeah, yo, he didn't call right and left at the gas station, too, man. Toys yeah. for tots. Bullets for bitches. That is crazy. 
Yeah, yeah you definitely right about not talking to content creators, though, bro. Like, if she's just a little girl, a female that's just in the trap, you probably better off with that than somebody creating content. Oh, nigga, they about to turn your ass into content, nigga. Stay away from any bitch in the YouTube <laughs> chat about the, no. Stay stay away from any no. You, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta get away from like any bitch coming through this motherfucker, hopping on panels with niggas, talking about how goofy they are. That's the wrong bitch for you. And listen. When you watch these new nigga panels, just j just take put your academic glasses on for a second and just look at these bitches. Most of them, they bro, the the house is messy. They look like they owe money. Wow, you understand? These bitches look. They look in debt. <laughs> Financially insolvent bitches, man. Like, <laughs> these these hoes want to cover. These hoes look in debt. Overweight, out of shape, overweight, face out of shape. look wrinkly, you know, all that shit. Yeah, man. Fat below the neck. Hey, it don't matter. Your nigga's still going, man. Discoloration, they, yo. They can't even fit their shoulders on screen. The camera. Yeah, that's what, the I, camera what I was saying before, yo. It, it, it filtered and angled the camera you know in a such a way they as fill to fill up the whole frame. Fuck out of here. <laughs> You know how many tricks bitches got with that camera? They got the oh, they got the man. they got the slim my face filter, but then yeah. when they body coming to you, like why does why does this shit look so off? Yeah, your fat bitches is like twenty years into the technique. Nah, that other like, nigga like, paid her twelve k. I ain't gonna no lie. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that other nigga gave that bitch twelve k, nigga. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was on, man. For nothing, bro. He was just cash shopping her, bro. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Turn Ain't no wall. Who? who a OnlyFans no bitch? Nah, the little Raw B chick. <laughs> the Raw B. Oh. The Raw B is the nigga whispering. She hey, knows bro, you. I like... swear to God, Raw B is well, collecting okay. on YouTube. If she, That's if awesome, she got the, if she's she's making more money than the nigga right They got like hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> She, she making she making more nigga she making more money than niggas channels that fucks with it she she need to get all of it she know how to break a nigga yo like like yeah. she need to be teaching class nah I wouldn't I wouldn't say that bro she breaking on the simp ass pro black nigga it's easy to yes. run a game on their ass bro a pro black <laughs> nigga you can, okay, you can be like, a female like can be down bad niggas, oh I got that's you like, cream. <laughs> Grand Rising, he spit right there. That's that ain't right there. Like, 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 he spit, he spit right there. Yeah, like, Grand so Rising Queen. Shit. Nah, yeah, bitch, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she know the nigga soul, yo. She know how to, she know how to get in there, yo, and extract what she need to extract, yo. Yeah, the easiest nigga, nigga to run game on is a like pro cool. black nigga. Yeah, yeah, these shocker niggas, man. Grand Rising, and then Cash App for yeah, your grand account rising, my queen. Yeah. <laughs> Math limit rising. <laughs> but, 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 I no, but I ain't no trick, though. But I ain't no trick, though. Did, did you got... Man, I don't know. <laughs> that shit wild, my nigga. That shit is wild, man. Yo, Rob be really collecting coins like that, yo? Supposed to. Damn, yo. Supposed Shout to. out to her, man. I can't even blame her though. I'm like, hey man, what break all these man? tricks, man. man break bro. all the ass, man. Let the ass learn, bro. Yeah, that's just the only way. It's the only way. And then four and five years learn, old, man, I would have been way. mad as hell, yo. Be like, yo, she's tricking the man. This is not fair. Right. But over the years, man, you just see this shit. You just like, man, these niggas, man. Yeah, you should know. You should know better, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It is rapperific. I'm finna get off these niggas' pause. All right, I, it's what it is seven o'clock. I'm finna get ready to go to the gym. I'm finna go hoop. Yeah, I'm about to go. Then I'm gonna, 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 gonna come back bro. and take an old nigga nap. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm good chopping it up and trial, man. Yeah, you too, hey, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come through again, yo. Hey, that 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 festival happens in a few months, nigga. You, you need to rethink it if you want. You trying to fuck with a dime? 
See, I don't yeah. know, man. Shit, I, I'm on this time to move around. Though, I ain't gonna lie, but I, yeah, it's kind of sketchy, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ever been with a bitch with a flat stomach? Nigga, hell yeah, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> fuck with no uh, over rounded bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? In the down bad days, nigga. Hey, man, that's, kinda, that's, kinda that's a rare, starter bro. chick, nigga. I, I was just checking. <laughs> that's a starter chick. chick. I was just that's checking. the one that Kudo was told niggas to get. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, hey, yeah, not shout out to bro. Oh, shit. Yes. Shout out to Kuda, man. He, 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 he passport broing. No, no, he been passport broing. My bad. He been doing that for years, yo. Right? I didn't listen to me. Was talking to nobody. Yeah, yo, join the team he was shitting on, yo, four years ago. I know, right, <laughs> right, right. He, he right, was shitting on wait. passport bros. But he yeah, right. passport. <laughs> I will holler at y'all, y'all like later. That. All right, y'all, in a bit. Peace.